An oil base? Well, you know, whatever the house needs. <laughs> whatever yeah. it needs. Uh, I'm like, why didn't we say we were comedians? I know the answers to the questions. <laughs> It's the Bob and Tom Show. New this season on the Bob and Tom Television Network. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the biggest set of jugs I've ever seen. <laughs> it's Shirtless Girl. <laughs> Posing as a topless dancer showing off her pecs. No one knows her secret till she takes off her specs. She's shirtless girl. Shirtless girl. <laughs> With her special powers, she gives the bad guys fits. She don't use no gun. She stops them with her t- She's shirtless girl. Shirtless girl. Working in the chemistry lab one day, sophomore year, nothing seemed amiss. But that night, an amazing transformation took place. And the next morning, young Debbie Yabo woke to find... My God! I'm huge! I must dedicate these to fighting evil. Little did Debbie know that years before, on the planet Lactoid, a planet whose gravity was causing it to sag dangerously toward the sun, her father, Major Yabo, and Mother Teton sent their infant daughter, Areola, rocketing through the Milky Way to Earth. Knowing one day she'd become Shirtless Girl, <laughs> keeping the city of Metopolis safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nobody move. Hand over all the money. It's Shirtless Girl! Not so fast, bad guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, like some team is gonna get a load of these. Huh? Oh, oh I can't run away. <laughs> Hell, I can't even walk. <laughs> Thanks, shirtless girl. You're welcome, citizens. Don't touch those. Sorry. <laughs> Along with her fellow superheroes, Wonder Bra Woman, Bikini Spider Woman, The Flash, and the Green Horny, Shirtless Girl formed the Legion of Super Hooters. <laughs> Look, it's the tat signal. Some boob must need help. I better call my teenage bosom buddy A Cup and head to the wet cave. I know. I'll use the Hooter Scooter. <laughs> and once again, Charles Girl, you've kept Metopolis safe. Warm and snug and soft and bouncy. <laughs> once again, defeating your arch enemy, the Jiggler. We are grateful. Thanks, shirtless girl. Yay! You're welcome, <laughs> citizens. I'll touch those. Sorry. Come again next week for another titillating adventure of Shirtless Girl! I'm Shirtless Girl! Shirtless Girl! <laughs> shirtless Girl. Only on the Bob and Tom Television Network. <laughs> Yes, sir. Here we are, the Bob and Tom Studios. May 6, 2020. The quarantine continues, but we're here. Yes. Began with a little shirtless girl by special request. Going out to the Wolverine State. Oh, Michigan. Hi, spe Tom. Special request from uh, uh, Scott Schaefer. Scott, we hear you, buddy. I'm digging for the other one you want, sir. Stuck at home like a lot of other people. Join the little shirtless girl. All right. The shirtless woman. Really is the... Let's be clear, be clear here. This isn't some kind of weird Led Zeppelin after party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew it was going to be a weird day. I, I, I didn't say a word and it got weird. Hi, Christy. Hi, Chick. Hi, Ace. Chick. Hi, Josh. Hey, Chick. And there's Pat. Yep, there's Pat. Here Hi, we Chick. Go. <laughs> uh, Jessica Alsman today, Ms. Pat on the Zoom. We'll see how that goes. And uh, Allie Breen today. 
All right. Here's the Lady Day. I uh, like yeah. it. Ladies Day. Ladies Day. Got Pat Godwin in his new situation uh, testing one, two, three. How's it going? Uh, it's going good. I'm in another building. I'll be at a different wing, but uh, it feels nice to be back. Uh, it sounds good. Sounds very good. Uh, now, um, in case you happen to be watching on YouTube, there will be a, a kind of a weird visual delay here until we get this new wire we have to get. But uh, So if you want to wave at Pat, you have to count to three before he waves back. <laughs> okay. <you. laughs> well, least, new, we're waiting on a new wire, Josh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, All right. We got, we got a wire coming. <laughs> That's what Mr. Kessler said. You know, okay. All right. He's, oh, well. he, he's one of he's one of these there guys. You go. that, he's one of these guys that his job is this, but he really <laughs> would prefer to do that. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. spent twelve hours yesterday. I think on a catalog looking for some switch. Uh, but thank you very much, sir. It's uh, good to see you, Pat. Uh, good to see you, you guys. Is that the same shirt you had on yesterday when, you st when the show started? Yeah, I figured Josh wouldn't have this on today, so I'd wear it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. good call. All right, because yesterday you had matching <laughs> shirts. It was a little weird. Yes. Uh, like some kind of a uh, uh, lumberjack uniform. <laughs> it's good to see you, Josh. You looking good today? Oh, am I? Thank you. You feeling you. good? Uh, yeah, yeah, doing get, well. Get, get plenty of sleep. Um, hey, hey, yeah, Tom. Okay. Hey, Tom. Y'all, y'all coffee up? Right, y'all right? Y'all caffeined up? Y'all coffee up? There's this. You one. don't want any air. You There's don't want anybody just uh, just to pause for a second, have a conversation. We gotta talk. Every you gotta fill every second with somebody talking. Josh, how are you this morning? Quickly, quickly. Jesus. In Mary radio, and in radio, in radio, we call that dead air. Now, to answer your question. No, it's to uh, be fair. Yes, I. Um, You're caffeined up. My favorite coffee. I, I got a few yesterday, and I, I put them in the fridge overnight, so I was able to bring them in this morning and reheat them. Uh -huh. Contrary to popular belief, coffee can be reheated and still retain its lovely taste. Um, but this coffee is delightful, as opposed to the swill that we serve. Why don't you find out what they sell there, and we'll get that. Well, I could but, do that. I just don't have that kind of time. <laughs> All you have to do is make a phone call. But he has time to, to uh, heat it there. up overnight and then heat it up in the morning and then store it in a special refrigerator, yeah. I'm sure. But, and then uh, You so drove all the way down there to get it because I know what you're talking about. It's not out. I mean, no, you could have he, asked he the can't people. Be, he, it's he, a nice he's drive. Beyond, he's beyond reason. I That's know. what he is. So Did nice you hear drive. what happened there between beyond and reason? Hmm. I took a pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that threw him. And that's okay, and that's not dead air. Okay, all right. Dead air, inside radio term. You're familiar with that, Josh? Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, dead air, yeah. I've been trying to educate Kostaki about that term. <laughs> he <laughs> likes the pregnant pause. Yeah, I just... Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're effective on stage. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we have uh, a lot of interesting stuff going on in the world today, including some pretty good sports news I'm yeah. kind of excited about. I don't know about that. Uh, now, let me just introduce everybody one more time. Oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah, Chip, Chip the yeah. not, Let's go by height this time. <laughs> you want to, okay, now I got to start a height. Yeah, yeah, time. you better start oh, over. Um, From shortest to tallest. Uh, be who's Christy taller, you or Ace? I have no idea. Ace? I'm bigger. About the okay. same size. All right, okay, let's just give it to Ace so we don't have to get to an argument. <laughs> with oh, boy. Uh, it's six, two and a half. Um, what are you, oh, 220? Uh, it's Ace Cosby right over there. Uh, our engineer, uh, Chick McGee's right across the way in the uh, crazycockwine.com sports desk. How about that? Tell your liquor store, hey, w would you please get crazycockwine.com? And I've been getting the letters, I get it. Some people think that um, a crazy cock wine is like Dickens Cider, the famous product it came out with 30 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was fake. Right. Oh, there's now a real one. The crazy cock wine is real. Yeah. And it's in the can. If you like it in the can, there's a couple cans of it right behind me. Uh, that's Josh, of course, in the sidekick chair. I'm Tom. Christy Lee is in the uh, Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. Yes, sir. All by herself. And then there's Pat Godwin. Uh, all sonically great today, Pat. Sounds, yeah, sounds fantastic. Oh, that's good. Thank and, you. And we have a song coming up in just a matter of moments with mm. Pat. All okay. Right? I'm very excited about it. It will require a story from Josh, however. Oh, it will. Okay. Before we get to it. Uh, all right. Okay. Well, we're getting some requests for some of Josh's classic stories. Oh, boy. And uh, we'd love to hear from you, Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. If you'd like to email us anywhere in the world. Uh, again, we opened up with a nice letter from the great state of Michigan. And uh, I've got some <laughs> California mail. California mail. Oh yeah. What? Yeah. I, I'm See, not familiar with California. I wish they all could be California yeah, mail. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I wish it all could be California. I know mail. about Michigan. I don't know about any other states in the union. Anybody else? Yeah, Chick is just a else? he's just a Buckeye from the, the born. No, and you mention Michigan every day, and I think it's because you grew up there and you have fond memories of there and mm -hmm. this, that, and the other. But there are other states. Right now, I wish I was We there. broadcast the other states. I wish right you there were there at Five too. Mile Creek. Yeah. Yeah. Underwater. Making a bonfire tonight. Out in dead air underwater. <laughs> Ever do a nice beach fire, Josh? Yeah, it's great. Go for a dip. It's awesome. 
Yeah. You ever skinny dip, Josh? I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I've only... Oh, no, no. I, I have. don't see it, you skinny dipping. I've skinny dipped skinny in dip? pools and in uh, na na nature. Yeah. So. Skinny, skinny dipping in a lake lake's a little tricky. Well, he was bear man, remember? I don't oh, know. Tom? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, with his brothers? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. explain So that you had to, to be naked in the lake, right? Sometimes. Uh, uh, when I was old enough to know better, I was swimming with my brother John in front of our house one day, and... There was a huge rock on the beach there, the size of a car. Oh, and, that's uh, a big rock. It is a big rock, and you can sit on it and whatever. And uh, I, I wasn't really thinking about it. And my brother and I were out there. All of a sudden, my brother's bathing suit hits me in the face. <laughs> now, what the hell? Is <laughs> so we have this bathing suit, or we're heaving bathing suits at each other. Oh, and then John, having plotted this the whole time, puts his suit back on takes my suit and gets out of the water. There's a big brother for you. And in the meantime, a family had strolled down the oh. beach and was having a, <laughs> having a picnic on the rock. Oh, it's it's true. Doesn't that sound like a scene from Boys in the Band? That, <laughs> yeah. gay, that, that gay romp from the 70s? Sure does, that, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, Leonard Fry and the guys. Uh, I had to signal my dad sitting up at the picnic table to send somebody down for relief. <laughs> <laughs> and I was probably you know, 17, way too old to have been tricked by that oh. classic. Uh, so have you ever skinny dipped with a woman? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm shocked by that. Absolutely. Well, so Tom's lived. Yeah. Although skinny dipping at night in a lake, I always get concerned about lamprey eels or sure, sure, even know, some kind of uh, lobster. Or gill man. Like yeah, you, you don't want to. You don't want to fish to mistake certain things for bait. <laughs> yeah. You know, the opening scene of Jaws comes yeah. to mind. <laughs> Oh God, yeah, that yeah, always that's terrible. even horrible. even at a lake. I, uh, <laughs> right, I, I, right. I, I, feel, I feel that way. I'm not sure why we're talking about skinny dipping, but uh, do we have any skinny dipping news today? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, do okay. we? Uh, any uh, sports teasers? No, but you might, talking about sunny beaches and kayaking and the lake and yeah. hiking, huh? Who's yes. already there in their brains? That's ah. right, aren't you? Aren't you yeah. up there sitting uh, thinking you'd like to be on a beach ah, somewhere yeah. and with a nice, uh, nice. Uh, a uh, can of wine from oh, Crazy right. Cock Wine. How, how does that sound? Yeah, right. Our favorite premium wine is Crazy Cock Canned Wine. Uh, they have a dry rosé, a dry white, a dry red blend. And for those of you who like the bubbles. I like bubbles. It's Crazy Cock uh, Sparkling White and Sparkling Rosé. Perfect for those warm summer days mm. on the sunny beach kayaking. El the Refresco. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. It's made by the Gibson <laughs> Wine Company, who's been making uh, quality wine in their California vineyards for 80 years. Originally, they designed it for South Carolina college football fans, hence the oh. cock connection. But since it was so crazy good, they decided... Let's make it for everybody. Did you see that movie, Cock Connection? <laughs> I, uh, oh, I have, yes. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a scene where they, yeah, they throw devil's, bathing devil's suits at each other. Yeah, quite a car chase, though. Yeah, yeah. okay, yes. <laughs> Ask your retailer <laughs> well, for that was French Connection. Sorry. Crazy oh. Cock Wine. <laughs> crazy Cock canned wines are great wines to be enjoyed anywhere you go. Convenient and recyclable. They fit in any cooler or backpack. And can be taken to the park or the beach or anywhere you go. You ever tried to it. fit a bottle of wine in a cooler? Oh, oh it's it. awful. <laughs> it is a chore. It is awful. Forget You're right. it. Yep. It's I agree. Stupid. <laughs> Look for Crazy Cock cans at your favorite market and a market near you. If you can't find it in the store, what? Go online, crazycockwine.com, and make your order. Then tell your local retailer, the Bob and Tom Show says, to stock Crazy Cock Wine. Leave your glass and wine opener at home and get some Crazy Cock Wine. That's crazycockwine.com. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Coming back, you got the sports teaser? Yes, sir. Uh, Miami and new uh, football numbers for their football players and ticket refunds and quotes and smaller crowds. An uh, NFL schedule released Friday, I believe. Oh. Well, we'll be no. waiting for that. Okay, good. Oh, coming right back, it's the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mark Allison here with you on a Wednesday hump day, everybody. It's May 6, 2020. Thanks so much for joining us on the Bob and Tom Show this morning. On the way, resident geek Jessica Alsman, comedian Miss Pat, and relationship expert Allie Breen, all via Zoom, socially distancing here at the Bob and Tom Show, keeping everyone safe. And we're glad you're here with us on a Wednesday more of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. 
Former President Barack Obama has been added to the Graduate Together event next week for high school students who will miss out on graduation because of the coronavirus outbreak. The special will also feature Pharrell Williams, the Jonas Brothers, her, LeBron James, and more. ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox, as well as 20 other broadcast and online outlets will air this special on May 16th. If you're getting tired of being quarantined, sitting around looking at the same four walls, well, you're not alone. The ratings suggest Americans are keen on shows about how to spruce up their living space or how to cook. Networks like HGTV and the Food Network have seen their ratings jump during the stay-at-home period ushered in by COVID-19. And in these days of social distancing, it should be no surprise that a company geared toward hurting people into theme parks is hurting financially. Disney reported yesterday a steep decline in profits as many segments of its media and entertainment offerings have ground to a halt. Disney's second quarter profits dropped 91 percent. Overall, Disney says costs related to COVID-19 have cut its pre-tax profit by $1.4 billion. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Have you noticed that you can't get hand soap? Yeah, like, it's hard. Right. It's really hard to get it. The only thing they have available is like really high end hand soap. <laughs> yes. And it's uh for lack of a better word, the the flavors that didn't work out. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, Absolutely. Yeah, it's like, oh, lavender and mackerel. <laughs> Bob and Tom mornings and highlights replayed all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at six AM Eastern on Bob and Tom twenty four seven. Hi, this is comedian Rob Haney, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 10. Well meaning, but Yeah, they're they're all messed up. More than slightly confused. From Donnie Baker and the Pork <laughs> Pistols. <laughs> she gave a sign for the bedroom. Six eighteen at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Thank you, Chick McGee. Christy Lee has the forecast. Q95 Fox 59 weather. Brought to you by the Car X Man. Partly cloudy today, high 60. Mainly clear overnight down to 39. Plenty of sunshine, but breezy tomorrow and a high of 68. Currently cloudy and 40 degrees. Thank you very much. Coming up, Ms. Pat, among others. It's going to be a ladies' day here. Jessica yeah. and Allie also joining us later today. Uh, pay close attention to Q95. Some shots at 1000 bucks coming up. You could be a winner like Scott Barrick or Doug Redman. So hang out for that. Uh, also, um, you may have learned that uh, that Alexa 
that thing over there, you can have that as turn into a radio. You just say, hey, uh, excuse me, Alexa, can you play a Q95 via iHeartRadio for me, please? Because we'd love to join you wherever you are. Maybe you're in your bathroom with your Alexa. C can we see through that thing? <laughs> uh, welcome back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Happy to be here on this, the 6th of May, 2020, as the uh, quarantine continues. We're in the big room. Ace, Chick. This is Tom. That's Josh. Through the glass over that way, it's Christy Lee. Hey, everybody. Through, through the magic of uh, some kind of video link it's elsewhere in the building now, uh, but uh, hardwired <laughs> to uh, the uh, sonic room that we are oh, broadcasting. Oh, my it's, gosh. It's Pat is, Godwin. Is this explanation going to go hand in hand with every introduction today? Uh, Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, and uh, once again, Christy, of course, in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. And Mr. McGee, as we just mentioned, it's the crazycockwine.com sports desk. Go to your liquor store and say, hey, how about some uh, crazy cock wine? Sign Grab them by the collar. Oh, maybe not. Uh, uh, coming up, we have a, 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 a story request. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. This is a very exciting. We're getting requests from all over the world. Uh, Good night, moon. <laughs> the, uh, oh, I love that. One. I yeah. do too. Sweet, isn't it? Uh, Good so night, sweet. lamp. Um, now, Good night, um, chair. The the story in Psycho. The, this is one of Josh's uh, oh. stories. Josh is a, a a man of truth. Yeah, maybe too honest. Yeah, a man who tells uh, true stories about his actual life. Piss the bed. Um, oh boy, I that's sure that's the request. <laughs> oh, really? It oh, is. Yeah, that's the. I, I wouldn't have ordered it so uh, <laughs> uh, uh, crassly. No, it would have taken you twenty word. minutes to explain. <laughs> that. Well, the urination <laughs> process, of course, we're all familiar with it. And, uh, well, occasionally, the Make it to the bathroom. Well, there's th there's this weird story, and it's back again today um, from another source about. Um, TikTok yes. and this um, urination festival that's going on on TikTok. <laughs> if you will. A urination festival? Well, I'm calling it that to give it a little bit of elegance because <laughs> it really has none. Social Isn't media that? users are basically standing in front of a mirror and yeah. they're peeing themselves. And they're, they're put making, it all on camera. Mm -hmm. Is this the hashtag pee your pants challenge? Yes, exactly. Oh, boy. The first yeah. video appeared on TikTok when Liam Wire yes. filmed himself saying <laughs> pee your pants challenge before appearing to wet himself as a gray patch appears on his shorts and there's a disturbing sound of liquid hitting the floor. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Liam said he was surprised the trend has caught on as others on the video Disney. sharing platform have posted clips using the same hashtag. It's quite disturbing. You know, as I said, how about a clean your room challenge? I'd like to, like to see a few, a few TikTok people do that. <laughs> I can think of a couple. I've been a clean the closet challenge. I've seen that. Uh, uh, so come on, everybody. Yeah. Remember that all this stuff's going to show up later in life when you go to apply for a job. Yeah. And well, Mr. Arnold, your resume looks pretty good. I can oh, thank see you. you were a so teacher here in, uh, in South Korea. That's, that's right. That, yeah. That's quite impressive. Fascinating time. Um, uh, <laughs> however... Uh, uh, we have standards here. Uh, oh, oh, well, I think I'd meet those. At, at the school, and I think the fact that you are appearing uh, on TikTok peeing your pants oh. may send the wrong message to the students. Oh, yeah. You saw that, did you? Oh, yeah. It's it's when we Google you, it's the first thing <laughs> well, that comes up. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that's the first thing that comes up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the other three videos. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave. Don't look up. Don't look up. <laughs> hashtag, yeah. hashtag crap your pants. Yeah. That would be yeah, somewhat less popular. Yeah, now there's, some, there's yeah. something. No. Yeah. Don't start that. Oh, I'm sure it's jump. out there. Because I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm sure there is a fetish. A, a dark uh, web. Right. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. So, Josh, um, we have a request here uh, uh, for you to tell your story about the uh, urination troubles you had. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, was at a work party. I worked for Six Flags St. Louis, and the parties were uh, wonderful. They were well, just now, a blast. You were the star at Six Flags. Well, I was Foghorn Leghorn. Bugs was the star. Sure. But, uh, oh, well, that's true. Anywho, yeah, a big, big bash, and uh, one of the girls that I worked with, uh, we ended up uh, hooking up. Uh, now, can I ask this? Uh, what was her costume? Was she in the show? She was on the tech crew, so she was the lighting and sound. Ah. So, um, no costume there. So, yeah, we... One thing uh, led to another? Yeah, yeah. We, and, uh, I mean, we, of, we, did you have the costume on during the... Uh, no, no, you couldn't leave it. You, you couldn't leave the park. Okay. So, this was off-site. All right. And uh, at a house, and we, and uh, yeah, did she, we, did she ask if she could call you Foghorn during the? Uh, uh, she did, and I had to act. Uh, I say, I say, take that bra off. <laughs> 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 well, look at that. And uh, yeah, yeah, she had a weird fetish. But uh, yeah, so we um, look at those take old bitty. And uh, <laughs> hooking up, I was very drunk, and uh, and then you know fell asleep in her bed, and and she was there too, and woke up in the morning, and. Uh, 
found out that I see I I I I'd wet the bed. I uh, urinated all over it. Uh, how old were we at this point? Oh, uh, twenty. Uh, I think twenty. So your so your bla- your bladder had more or less been trained for a, yeah. s- a solid fifteen years, maybe yeah, more. Yeah, but not necessarily for the drinking. Uh, well, yeah. I was a bedwetter up until maybe eleven. Something. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I was a late bedwetter. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry to hear that. No, oh, no, no. It's all right. It's uh, no, the best uh, the best kind of sleep, right? <laughs> oh, dude, laying there yeah. in the w- warmth of your own urine. Yeah. yeah. Now that I have to get up twice a night, I wish I was a bedwetter. Yeah. Right. No yeah. kidding. So. <laughs> Um, so he, did, did she, then she did she so wake up, up and first. notice the? Uh, I I was kind of I go oh no and she goes what what's the problem I go well I, <laughs> I wet your bed I couldn't lie I mean there was no lying oh, about it man. and she goes she started laughing she goes okay well you're staying here and washing my sheets and then you can leave <gasps> go, oh, yeah that's why I had to wow. hung over wash the pee sheets and sit in this girl's apartment part that I didn't want to be in anymore. <laughs> the launder was, of shame. The no. awkward yeah. morning were you, after. Were your underpants on at the time, so did you have to launder those as well? Uh... You, oh man, what did I, I bet do? You, I bet you walked around in a towel probably or something. I, I honestly don't remember... I think I was naked, I guess. I had to have been, because I was able to put my clothes back on okay. and leave. Oh, did you shower you before? Um... Yeah, I okay. think so. Got on a nice shower and put your clothes. Yeah, that's okay. that's a little fuzzy after the. Did she give you breakfast? No, no. I remember being all just awfully hungover and. Uh, did she hang around or did she leave you there oh, by she herself? Oh, she did. She, she, no, she was there. Yeah. Oh, so we had that. To... Oh, how awkward. Oh, it was terrible. Oh. Yeah, the whole thing was. Did you have to go to work that day? Um, no, no. I think she did, and so. Uh, I, so I showed up to work when I, the next time I did go to work, I, I essentially confessed to everybody what happened because I thought that she had already told everyone and mm-hmm. she hadn't. Oh, so, yeah. Wow. So, um, we didn't hook up again. I see. Okay. You didn't? No. Uh. Did, now, do you, did you recall, do you, did you actually hook up that night to get into the most technical aspects of your encounter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, there, so your <laughs> bladder wasn't the only pipe that was working. Uh, no. No. Yeah. The, okay. Okay. That's all. It. Plumbing was now. Uh, Pat, I understand you have a tribute. This is a sing along. Yeah. Let's get those sing along voices ready. Okay. <laughs> In St. Louis, where he was born, lived a man we call Josh. Went on a date with a girl from work. They both got. Pretty sloshed They did the deed And went to sleep Woke up soaking wet At 3.15 Josh was drunk He peed the bed Woke up in yellow Pissed on sheets They're both sleeping On yellow pissed on sheets Yellow pissed on sheets Yellow pissed on sheets They're both sleeping On yellow pissed on sheets Yellow pissed on sheets. Yellow pissed on sheets. Woo! <laughs> boy, oh boy. Finally a reason to like that song. <laughs> oh, gosh, no kidding. Wow. That's a rough one. So that was a request, huh? Yes. Yeah, well, well, we have, uh, yeah. we have uh, some really obscure stuff. Um, I've got one here for... Uh, when Tim Allen was in the studio, I think for the first time, and he did his uh, tribute to the Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh, I oh, love that. Yeah, that's, that's a that's classic. A, we'll yeah. see if we can Very dig, big classic. dig that one up. In the meantime, we turn to the sports <laughs> desk, the crazycockwine.com sports desk. In case it's needed, the NFL has come up with a ticket refund plan for canceled games or those held without fans. Okay, hang on to yourselves. All right. uh, Commissioner Goodell has sent a memo to the 32 teams, calls for a uniform baseline for full refunds on any tickets purchased directly from the clubs. Each team will communicate directly with its, with its fans over the next few days with specific details on potential refunds. I'm not taking any questions. <laughs> the NFL will reveal its 2020 regular season schedule tomorrow evening. As for the secondary market, the league received pledges from Ticketmaster and SeatGeek to make full refund. StubHub uh, will do so only when required by state law, it says in this Associated Press story. Hmm. Hmm. There you go. Okay. He wants to ask a question so bad. No, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm, uh, you just, I, I'll, no one knows what's going to be happening in a few right. weeks. It's, it's, there's a lot of it's speculation. So we'll and see. And isn't it kind of foolish to, to get set up for tickets and to try to buy them, and then something happens and somebody's going to make squeak about, complain yeah. about getting their refund? I mean, yeah. So why would you? you know, it's, it's don't all, worry about it. It's all day to day. Let's right. just hope they can play the games, even if it's in empty stadiums. And I did, I did read that. Um, 
with respect to the cash flow, et cetera, et cetera, the NFL will be just fine in terms of uh, their their finances, even if they can't sell the tickets, because the television packages are so lucrative sure. uh, that the teams oh, are gotcha. Th- th- according to this article, it's all right. They're all going to be well, fine. You, I'll sleep tonight. Which is the which which is the case with the NBA, but not with several other major sports. Yeah, no, some are really going to take a hit. As you said a couple of days ago, anything refunded, the the, uh, the teams are offering the choice of applying it to next year's tickets. Uh, so. And I'm not sure where this story comes from, but uh, here we go. The Dolphins have drawn up plans to accommodate a large reduction in fan attendance due to the virus uh, for the 2020 season at Hard Rock in Miami Gardens. I know a box seat that's available. The goal would be to... (laughs) Wow, that is cold. (laughs) The goal would be to limit attendance to 15,000 people. So we'll see what happens there. And speaking of the Dolphins... Well, I've got if the Marlins drew 15,000 people, it would have been the... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Biggest game of the summer. Sure, what a... <laughs> Rookie quarterback Tua Tunga Viloa, the Dolphins' top draft pick, which will now forward, you have a tongue of Viola there, uh, no. forward be called Tua. He'll wear uniform number one for the Dolphins. Whoa! Uh, he he wore number thirteen uh, at Alabama, but the Dolphins retired that number after it was worn by Pro Football Hall of Fame quarterback, non-Super Bowl winning Dan Marino. <laughs> Wow. See how I slipped that in there? The man, the man is bitter. Yep. In there? Uh, he'll be the first Dolphin to wear number one since Garrow Upremian. That's right. But what would you rather have, Chick? Huh? A Super Bowl ring or a role in Ace Ventura Pet Detective? <laughs> oh, well, that is a oh, great oh, question. Oh. Dan Marino. I think, uh, I think, I think he ended up the winner there. I think a Super Bowl ring. <laughs> <laughs> anybody, what? Anybody, <laughs> any NFL player would, sure, always, you, would choose Super Bowl ring first, I would think. If you ask uh, Dan, he probably would weigh in with that. But, <laughs> yeah. uh, running back Frank Gore has agreed to terms on a one-year contract with the Jets. He's going to be 37 next week. Frank Gore and the Jets. And Frank is great. <laughs> Uh, uh, Jets back, uh, Le'Veon Bell, and, uh, man, this is, uh, he's third on the NFL's all-time career rushing list with 15,269 yards. The move reunites Gaze with Coach, uh, reunites Gore with Coach Adam Gaze. And it feels so good. Who, of course, won't stop staring. At now, <laughs> of course. if you recall, our friend Larry King called yesterday and uh, gave us a little bit of uh, an education about the uh, late Great Don Shula. Boy, did he. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, graduate of John Carroll University and, of oh course, one God. of the finest there coaches. Uh, Number eight. I had no idea that uh, the Shula name was uh, famous way before Don. Uh, mm-hmm. As you recall, um, the Shula family had purchased the naming rights to um, Major League Baseball player, White Sox star Joe Jackson, yeah. who was, of course, known as uh, Shula's. Joe Jackson. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe didn't know he was deep. He had to sign with an X. He kind of didn't know. Uh, you know what? That is a fine joke. It is. It really <laughs> is. It's, it's silly. No, not it, recognizing. It's silly and smart. And that's and very it, clever. It, yes. Yeah. It, it, and yet it, profoundly stupid. It's right. Exactly. Silly, it's uh, smart and stupid. Incredibly silly, but it's it's layered. It's wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Now, I did some digging. <laughs> yeah. uh, Scratches all night. And by saying, when I say I did some digging, <laughs> Dean did some digging. And um, Scott wanted to hear uh, Tim Allen's first appearance in the Bob and Tom studio. So this goes back. This is way before and tool, where's, uh, tool time. Where's Tim Allen from? Michigan. Tim Allen is uh, from Michigan, of course. <laughs> That's right. I believe he's one of 11. Isn't, he's from a huge family. And what's his last name? His real name is uh, Tim Dick. That's Tim exactly Allen right. Dick. Um, yeah. But uh, this is, uh, y- yikes, uh, mid-80s probably. It's, a, it's uh, old. Tim Allen in the studio. Uh, when with, the world was young. Yeah, here we go. Tim Allen from uh, the Detroit area, Birmingham, actually. That's right. But my parents are uh, Iranian. They are? Yeah. Iranian? Yeah. (laughs) Pro-Iranian Shiite Muslims. They are. My dad's a car bomber. (laughs) But he told me once the worst job is not the car bombing. It would be a valet parker in Beirut. Because you just don't know in that sort of situation. <laughs> Turn that key and you could be sitting in Allah's lap. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what Silly Putty is? I'm not lying. Mm-hmm. It's silicone gel. Same stuff they use in breast implants. Now think about it. If a woman's nude with breast implants lays on the Sunday funnies. <laughs> I, I read that, and I had to add that. Off a girl's chest. Off a girl's chest. I read that off a chest. Can you, well, stre- can you, can you stretch them like silly play? <laughs> Change their shape, but don't pull them too high. They'll pull off. Click. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
And don't leave them in the sun, for God's <laughs> sake. <laughs> Out on the beach. Oh, I melted. Oh. Can somebody get a spoon, put my breast back on my chest? Oh, Let me do yep, a commercial yep, real yep. quick. The one I want to do real bad is I'm going to cook the doughboy. You know that little Pillsbury flower guy? Yeah. yeah. Do, 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 do. They always punch him in the gut. Yeah. <laughs> His name, I found out, is Poppin' Fresh. Right. I'd like to pop that little fat butt in the oven. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> 375, bake. He's beating on that window. <laughs> it's getting awful hot in here. <laughs> Starting to swell up. <laughs> <laughs> Throw that helping hand in after him. No! No! <laughs> Big brown head looking out the window. <laughs> Comes out the Pillsbury Soul Boy. How you doing? <laughs> That's Tim Allen's first appearance on the Bob and Tom show <laughs> before he became a uh, television and movie star. Yeah. He had a, a record of, uh, I forget what it, his first, whatever, 12 movies were all hits. He didn't have a loser in there. Um, but uh, And of course, he's great in Toy Story and many other films. One, yeah. of the, one of the uh, did you ever see Galaxy Quest? That's yeah. sure. it's terrific. Wonderful. Sure. Yeah, that's a great movie. It if, is. If you're looking for a movie to check out, fun. Man, that was the fun. first time. What's the guy? Other guy in that that's so good? Um, Sam Rockwell. Uh, Sam Rockwell. Yeah, oh, he's great. God. Alan Rickman, Tony yeah, Shalhoub. If you're looking for a movie to watch, check out Galaxy Quest. But uh, speaking and that, by the way, great request. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that, Scott. And we're taking requests. Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. I look across the room. I see the handsome visage of. Uh, nobody picked up. God, Christy, I just put it up. I'm there. waiting. I was waiting. I'm far too humble to assume that it was me. Uh, <laughs> ah, I was okay. waiting for Ace. It's his. Uh, that's his key. I know. Usually, he picks yeah. up on that, but nobody. Me. I was saying Chick <laughs> McGee. But. Uh, the NFL and Marshawn Lynch. Uh, here we go again with this. Uh, Willie or Woney, uh, former Seattle Seahawks running back Marshawn Lynch, reportedly considering returning the NFL. This is the uh, uh, again. He said uh, this week he expect the unexpected. Him and his quesadillas and uh, his skittles. He added, uh, "What I do know is my agent has been in talks with Seattle. So, like I said, we'll see what happens." He was certainly uh, conspicuous by his uh, no. less than uh, even great my, play. Even with my lack of football knowledge, I'd like to tell <laughs> Seattle get that golf cart ready. Oh. You know the one that <laughs> <laughs> the one that drives people sure. off in the middle of the game. Yeah, the 34 year old first retired after the 15 season, but returned to play for the Raiders in 2017 and then re re uh, played uh, 21 games. He retired after playing in just 21 games over two seasons only to play for the Seahawks for a short time at the end of last season. And I, I would offer this one of the best nicknames in sports. Don't you think? Beast Mode? Beast Mode, yeah. yeah beast good. Mode is really good. Yeah. Because it sounds like nothing else it really is. Terry Manley. A, a, great, a great nickname. He's in beast mode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah baby. Right now. Uh, now, uh, if you're in uh, uh, mode of um, having all your stuff stolen, uh, pay attention. Or not, because uh, the Better Business Bureau is warning people against uh, posting their school pictures or their favorite stuff on social media, because a lot of that stuff can lead scammers to figure out who you are, get a really good profile, and hack your accounts. I'm talking about LifeLock and why you need to uh, check in with LifeLock to make sure that cybercrime doesn't enter your life. Identity theft is a very serious business, and it's bigger than ever, especially during the lockdown. So uh, check out LifeLock. It's very inexpensive. LifeLock is the leader in identity theft protection. And if you do become a victim of identity theft, LifeLock can help you restore your identity easier. They have an entire staff here in the USA that can uh, help you get your life back. No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor transactions at all businesses, but LifeLock can uh, look out for stuff you're not even going to see. It's very inexpensive. Join right now and save an extra 25% off your first year by using the promo code TOM25. Get all the details at 1-800-LIFELOCK or just go to LifeLock.com. Once again, that promo code TOM25 for 25% off. TOM25 at LifeLock. Right now, your identity could be for sale on the dark web. So uh, be careful. You've pumped a lot of numbers into that phone over the years, and a lot of them are floating around. Check out LifeLock. Very inexpensive, and you'll sleep better knowing that someone's looking after your stuff. Tom25 is the code. When we come back, Chick? Uh, Ron Artest. He's at it again. All right. We'll find out what he's doing. This okay. is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 888-262-8661. More Bob and Tom next. State law.
Hi, this is Bob. And this is Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Well, you turned in on the right day. Miss Pat is on the way. She'll be joining us via Zoom later this morning, as well as relationship expert Allie Breen from New York City and our resident geek Jessica Alsman, all on the way on a Wednesday right here on Bob and Tom 24-7. I'm Chick McGee from the CrazyCockWine.com Sports Desk, and this is your Bob and Tom Sports Update. In case it's needed, the NFL has come with a ticket refund plan for canceled games or those held without fans. Commissioner Roger Goodell has sent a memo to the 32 teams that calls for a uniform baseline for full refunds on any tickets purchased directly from the clubs. Each team will communicate directly with its fans over the next few days with specific details on potential refunds. Rookie quarterback Tua Tonga Viola, the Dolphins' top draft pick, will wear number one. The Dolphins announced number assignments yesterday, and Tua wore number 13 in Alabama, but Dolphins retired the number with Dan Marino. Tua will be the first Dolphins quarterback to wear number one, which was most famously worn by kicker Garo Upremian. Running back Frank Gore has agreed to terms on a one-year contract with the New York Jets. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. I own a three-foot ruler. Oh, wow. Got it at a yard sale. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> that's <laughs> almost not worth the energy to laugh at. <laughs> Bob and Tom mornings and highlights replayed all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, this is comedian Ron White, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. For years, we Europeans have had a special taste for bottled waters. The benefits of drinking bottled waters <laughs> have back. not been lost on you intelligent Americans. <laughs> more and more of you are drinking exotic, healthy, and expensive imported bottled water. First it was Perrier, the sparkling crystal clear water from France. <laughs> then came Evian, crisp, refreshing pure spring water from the Alps. And now, the latest bottle of water to cross the ocean, imported exclusively by <laughs> Gullible Yank Imports. It's hot dog water. <laughs> Listen to what your fellow Americans said about imported hot dog water when we secretly served it to them in a very chic New York City bistro. Oh, God. <laughs> well, it's kind of cloudy. <laughs> Hanging in it. It's one of those aftertaste. It's imported. <laughs> well, it's, uh... it's chic and very exclusive. Well, it's. Let me be frank. Princess Diana drinks it, and it's very expensive. I love it. What's it called? It's called hot dog water. <laughs> <laughs> hot dog water. <laughs> hot dog. And what do you think, sir? Well, it's um. It's imported. Well, it's kind of cloudy. It's yeah. very nutritious. <laughs> sort of, sort of tastes like hot dog water. It is hot dog water. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes, the unmistakable taste of hot dog water, bottled in Wienerwasser, Austria. You'll find our bottling plant just a yodel away from the Wienerwasser sausage factory, just south of the Danube River sewage treatment facility. This is mm, delightful. Should I add a lemon or a lime slice when I serve hot dog water to my guests? No, no, no. You should add mustard or ketchup. <laughs> oh, of course. Hot dog water. <laughs> Remember our motto. It takes a lot of guts to make this stuff. Oh. Not to mention hooves, tongues, <laughs> and snouts. Oh, say, this is tasty. How much is a bottle of hot dog water? About 30 francs, or in America, $10. Wow, what a bargain. And coming soon from the hot dog water people. The first drinking water that is also a cologne, new HD Eau de Toilette. Is that toilet water? Exactly. Imported <laughs> toilet water. You mean that from a real French toilet? Oui, oui. 10,000 French poodles can't be wrong. Oh. Hot dog water. Bob and Tom. For your information, these are two of the worst kids I have ever encountered in my life. And I work the state fair. 
We were stupid before stupid was cool. I actually uh, I have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. All right. Well, check out. Uh-huh. Uh, in my fantasy, I am making love to this woman. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she feels the earth move beneath her. Ah, uh, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first, everybody. Safety first. <laughs> Today's Cliff Notes Theater, the monumental epic movie... Titanic! Oh. <laughs> Man, this is some boat. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> this has been Cliff Notes Theater. Uh-oh. Cliff Notes Uh-oh. Theater. When you just don't have time to set through the whole movie. <laughs> hey, 646 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Thank Hi. you very much. Uh, quick forecast from Christy Lee. Q95, Fox 59 weather. Partly cloudy, 60 today. Clear overnight down to 39. Sunny, breezy, 68 on Thursday, 40 now. Thank you much. Let's see, 40 plus um, 960 would be 1,000. Listen for your shot at 1000 bucks coming up. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Sorry, I'm working on a math problem over here. Um, uh, well, let me just introduce everybody. Ace Cosby, of course, is our engineer. And he's also the proprietor of the Ace Cosby Joke of the Day, brought to you by Steven Singer. Don't forget, I hate Stevensinger.com. Today is the day. Last day to make sure you get that gift for you. That's that sweet mom of yours. You know that mom. There's one over there. There's one over Those moms all need a great gift. They sure do. Steven Singer. Once, once again, it's IHateStevenSinger.com. I'll get, more, get you more information on that coming up. Let's see. Uh, there's Chick McGee at the Navy. Uh, nope. I'm sorry. He's at the CrazyCockWine.com sports desk. <laughs> I'm confused here, Christy, because... Why? Um, hmm. Well, I, I received a windbag letter here. Uh, yes. What have we done wrong now? Well, I'm just broadcasting is probably a mistake. <laughs> uh, it says, uh, uh, this is from Mike Sargent. He writes, uh, 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 since Christy Lee is uh, at the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom and the Navy Federal Credit Union news desk, yes. she is social distancing, but it should not be listed in feet but in fathoms. Oh. <laughs> uh. And I believe a fathom is about six feet. Is that right? I have no idea. So you're, I don't know. Uh, you're behind the glass, I would say, a solid two, two fathoms. plus fathoms yeah, away. Probably. Thank you very much, Mike, uh, member of the uh, Junior Windbag Society. You can join, too, just by getting the Bob and Tom app. It's free and fun. Let's see. There's Josh. I'm Tom. That oh, There's Pat Godwin. Uh, Pat Godwin has been relocated. He's in the building, but far away. He's in the building, but in a secret location. <laughs> Uh, it's a long walk to even go see him. You're sounding good, Pat. Thank you very much. Feeling good, thanks. Oh, good, 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 good. Now we have uh, we have a Chick McGee at his uh, post over there. What's going on? Uh, former NBA player, Meta World Peace. You remember him? That's Ron Artest. Yeah, he's uh, well, evidently he's changed his name. Again? All right, again, this time to Meta Sandford. S A N D. I'm sorry, Sandiford, S-A-N-D-I-F-O-R-D, not Sanford. You big dummy <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Meta Sandiford hyphen Artest. Okay. And Meta Sandford, Sanford Art. Uh, Ron, formerly known as Ron Artest, <laughs> revealed his new name on Inside the Green Room with Danny Green. That's a not miss. He said the name change <laughs> honored, honored his wife, Maya Sandiford. Oh. Okay, well, that makes a little uh, sense. I guess. Gotcha. He said, I actually took my wife's last name and ended it in my last name. He had previously changed his name to Meta World Peace back in 2011 to inspire and bring youth together. There's a good documentary about him. It's really uh, very interesting. I've met Ron. I've met Ron. Um, Meta, nice guy, but yep. uh, has a temper, I guess. Matt, he had a barbecue. He had an anger problem? No, I don't know. You know, the more I hear about the details in that story, I kind of don't blame him. Meta revealed to uh, Danny Green that he was initially embarrassed by the name Meta World Peace and early on thought to himself, this is the dumbest thing ever. He also dispelled rumors that he changed his name to Panda Friend when he moved to China in 2000. <laughs> I remember that. I remember 2014. That. I, I'd be more than willing to change my name to Panda Friend. That's Panda a nice friend? name. That's a great... There are my... conflicting reports here. There are actually... Some are saying that his name is Meta Ford uh, Artest. Meta and, and, and he's dropped the Sandy. I'm not joking. Oh, Meta Ford? Yeah. And some are saying it's Meta Sandiford Artest. So hmm. uh. I don't know what 
But wow. I, you know, life's complicated <laughs> enough. Right? I think he should have stick with Panda Friend. I, I do, too. Why didn't he my, just call himself Ron Artest and be done with it? That's us. my dream oh, name. choice. I get that. I You're know. allowed to call yourself what you want, but it's like Puff Daddy. Remember, he was what well, he was like, Puff Daddy, Piff Daddy. P. Piff, P. Diddy. P. Yeah. Diddy. Whatever. Diddy. Yeah. Well, and I got a request for that. You may recall the, all the confusion about that name. Uh... Puff Daddy and I got to hang out. I don't know if you recall this one. Oh, no. Bob and Tom Motion Pictures presents a new psychological thriller. What happens when two people from very different worlds meet? Will they even understand each other? The Bob and Tom Show's very own Tom Griswold plays himself. Hi, everybody. Opposite <laughs> hip-hop legend P. Diddy Combs. Man, what's happening? It's the mega blockbuster that says, look out, Tom Cruise, because Tom Griswold is Vanilla God. <laughs> Is Yo, what is hot? Word. Some guys know. Come on. Some do not. Huh? Especially yeah. Tommy G. What? He's huh? The I'm lost. <laughs> My man. It's P. Diddy and Tom Griswold together for the first time. Howdy and greetings. I just want to say that it's a real honor to work with you, Sean. Yo. Uh, uh, right on, G. <laughs> Seriously, Sean, I am a big fan. Sean? You see any m the crusty ass white bitch named Connery around here, white boy? Because that's the only shine I know. <laughs> I catch the drift of your correction, bro. Uh, actually, I believe Sean Connery's Scottish. Uh, you can tell from his rolling R's and his tendency to break words down by syllables. But be that as it may, I'm, I'm hip to where you're coming from, blood. And I'd be delighted to refer to you by your famous gangsta moniker, Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy? What year do you think this is, fool? What the f***, man? What I'm saying is, the name Puff Daddy done went stale, man. Man, I got to be fresh, G. Now, you see what I'm saying? Now, I'm banging with P. Diddy, all right? Right on, Mr. Diddy. I'm right there with you, homely. <laughs> Vanilla guy. When it's all over, they know each other better than they know themselves. Man, can we bust a rap? Well... Okie dokie, that'd be quite an honor, uh, or uh, right back at you, Mr. Diddy. I party all night and I sleep all day. I have a golden retriever and a 401k. <laughs> <laughs> Don't f with me, I bust a cap in your ass. I pay an ethnic gentleman to cut my grass. <laughs> You're one of the players. <laughs> you wanted the honkies. We have one thing in common. We're both hung Hun like donkeys. Did the donkeys. <laughs> 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 donkeys. He's the Nilla. He's the Nilla. My man. He's the Nilla. <laughs> and that vanilla guy, he's a bad mother. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little bit of vanilla guy. In honor of uh, Meta World Peace changing his name again. To uh, well, it's somewhat in dispute. Apparently, it's uh, Meta Sanford, Sandiford, S San or S Meta Ford, or but he's picking up our test again, so it's Meta yeah. Sandiford. I feel bad for the God, the people at the NBA pension office. <laughs> you know, they get a phone call. Well, our test has changed his name again. Oh, jeez, what and is it now? Uh, it's not it's not Panda Porn or whatever the hell it was. Panda Friend. <laughs> Panda Friend. Sorry, I just. Panda Panda porn would be, well, I guess I you'd say, have to be their friend. You have to start off. Would this be legal? What? Could he charge like a thousand bucks and he would change his name to any name you wanted for a week? Hey, hmm. do you hear a... I guess you could say Your Meta World Peace changed his name to Tom Griswold for a thousand bucks? That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be great, wouldn't it? I'd do it. You could make a living. You think? Would yeah. You, you'd change your name for, what, what kind of fee would you have? Uh, yeah, I'll go uh, 2500 a week. Wow. Whoa. So then I have to introduce you every time as... Oh, it's a handsome living. In the yeah. sidekick chair, it's <laughs> Phil Johnson. Yep. Me. Of course, you'll tell you'll get <laughs> Josh some, Arnold. some corporations taking advantage as well. Sure. And over there is McDonald Douglas. <laughs> <at> the... <laughs> Our engineer... Xerox. <laughs> Xerox is a pretty cool name for like a, a DJ. Xerox. Xerox. Yeah, that'd be a good name for a rapper. Xerox. Did you see that there was, God, I, forget, I don't think I have it in front of me. There was an article earlier this year, Xerox. Every year they do the color of the year. Really? But yeah. They, Why does Xerox? I, I don't know. I, I, guess I get it if it was a paint company. Well, I think that they, crayon company. Yeah. don't they make, um, obviously, uh, color copiers? Sure. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and, and I believe the color of the year this year was uh, clear. 
Oh, come All right. on. <laughs> I'll, I'll dig it up I'm and we'll find out about that. I'm looking it up right now. That's, that's uh, infuriating. Uh, coming up uh, <laughs> at, at, at the at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. Do Mexican have... wrestling. All right. We're covering it all, baby. Okay. Oh. And we have uh, Star Wars Day gone wrong. Oh. <laughs> in it, it resulting in an arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <Good. laughs> we'll find out what that's all about. This is the Bob and Tom Show. You can find us on Twitter at Bob and Tom. Or you can email us at Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Bob. And this is Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. 24-7. Hi, fellas. This is Floyd Tucker, the over-the-road trucker. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7, of course. Hey, Mark, put me in a good mood this morning. All right, well, here you go. Win a pair of E25 Raycon earbuds. Do I have your attention? That's right. Find the Raycon contest code in the news feed on the Bob and Tom app. Now, the Bob and Tom app is free to download. Just go and get it, and you can find yourself entered in the Raycon Earbud Contest. Enter the code at bobandtom.com slash contest. Increase your odds of winning by entering daily. The Bob and Tom app, again, free, available in your iTunes or Google Play store. So find yourself with a free pair of E25 Raycon earbuds. Check it out today. Thanks to Raycon and Bob and Tom. Hey, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg hospitalized yesterday with an infection caused by a gallstone. The plans to take part in the court's arguments by telephone today. Ginsburg, 87, underwent non-surgical treatment for a benign gallbladder condition at Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore. According to the Supreme Court, she's resting comfortably and expects to be in the hospital for a day or two. China plans to send four crewed space missions and the same number of cargo craft to complete work on its permanent space station within about two years. Officials made the announcement after the launch yesterday of a newly designed spacecraft aboard the latest heavy lift rocket. The plan further cements China's aspirations to rival the U.S., Europe, Russia and private companies in outer space exploration. And a highway patrol officer in Utah pulled over a vehicle the other day that was swerving badly on the interstate. When he did, he got a big surprise. The driver, five-year-old Adrian Zamaripa, Trooper Rick Morgan says Adrian didn't respond to his flashing lights, but did pull over when he hit the siren. The boy was seated on the edge of his seat so he could reach the brakes. Adrian said he was headed from Utah to visit his sister in California, where he wanted to buy a Lamborghini when he got there. And then he flashed $3 that he had in his wallet for the purchase. The boy and the car were returned to his parents. And yesterday, a local Lamborghini owner took Adrian on rides. This time, Adrian safely buckled in the passenger seat. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show on the way. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Yeah, he comes over to the house in a three-day beard. Sleeps on the couch, makes the place smell weird. He's on something and it damn sure ain't a job. <laughs> he scares the kids, stays on the phone. has got a car somewhere for me to co-sign on. He's been disowned and his wife's run off with Bob. 
<laughs> she finally told him he wasn't worth a damn. He tries to blame it all on Vietnam. But he wasn't there. He was 15 and 74. <laughs> <laughs> and he's had a bad back and a messy divorce. He's got a workman's comp case tied up in court. He can't move, and I can damn sure vouch for that. <laughs> he's my brother-in-law. <laughs> he's from Arkansas. <laughs> Lord, the best man at my wedding and the worst I ever saw. <laughs> he's living off of me. He's the baby of the family. <laughs> my wife won't let me shoot him because he's my brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Every day he smokes four packs of menthol. Makes about eight more long distance calls, snorts alcohol, and talks like dusty roads. <laughs> and he'll go through your wallet with a fine tooth comb and eat your family out of house and home. He'll cuss out your preacher and stop up your commode. <laughs> He's your brother in law. He's got nothing on the ball. The kind of man who'd rob from Peter and write a bad check to Paul. He's gotten out of hand. 701 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee has the forecast. Q95 Fox 59 weather brought to you by CarX. Partly cloudy today. Look for a high of 60. Clear skies overnight down to 39. Sunny, breezy, 68 tomorrow. Much better than yesterday. Oh, huh? sure. 40 right now. <sighs> Got a wind bag coming up, Christy. Oh, not again. again. Uh, I, I, <laughs> what what can I say? I, uh, I haven't even said anything today. I, I know. It's unbelievable. <laughs> uh, 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 call, let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Tom. <clears throat> Hi, Hi, Tom. Tom. Uh, hi, I'm Tom. Welcome, Hi, Tom. I'm Josh. It's unbelievable. Oh. The man cannot read a script. It's sad. Uh, from the Bob and Tom show. Nowhere um, in the script. No. <laughs> it, was, it, was, uh, it was seamless. Oh, it was... Our, our new windows on your uh, spring list. If, if you're have you gone to open up your windows and the whole rubber combing falls off. Are you making words right now or is this babbling? <laughs> what, uh, you, you bring <laughs> Josh, what do what our friends at Window Nation have going on? Oh, man, some great things happening. Right now, you can get a free online virtual quote valid for six months. So Where's no, that? Online? Yes. Nobody uh, has mm -hmm. to come over. To, did I say? Uh, deferred <laughs> payments for two years. Get two free windows with every two you buy. No limit on that. Whoa. That means you buy, you, buy, uh, you buy eight, you get 16 windows. Exactly. And you're only paying for eight. It's amazing. Oh, that's, Plus that's zero amazing. down payment, zero interest for two years. That's Whoa. free online virtual quote for six months. Deferred payments for two years. Two free windows from Window Nation with every two you buy. Plus zero down payment, zero interest for two years. Our friends at Window Nation. WindowNation.com. Get some nice windows. You'll save a ton of money. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We got a windbag already on the windbag. <laughs> it's unbelievable. We, uh, uh, Love it. Yeah. Oh, the fathom thing? Yeah, we'll get to it in just a second. Um, let's see now. This is Tom speaking. That's Chick over there at the crazycockwine.com sports desk, escorted by name. Our engineer is Ace Cosby, of course. It is six feet. Uh, the proprietor of the Ace Cosby joke of the day, brought to you by IHateStevenSinger.com. Mother's Day, when is it? Sunday? Sunday. You better get on that today before 2 o'clock. Get that stuff shipped. There's Josh. Pat Godwin's in the building, but he's... Might, down might, the hall. Might be miles away. Down the, down the hall, around the corner, in a sealed room. Hi, Pat. Hey, everybody. It's hey. good to see you. Okay, just had a windbag. Okay. Uh, saying that uh, since Christy is in the Navy Federal Credit Union News Room... Yes, sir. Technically, uh, we're social distancing. She's a little more than probably, I don't know, 12, 15 feet away. But it was suggested to us that since it's um, uh, the, the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom, we should measure it in fathoms. Fathoms, fathoms about six feet. I'm informed by um, Rick from Wisconsin. A fathom is a measurement of depth. True, not length. Not, not distance. Yeah. So uh, hmm. I don't know uh, what to do here. He just blew my yeah. mind. You're yeah. gonna have to dig a hole. Well, <laughs> wait a minute. A <laughs> league. Hang on a second. Nautically, a league, I believe, is a measurement of length. So you could do that. Is but, he a portion of a league? But I think a league is like three miles. Ooh. So. <laughs> so I would be like. Yeah, point one, this is gonna zero, take some math. I, the, a nautical mile is like three point four miles. I know that. So I we'll have to work on all of this. I. Just trying to get, just trying to get along, okay? <laughs> oh, I love when windbags windbag each other. I Life too. is tough enough, and I. I also found the Xerox story. Okay, we'll get to that in just a second because <laughs> oh. I knew it. The track phone hotline <laughs> is ringing. Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hey, fellas. Oh, Floyd. 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 Haven't told you Xerox program. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Sounds to me like y'all still quarantined. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we should be. 
And I've been quarantined regularly. You know, it dawned on me the other day with all this social distancing. I'm so glad we tried hands across America when we did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that's yeah. timely. Good point. <laughs> We'd have been fools to put that off. <laughs> Hey, so I'll tell it like this. It sounds to me like you joke of the day has kind of been in the slump, so I figured I'd pinch it for you today. Oh, boy. Wow. Okay, well, uh, this is uh, Floyd with the uh, joke of the day brought to you by IHateStevenSinger.com. Go ahead. Well, I got this in from a lot of lizards. I'd like to thank my favorite essential worker, Sue. <laughs> Even though her CB handles exit 285 on the couch, she's easy on and easy off, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Kind of like the clapper when you think about it. <laughs> okay, here goes. What do you call an infant baby born to a prostitute? Oh, no. <laughs> A brothel sprout. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful brothel. Oh, that was good. Brothel Thank you. Thank you, Floyd. You can tell spring is finally here. We got Pete Moss and Cypress Moss back on sale at the gas station. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure do, yeah. I sure do. Well, see you, Floyd. Okay. We got a mulch. Thanks, Floyd. That was that was helpful. I always wondered about that. Do you go get gas and go, oh, I think I need my mulch today. I've done that. I, I, really? Uh, firewood. I got some firewood while I was getting gas. Sure. Okay. You yeah. ever get salt? You're there? Yeah, get some salt. No, yep, I that. always get my salt at the grocery store, but... Yep. You got to haul those giant bags out of the grocery store? No, they're outside. Out yeah, by they're the, out, yeah they're you pull your car up. You pull your car up. Yeah, you it's way bag. too much oh, traffic. To, no, you have to pay for those? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're just sitting out there. <laughs> Aren't they free, leave one, take one? Uh, right? oh, they're like samples. <laughs> no. I, I forget. Why were we talking about the Xerox color of the year? I don't know. You brought it up. You brought it up. It's the first year that they've done this. Here it's it uh, the first ever color of the year by Xerox, and the transparent color is clear. It's ridiculous. <laughs> the importance of creating a fresh look into unobstructed future, they say. Oh. Looking ahead. I'll never use another Xerox machine <laughs> again. Well, that's not be ridiculous. They, they do make some fine products. Of yeah, course, of course, and it would be impossible not to use If you... Okay, uh, when it comes to colors, let's face it, we all know that it's all based on the 64 colors in the crayon box. Of course. <laughs> You find me clear, and I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay, Xerox. Speaking of that, how would you like to be a crayon company other than Crayola? That's oh, those a, poor. That's got to be a tough example. Well, well we're, we're not number one again. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I don't approve of crayons, as you know. Oh, uh, we know. I have to use them occasionally, like when you're dying Easter eggs. I prefer the Crayola products that are the, uh, the pens, mm -hmm. the washable pens. Gotcha, yeah. Of course, um, my four-year-old doesn't really know the washable from the Sharpie. No, that's Leaving a, a Sharpie around your home is just <laughs> deadly. Yep. You're asking little, for trouble. Had this little chair with her name embroidered on it. Why would you do that? <laughs> I did not. She, she went into the, one of the, I don't know, somewhere, found a Sharpie, and now it's on. Kept her quiet? Yeah. Uh, you know where the non-Crayola crayons uh, companies make? Rest, restaurants. Exactly. That's their bread and butter, oh, the yeah. restaurant. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Mm. Those little packets. Yep. Yeah. And they're okay. I think Easter baskets have a lot of those. Uh, yep. Off, mm -hmm. off very, crayon. very good point. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the they do have them next to the Crayolas, though. If you go to the, you know, Target or whatever. I have a question. If the color of the year is clear, uh -huh. yeah. has the fashion industry picked up on this? <laughs> uh, that's a nice, uh, that's a, that's a nice dress, uh, dress you got on there, Sylvia. It's <laughs> clear. You, you yeah. Can, you can say your thanks. <laughs> hey, up, he said, going back to sports. Do a little yeah. teaser here, real, right. real quick one. Uh huh. Coming up, we have a. Uh, a crotch on fire yes. in the news. Did you guys wow. see this? Is it a redhead? <laughs> uh, there you go. Fire pie. We'll find out about that coming up. Back to the sports desk. A Mexican uh, Luke, Lucha Libre, Luca Libre wrestler has uh -huh. been sewing face masks to fight off the virus. Prior to the pandemic, Hijo del Sobernarano, uh, nom de plume, that means the sovereign son, hmm. donned green and gold lycra leggings and a matching character mask, of course, as is the... Uh, custom in that world. Fight four fights a night, uh, uh, four four nights a week in his city's Lucha Arena. The pandemic has halted all means of income for he ho as well as his wife. She ho. <laughs> she, she ho. <laughs> yep. Are you into this at all, Josh? Since, Since they both no. they sew costumes for the luchadores, luchadores, lucha people who wear masks when they wrestle. Who's the 
movie guy that... Nacho Libre? Uh, Jack Black. Oh, Jack, Jack Black. Black. Yeah. The couple it, yeah. now uses their workshop to make face masks that pay homage to Mexico's most famous luchadors. He sells the mask through his Facebook page at uh, 150 pesos, about just over $6 each. Mm. Hope he can get uh, COVID-19 to tap out. That'd yeah. Be, be nice. That'd be all right. Um, it's weird thinking about a really macho wrestler behind a sewing machine. But, hey, more power to the guy. Yeah. Yes. And, um, well, Doing a little something? That's a weird sport. Yeah. It is. I watched a documentary on that once. It was Ooh. crazy. Yeah. Uh, got a, a request here that would involve... Uh, <laughs> uh, this is from Lonnie. He wants to hear Pat... Pat Godman. <laughs> oh, come on, Lonnie. Excellent, Lonnie. No, he, Lonnie. He, he puts it. He puts it in quotation marks, so he knows you're kidding. It's Pat Godwin. Okay. Uh, he wants to, you to uh, get one of your characters out here. Oh. oh. When uh, the next uh, no, soon no, no, here? No, right, right now. Right now, Pat. Oh my goodness. Jesus. He wants. He wants to hear your award-winning song uh, that involves you uh, transforming yourself hmm. into uh, well, now sadly, uh, the late Leon Redbone. Oh. Uh, um, this is a uh, this is a song that um, Pat and I worked on, re and it recently won the uh, song of the year. How about that in uh, international songwriting competition? Congratulations in the comedy Thank category. You. And uh, now Pat doesn't do this, but uh, 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 who does this again, Pat? Well, I'm sort of channeling Leon Redbone, the late great Leon Redbone, and uh, maybe a little bit of Al Jolson in the bridge. Oh, okay. careful with that! <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we Make, go. A makeup free Al Jolson. <laughs> Way right back when I was 22, everybody had hair down there. <laughs> the girls in Playboy magazine all had pubic hair. <laughs> I like to take a lady to lunch as long as there's something to munch, but uh, nobody has pubes anymore. <laughs> I went down to my local gym and all the guys there are hair free. <laughs> now, I'm feeling self-conscious because downstairs I'm Duck Dynasty. <laughs> ah, shaved my junk, had a heart attack. Looks like baby can't play in the hacky sack. Ah, nobody has pubes when I'm on. Ah, pubic hair. Ah, oh, how I love you. Why did you have to go? <laughs> I dig it, she a pet or a fro like Jimmy Walker. <laughs> I miss the 70s and a chick, you ready? Crotch just like Chewbacca. <laughs> God, that's Beautiful. good. That is so good. <laughs> Had a day with a gorgeous girl. Hell, I was twice her age. <laughs> I was hoping when we made love, she had a hair down there like Jimmy Page. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everybody's coochies bare, and I like a little Garfunkel down there. Oh, nobody has pubes anymore. Everybody's waxed and shaved, and I like a big bush at the top of the cave. Nobody has pubes anymore. Yes, sir. Thank you, everybody. That guy. Channeling Leon Redbone, the late great. A uh, request from Lonnie. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, we certainly appreciate that. You can reach us, Bob and Tom, at bobandtom.com. We'll find out what's going on. I tell you what's going on. It's Mother's Day on Christie. It's this Sunday. Correct. It's on a Sunday this year. Sunday. Good it's job. always on a Sunday, second Sunday in May, every year. I had no idea. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you what, your time is running out. That sound you are imagining is the clock ticking. You want to check out ihatestevensinger.com because today is the day. Got to get those orders in by 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time today to uh, make sure that you get that free and touchless delivery in time for Mother's Day. Steven Singer's got a bunch of stuff. Of course, we were just talking about some of the stuff we've been ordering. Uh, one of those things are those uh, special roses. The, uh, they're gold-dipped roses. Um, some ladies collect them. Some gents collect them. You could uh, get one for your sweet mother or all those mothers that you know. Uh, and uh, St Stephen Singer is making special donations to the incredible nurses, doctors, first responders, and all those great hospital workers when you purchase the mint green rose, the frozen white rose, or any of Stephen's other signature colors. Also, lots of great jewelry. Uh, this is a good time, I think, to get bracelets because with all this hand-washing, uh, you've you got to get something that will uh, stand up to it. 
when you do a nice thorough wash, you can get right up there on the in the in, on the arms. Uh, I hate Stephen Singer.com is the place to look and get it done in the next several hours. It's real simple. I hate Stephen Singer.com order by 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, Wednesday, May 6th. A free and touchless delivery in time for Mother's Day, including a free personalized message of love. Once again, it's I hate Stephen Singer.com. You can be, uh, you can you do something really nice for that sweet, sweet mom, okay? Thanks very much. I hate Stephen Singer.com. Coming back. Uh, we have, uh, Christy, anything interesting over there? Yeah, my crotch is on fire. Oh, well, not okay. mine, but it's uh, on right. <laughs> Yeah, I worded that differently. We'll find out about uh, that and uh, Donnie Baker next. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. If you irradiate poop, it will be sterile, but it's still... Poop. You can pick your morning radio show, but you can't wipe Bob and Tom on the couch. Hey, don't forget, for every dollar spent in the Bob and Tom store for the foreseeable future, all of it goes directly to Feeding America. Last Friday's Radio Cares Emergency Radiothon raised just over $500,000 for Feeding America. So head on over to Bob and Tom's store, pick out a hat or a T-shirt. All the proceeds go to Feeding America. Buy now and buy often. BobandTomStore.com. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. Former President Barack Obama has been added to the Graduate Together event next week for high school students who will miss out on graduation because of the coronavirus outbreak. The special will also feature Pharrell Williams, the Jonas Brothers, her, LeBron James, and more. ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox, as well as 20 other broadcast and online outlets will air this special on May 16th. If you're getting tired of being quarantined, sitting around looking at the same four walls, well, you're not alone. The ratings suggest Americans are keen on shows about how to spruce up their living space or how to cook. Networks like HGTV and the Food Network have seen their ratings jump during the stay-at-home period ushered in by COVID-19. And in these days of social distancing, it should be no surprise that a company geared toward hurting people into theme parks is hurting financially. Disney reported yesterday a steep decline in profits as many segments of its media and entertainment offerings have ground to a halt. Disney's second quarter profits dropped 91 percent. Overall, Disney says costs related to COVID-19 have cut its pre-tax profit by $1.4 billion. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Bob and Tom 24-7. Well, Jerry, this time we've really done it. We went and caught the crabs. That's right, Dino. Pubic enemy number one. Let's tell those girls how we feel. Strangers in my shorts, I keep on scratching. Strangers in my shorts, these eggs keep hatching. With each and every itch, I'm reminded of you. No wonder those girls were so easy, Dino. We met at that motel down by the ocean. Now I'm back at home with my quell lotion. Trying to forget our little rendezvous. Strangers in my shorts, they're multiplying. Strangers in my shorts, why aren't they dying? I'm sitting here at home with my little comb. The medicine the doctor gave doesn't work, I'll have to shave. Every time I look, they make me shudder. These aren't the kind of crabs you eat with butter. Oh, life is so unkind with strangers in my shorts. Here, Jerry, put on some more of this quell lotion. I don't know, Dino. It makes my pubes look all greasy. That's perfectly natural, Pally. They call that a Jerry curl. Oh, hey, hey, Dino, knock, knock. Who's there? No more. No more who? No more Mr. Lice Guy. I'm getting tired of these things. Come on, Jerry, it's time to sing. We've hardly scratched the surface. Strangers in my shorts, she was enticing. Strangers in my shorts, and I'm delicing. I'm praying that someday these damn things go away. How could I know our romance would lead to critters in my pants? 
Hey, it's not so bad. Not like a shanker. I think I'll call her up. So you can thank her. I have grown attached to strangers in my shorts. Strangers in your briefs. Whoa, Pally, I don't mean to be crabby, but I'm not taking this too well. Jerry, call the exterminator. Yeah, you did some porking. Now you gotta call Orkin. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Comedian Steve Altman. Uh, it's the technology, what we can do today. We can put a man on the moon, we can send cameras out to Saturn, take pictures, send them back. Computers, you know, we, we still can't make a coffee maker that doesn't go... <laughs> <laughs> Hell, that wakes me up. I don't really need the coffee now, thanks. I'm awake and irritable. I got one of those cordless phones. Yeah. And yeah. those those are cool. Mm -hmm. You walk around the house, be outside. You be in the bathroom now, and be on the phone. This is great. <laughs> that noise? I'm making coffee right now. <laughs> Seven twenty at Q ninety five. It's the Bob and Tom show. Got another uh, windbag, Christy. Oh God! Uh, uh, how about a quick? <laughs> how about a quick forecast? forecast. Q ninety five Fox fifty nine weather brought to you by CarX. Partly cloudy and sixty today. Clear skies overnight, down to thirty nine. Sunny, breezy, sixty eight on Thursday. We have forty degrees currently. Thank you very much, Christy Lee. And don't forget, you got a shot at a thousand bucks coming up pretty soon. So listen carefully. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Great to be here. These are quarantine times, but uh, we're happy to be here. Lucky to be here. Uh, yes. Lucky yeah. to be working. And uh, sure want to say a quick hi to uh, a bunch of those first responders out there. Got some uh, nice email from these great men and women. And we will uh, be getting some of those requests in for you. Uh, oh, I also want to remind you, I forgot to mention this. What? Uh, just yesterday, I was... Uh, Popping in those Raycon earbuds, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which in these times you want to have great earbuds, right? Because sometimes you just want to shut out everybody else. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Check out. You could win a pair of uh, Raycon earbuds. I forgot to mention this uh, in the news feed in the Bob and Tom app. So uh, it's uh, the Bob and Tom app is free. But uh, once again, uh, you enter the code at uh, bobandtom.com slash contest and increase your odds of winning. Uh, just check the news feed. It's real simple. Um, it's uh, the Bob and Tom app is free, available on iTunes or Google Play, and um, you could uh, win a pair of uh, E25 Raycon earbuds, famous for six hours of playtime and um, great seamless Bluetooth pairing, and of course, known for their bass. Uh, check it out at the, on the Bob and Tom app. Uh, win some great earbuds, and I forgot to mention that, but here we go. Let's okay. get this. Let's get it on. Now, um, let's see. I'll look around the room. You were going to say it's all about that bass. I was going to say that. It I is was all thinking about that it bass. in my head. It's all God, about I that bass. I love that song. I know you do. Megan Trainer is that who did? Megan Trainer is super talented. But with Raycons, there is treble also. Yes. With Megan, no treble. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's all about true. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's all about that bass. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, uh, once again, speaking of bass, Christie's bass is the Navy Federal Credit Union news room. Correct. Now we were trying to measure it in fathoms after a windbag oh suggested my that. God. A fathom apparently six feet, but that's six feet down. Per yeah. Fathom. Yeah. yeah fathoms and down. then uh, a nautical mile, I guess, is about one point one miles. Okay. So we could measure this in nautical miles, but it would be a fraction of one. Sure. Sure. And a league is even bigger. I think a it's, league it's is over a, three. This says a league is 3.4 miles. Okay. So All we'll right. get the math done on this. All right. So we can. <laughs> hey, Christy, I am I am brand loyal here. It's the Navy Federal Credit Union. Let's but do we it. serve all branches of the service. <laughs> oh, God. My, <laughs> my grandpa was in the Navy, but he's. What about a click? How far a is a click? Is that a mile? A my mile? stepfather was in the a, Navy. A click too. is a kilometer. Is it a kilometer? A click? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Click. Uh, what was that? Click. Yeah. Give me that. Give me I that said other. click. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be. Well, you couldn't find the <laughs> other be, thing, yeah, so it's be, all right. It'd be, it'd be really hard to measure. <laughs> I, thousand I think I lost my place. Chick <laughs> McGee is at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. I mean, that's even if they existed, they'd be really small. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. If, um, of course, yeah. If the phone mm -hmm. rings, of course, it'll be the track phone hotline. What do you know? <laughs> you are psychic. Hello, Bob and Tom Show. Hi, Bob and Tom. It's Donnie Baker. Hi, Donnie. Hey, Donnie. 
And you're making my head swell with all these story problems, Tom. Never sorry. Here's about 30 leaks under the sea. I'm sorry. I'm just a little hungover today. Oh. 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 Hit the sauce well, I, had to go with, I had to go with this chick. Uh, I've been chatting with Christy. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to go to her friend's wedding last night. You went to what? a wedding? Well, yeah. Cinco de Mayo wedding? Uh, well, in public? She, you thought normal wedding suck? No, I attend. It's a virtual wedding. I had to do it oh. on a Zoom computer. Oh, oh those those eyes, thank goodness, yeah. Remember, I confess, Chrissy, that chick Tamara asked me like three months ago, mm. before all this craziness started, if I'd be her plus one for this wedding. I do remember and, that. Well, I was like three months away, and I agreed because I figured we'd be broke up by then anyway. Sure. Right. Mm-hmm. And it was supposed to be one of them... Um, uh, Destiny Weddings in Branson. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Branson. Oh, nice. I swear to God. Which meant I was going to have to shell out for a room. Uh-huh. So, spoiler alert, the good news is at least I saved thirty four ninety nine by not having someone leave a light on for me. <laughs> good point. So, I attend this uh, stupid virtual wedding of people I don't even know or care to know, you know, and I'll go with a chick I can't even touch. And Tamara's got the nerve to complain that my Hoobastank t-shirt I'm wearing ain't acceptable wedding attire. Ah, uh, Hoobastank, nice. I'm like, acceptable attire? I'm attending a wedding on Todd Boner's laptop. You're, you're lucky I'm even wearing pants, Tamara. <laughs> and if, if you want to split hairs in a row, uh, this is your friend Jenny's third wedding, and she's still wearing a white dress. So <laughs> maybe you should be talking to her. And, oh, I swear to God, I'll set it right to her face over free Wi-Fi. That's how upset I was. Uh-huh. And online weddings suck anyways. You know, one of the only reasons I even agreed to go is she promised me an open bar. Mm-hmm. You can't zoom an open bar. Nope. And then they cut the cake. Well, great. Now I get to watch people throw cake down their necks, and I don't even get to eat with them. Mm. So I got on Zoom. I grabbed a couple Twinkies and dipped them in Cool Whip and them <laughs> out on them right in their face. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Overall, it wasn't the worst wedding I've attended. It did get a little awkward, though, when the bride tossed the bouquet. And as soon as my chick caught it, which was probably, you know, the whole thing planned in advance. Oh, oh, I swear to God, you know, had these flowers just went right to her. looked like Willie Mays tracking down a can of corn. (laughs) You you know what the chick catching the bouquet means. She's the next to get married. Yep, and if my day catches it, I usually slip out the back when they're doing shots or pictures, Christy. Uh-huh. But this was an online wedding, so I cut the cord on his laptop, and I was out of there. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> cut so the cord, I'm did trying you? to sober up. Yeah. I better hop off here. I've got to sweep up all this rice my stupid friend Boner tossed all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, smells skunk weed, too. He must be low on reefer. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, well, thank you, Donnie. Poor Donnie's got his bass player stuck at the house with him. Todd Boner. Todd Boner. Well, you keep it up, Todd. You do. You be Todd, Todd. Uh, <laughs> now, where were we uh, on the show? We've got, we've got some great mail, Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. But we return to the sports no, desk. No, news, to... news. Okay, okay. Are you done? Yes, no sir. world records today? Yep, no world records. Uh, Christy oh. Lee. Uh, Dodge the bullet. A couple, couple of fathoms. Of, uh, star, no, definitely star not fathoms. Not fathoms. Okay, no, sorry, uh, if sorry. anything, she's above us. Uh, and true. <laughs> yeah. She's behind the glass, socially distancing. Christy, what's happening? An Ohio woman has been charged after she allegedly called 911 to have a fire put out in her crotch. Yikes. According to a police report, the 50-year-old called Port Clinton Police Department Saturday night asking for the fire department because her vagina was on fire. The old burning bush, huh? Yeah. (laughs) She also asked if their hose is working and said, I need somebody to come put it out with their hose. Wait a minute. Was she serious? Police responding to the scene said that the suspect became agitated and began resisting arrest. (laughs) Empty bottles of alcohol were found at the home, and the residents stated they were all drinking and that the lady was intoxicated. She was just harney? Yeah, Apparently, she was warning. Like um, Police took the woman into custody on charges of disrupting public services and making false alarms. Took the liberty of grabbing the news story here. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to see her picture? Uh, it's uh, it's pretty rough. Boy, oh, yeah. boy. That's a, that's a mug shot, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, yikes. <laughs> Judging by this mugshot, well, I can tell one thing. Yeah, what? she has cats. I'm just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, firemen are known for being hot, so I guess maybe. Yeah, you know, you know the, the rule is always 
wash your hands if you've been eating jalapenos and you want to get busy down there. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah, oh, sure, yeah. 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 So you got to experience this. Oh, boy, it stings. Okay. Wait, did I hear a guitar chord? Here we go. Oh, boy. Somebody call 911. A party fire burning on her hoo hop. Whoa. <laughs> she got a cool kitty down. Cops better bring a hose for her hoo hop. Whoa. <laughs> She got a panty fire, panty. Well, you know, you know, you get the rest. Yeah, of it. I get it. Somebody call nine one one. Honor who? Wow. <laughs> oh. Sounds like the beginning of a porno, doesn't it? My crotch is on fire. Except it would be some. some it, it would be some you know, porno know. actress that would be. My crotch is on fire. and eat it, and then the fireman comes <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, of course. Shows and, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, now all I hear lady. is Haywood Banks is. <laughs> Excuse me, my forehead's on yeah. fire. <laughs> different, different body part. I know, yeah, but okay. I still Put it out that. with your wrist corsage. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a classic. We'll try to dig that one up. Now, um, what else have you got over there? That's one of my favorite stories from yesterday because that I found because, of course, I love driving and I love Lambos. Police in Utah pulled over a five-year-old boy who said he was on his way to buy a Lamborghini. All right. How about that? Five. The Utah Highway Patrol Trooper Rick Morgan said the vehicle did not respond to his lights, but pulled over when he hit the siren on <laughs> Interstate 15 in Ogden. Precocious. He said the car had been swerving so badly, he believed the driver required medical attention. But when he approached the vehicle, Morgan found a very underage driver behind the wheel. The boy told him he was going to his sister's home in California where he wanted to buy a Lamborghini. He then opened his wallet, showing him... The $3 he'd had saved up to purchase his dream car. Okay. His parents were contacted who arrived to take custody of both their son and their vehicle. Wow. On Tuesday, a local Lamborghini owner treated the young man to rides up and down the street, this time safely seat belted in the passenger. He didn't give it to him? No, he didn't. Wait a minute. It he was him. rewarded for yeah. this sort of behavior. I'm with Chick on this. Yeah. That kid really learned his lesson. Yeah. <laughs> well... No, he's a menace. How far did that five-year-old get? Yeah, let Kitty be the Lambo. Got let a, him ride. Got on the highway. Got on the freeway. I think he sounded like he was doing a pretty good job. He apparently had to sit at the very edge of the seat to even reach the brake. I'm no kidding. I couldn't. And he knew he knew how to put it obviously into gear. And yeah, he's obviously well, a fan. I have a feeling we'll be hearing more from this kid <laughs> uh, for a while. But yeah, Lambos that. are three bucks. That's kind of. Not well, three down. That's it's yeah, a special, yeah, exactly. yeah. special reward yeah. right then now. Then two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on payments. And this kid's <laughs> gonna think if he punches the teacher, he gets an A. I just think it's uh, you know reward well, bad behavior. Uh, but what uh, would you have done with your five year old? You would have done the same yeah. thing. What would you have done? You would have ran Seriously. out and bought him a Lambo. <laughs> Here, honey. <laughs> No. <laughs> we don't we don't drive daddy's car. <laughs> Christy, you ever been in a Lamborghini? I have. I Driving have or I have not. I was a passenger. I have okay. not driven one. Yeah, I've never I've never been mm -hmm. in one. There's anything a place, anything happen at the end of your ride in the Lamborghini? No, there's a place called Extreme hmm. Experience, and you can purchase oh, oh, it. Oh, this so, wasn't a love yeah, thing. Yeah, gotcha. no, it wasn't a love thing. I don't know anyone that owns one. No, God, no. No Lambo job? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Lambo job. That's a solid joke that did not get the laugh oh, it deserved. No, it got I, exactly no, what it I, deserved. I do not no, that was fun. Lambo job? Oh, well, come on. Yeah. That's yeah. solid. That's, that's the way I'm sorry. I didn't laugh. I was just admiring, yeah. Yeah. admiring the artistry there. I liked it, Josh. <laughs> Thank you. Very funny. <laughs> a D for Mace. Oh. Now, so when the cop pulls this kid over. <laughs> yes. And he, he, he was able to get him to pull over finally. Yeah, once you put the siren on. I mean, did he do the standard, uh, <laughs> all right, son, you know why I pulled you over? <laughs> <laughs> no license for starters. Uh, is it past my bedtime? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know, officer. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay, so we got some requests here. Let's, this is the perfect time for this one. Um, this is a little something from, uh, from Haywood Banks. Um, and it's about uh, it's about measuring things. Oh, uh, so because uh, we're trying to figure out how far Christy is away behind the glass over there. So here we go. Everybody knows. 
Probably really appropriate right now. I think, uh-huh. think a, lot um, that, a lot of that going around. I think. Yeah, a lot of us, sir. I, I, I'm sure I'm guilty. I. Oh what? yeah, I have no. no doubt. I'm getting on somebody's nerves. You're a joy. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Did you ever get this from a four-year-old? <laughs> Daddy, I need my space right now. <laughs> I'm even getting that from one of my dogs. Looking at you like that. No, oh, just the, uh, well, you come around the corner, oh, look who's here. Look at the big girl. Mm. Turns around. <laughs> yeah. No, stop torturing me. The three-year-old looked at me yesterday and said, I want to be by my loan. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, okay. Sorry. My, my, my nine-year-old said, when am I going back to mommy's? <laughs> oh, when is he going back? <laughs> Not for a while. Really? A couple weeks. Oh. Yeah. 14 days at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm seeing a, uh, a sitcom down the road, Quarantined with the Godwins. Oh, oh man. Boy. <laughs> Jimmy's doing really good in school now. We have a whole system, so it's getting better. It's getting oh, better. Oh, good, good. Yeah. And, uh, and how about you? Are you hanging in there or doing the teaching? Yeah, it's gotten much better now that I can find everything online. It's easier. <laughs> and, and let's face it, I mean, you both have... Uh, ADD. S- severe serious. ADD. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and I do, too, which is... Probably why we're friends. Yeah. No, you're a joy. (laughs) (laughs) Can't really stick to one topic. Tends to uh, tends to be. Can't read uh, while you're thinking. You can't. Um, uh, Yeah, stuff like that. Could you have? uh, Can you play your little song about uh, you you teaching Jimmy? I love this one. It's. uh, Uh, You could get if you give me a second. I could. Yeah. All right. Once again, uh, Pat Godwin is. uh, He's back in the building, although he's actually in the other building. Has anybody seen him? I think Tom has seen him. I saw him this morning. Oh, okay. Freaked me out. (laughs) Yeah, you have to. He's in the other building, so you have to go through the uh, propped open doors and then. But he was coming up those. This ramp as I was coming up. He's the not stairs. allowed to come up the ramp. He has to go in the back way. <laughs> they have to bring me in the helico- in a helicopter and. Uh... Well, he snuck <clears throat> in on the ramp. Uh, no, I okay. thought. Well, don't go that way again. Uh, I'm sorry, Pat. Go ahead. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Long intro. I love it. Ready? I'm in my pajamas, rolled out of bed. It's time for Jim's homeschooling. I'll be his teacher for the rest of the year on account of the governor's ruling. So I'm here online. Here online. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm about to cry. About, about to cry. cry. It's four plus nine, still 13. <laughs> Goodbye to third grade because of Corona. See me and Jimmy at home doing schoolwork. And we both have ADD, so this won't work. Hey, look. It's nice outside. Let's go take a bike ride. <laughs> Come on! We're out of here. We'll finish that, this later. That just nails it. Yes. But you know, it might be better for him that way, actually. He might learn more and easier because he can take breaks whenever. You know, he's kind of killing it because of the breaks. My yeah. ex said the same thing. Uh-huh. Give him some breaks, have him sure. do some artwork, go outside. Right. Yeah, exactly. it's been good. Yeah. Okay, good. But you're learning how... Incredibly difficult it is to be a teacher. <laughs> sure. uh, at least since he's the only one there, he'll be first in his class. Of course, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, got that. Yeah. Got that going for him. 
prom king, et cetera, <laughs> et cetera. When we come back, Christy, give me the teaser. Uh, well, we have a Star Wars Day promotion that went awry, and uh, we were talking about Lamborghinis. We have a Porsche 911 in the news, kind of. Nice. And um, Professor Lockdown resigns because uh, he was having a tryst with his married lover, these things are really starting to show up um, during the quarantine. Professor Lockdown. Do you know yeah, this guy? No. no. He's, he's a, a British dude. He was that, the famous guy that got uh, that got him to shut down England. Yeah, Professor Ferguson. He was the Ferguson. scientist that, you know, okay. he turns out he wasn't. Uh, right. Uh, okay, well, by the way, uh, Pat, do you give uh, Jimmy detention? Um, if he, what <laughs> you know, you, uh, what Monday, you do to punish him? Uh, I, I, I give him a little time out every now and then. Or I, I take the iPad away during the breaks if he's not focusing. What about five across the eyes? You ever do that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> punch right, punch right in the ribs. Yeah, there you go. Okay, sorry. Yeah, it doesn't show. Get the oranges and the towel. Yeah. A gunshot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this will shut him up. Right. Sorry, I, uh, these were just fantasies. Uh, be right back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Win a free pair of wireless Raycon earbuds. Just locate the Raycon contest code in the Bob and Tom app on the newsfeed. Then enter it at bobandtom.com/contest. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom 24-7. It's not on air. It's online. Bob and Tom 24-7. Resident geek Jessica Alsman, comedian Ms. Pat, and our relationship expert Allie Breen all on the way via Zoom here on a Wednesday. Hump day, everybody. We've made it to May 6th. Hope you enjoyed your Cinco de Mayo. Hope you had a great day with your family and your friends and stayed safe, washed your hands, and we'll get right back at it today right here on a Wednesday on Bob and Tom 24-7. I'm Chick McGee from the CrazyCockWine.com Sports Desk, and this is your Bob and Tom Sports Update. In case it's needed, the NFL has come with a ticket refund plan for canceled games or those held without fans. Commissioner Roger Goodell has sent a memo to the 32 teams that calls for a uniform baseline for full refunds on any tickets purchased directly from the clubs. Each team will communicate directly with its fans over the next few days with specific details on potential refunds. Rookie quarterback Tua Tonga-Viola, the Dolphins' top draft pick, will wear number one. The Dolphins announced number assignments yesterday, and Tua wore number 13 in Alabama, but Dolphins retired the number with Dan Marino. Tua will be the first Dolphins quarterback to wear number one, which was most famously worn by kicker Garo Upremian. Running back Frank Gore has agreed to terms on a one-year contract with the New York Jets. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. You know, since the hockey season's been postponed, yeah. nobody has seen our local Zamboni driver lately. Oh. oh. I have a feeling he'll resurface eventually. <laughs> Bob and Tom mornings and highlights replayed all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Leonard Lumpkin. Some say that I'm a geek. I've got a lot of pimples and braces on my teeth. I still live with my mother. She gives me lots of hugs. But I'd rather have a girlfriend with a bouncy set of jugs. Cause I've never been late. 
I try to talk to girls, but I'm afraid. I've seen every Star Trek movie ever made, but I've never been laid. <laughs> My pants are polyester and all my shirts are plaid. I'm always constipated. My breath is really bad. I need to find a woman who wants to date a nerd. Cause women have vaginas. At least that's what I've heard. Cause I've never been laid. I try to talk to girls, but I'm afraid. I've seen every Star Trek movie ever made, but I've never been laid. No, he's never been laid. He wears a pocket protector and a dickie. I keep my boogers and their wax in my ears. <laughs> this young man could sure use a quickie. I've got a boner that's been throbbing seven years. <laughs> figure from Star Wars on my shelf. I dress up like Darth Vader while pleasuring myself. <laughs> I'm not a total loser, did I forget to mention? I made out with the... Thank you, handsome strangers. 745 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, yeah. Happy birthday, Bob Seeger. By the way, yeah, seventy-five today. All right, oh, well, we'll get to that. To that coming up. Uh, let's see now. Where was I? Uh, oh, I know. Um, <laughs> by the way, Chick just did his uh, uh, Bob Seger on stage dance, which is dead on. It is. Oh yeah, it is. Thank oh, you yeah. very much. Cut Bob yeah. Seger. Oh, where was I? Oh, I know. Christy Lee is at the uh, Bob and Tom news desk. Hi, Christy. Hi, Tom. Would you like a forecast? Uh, sure. Hey, yeah. Tom, would you like a forecast? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chick, could you? Oh, man. I, uh, I'm Dean, sorry, what's D up? Dean and I installed yeah, sure, a new thing to adjust Pat's volume. Could you oh, grab that? Does, it, does this make it visual? <laughs> It works. Okay, good. I'm sorry. Uh, Chris, Christy Lee has the weather forecast. Partly cloudy today, high 60. Clear tonight, down to 39. Sunny, breezy, warmer, high 68 on Thursday. 41 right now. Oh, okay. I'd, I'd be listening for more shots at that 1000 bucks. You could be a winner like uh, Scott Barrick, Doug Redman. Hang out. we got a lot coming up, uh, including the uh, Bob and Tom after party. I'm sure we'll have some great music from Bob Seger. Happy birthday again, Mr. Bob Seger. Now, let's get back to the action. We've got a lot to get to here. Uh, and uh, I want to inform you about uh, a way you could win some cool earbuds. I'll tell you about that in a second. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Let's see. Let's do it by color. Of what? Shirts. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hey, so you're either first or last. <laughs> we'll start with black. You know what? Uh, well, all of, well, three of us we, are in black. You, you've got to stop this. <laughs> how can we? How can we just break through and have him just say, "Hey, here's everybody." And yeah. Well, why, of, here's what should technically what should happen. I yeah. think, and I know yeah. I'm the new guy to the to radio. Sure, go ahead. But this seems to be Radio 101 to me. Yeah. Yeah. Tom goes, hey, I'm Tom. Ace goes, hey, I'm Ace. You go, hey, I'm Chick. I'm Josh. I'm hey, that I'm way Christy. they hear our names and our voices. That's yes. right. Because what Tom does yeah. now is he goes, there's Ace, there's Chick, there's Josh. Nobody knows who. Uh, yeah. So if Chick talks, they go, well, which one was that? That's right. right. Okay, let's try it that way. Right. All okay. right. Go ahead, Ace, you start. I'm Ace. Well, see, there's... <laughs> Ace is our engineer, proprietor of the Ace Cosby joke of the day, brought to you by IHateStevenSinger.com. <laughs> Go there right now because you've only got till 2 o'clock to get that for Mother's Day. Back oh to you, Chick. Oh, my God. I'm Chick. Where? Where are you? I uh, the CrazyCockWine.com sports desk. All right, I'm Josh it, uh, No, no, no. That's, the delivery well, was pathetic. <laughs> Well, let Christy he and I put try. some stupid let, voice let on it. Real professionals like Christy and I try. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, so hey, you, and, Josh Arnold here. No, no, you, like, you have to introduce Chick now. Oh. No, he doesn't. I, no, no, I. No, he just. Chick just did it himself. Thank you, Chick. I'm Josh See, Arnold here at the Sidekick Desk. It does. Hey, Josh. Help. I'm Christy Lee, and I'm at the Navy Federal Credit <laughs> Union newsroom. <laughs> 
Oh, no, I get to go? <laughs> he gets to go. Yeah. We're sorry. Yeah. Did yeah. we keep you from Please, speaking? Please, Tom, you don't talk enough. <laughs> I You're thought right. we were doing it by color. <laughs> no, we weren't. No. Ace, Ace starts because he's wearing a black shirt and a black hat. We vetoed that. We and then, vetoed. We're just going around in a Then Christy goes because she's got a black shirt. What color is your shirt? Chick's got black and gray, then then Godwin with the, the, nope, Uh, yeah, Godwin with the dark check, and then the I'm a Pat Godwin. This is the sound of my voice. Thank you very much. This is Tom speaking in khaki. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, and and, uh, and we, this this is khaki shirt, right? Yeah. Uh What color? Oops, nope, dark hat today. That's kind of a khaki, uh, gray, khaki. And khaki, of course, is uh, Pat Godwin's mom's name. That's her nickname, yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy Mother's Day, khaki. Coming coming up on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Are you speaking to her this week? Absolutely. Okay, oh, good. Get her like present. No linear thought on this show at all. It's <laughs> nope. just it's a mess. It's a, it's a blender. <laughs> just a <laughs> linear thought is overrated. Did you ever watch the news? <laughs> <laughs> hey Pat, did you get something for your mom? Not yet. Well, you got. Not you yet. Got, you I'm, got, uh, you got I'm a concentrating hours. on the kids' food right now. <laughs> Oh, making yeah, sure that every really fr- liked angel hair pasta. And of course, I <laughs> indulge that because that's what I have to do. And Once again, uh, uh, Pat is uh, confined with his uh, nine-year-old true, son, yeah. nine-year-old son Jimmy, who's a terror. So kids, <laughs> and he's a he's a picky eater too. He's he's the kids, funny. The kid has ADD worse than yeah, I do. Funny, that's it. Uh, and he's also a young comedian. In his own way, gets on stage with Pat sometimes. <laughs> He's a great little artist. He's doing some yeah. nice little art yeah. stuff. Yeah. He does. Right. I like the. the- hey, uh, speaking of artists, your brother James is a uh, incredible puppeteer. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I, made. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. No, we're talking families. Your brother's currently featured on... He is the first 15 minutes of HBO's High Maintenance. Uh, season 4, Episode 8. It's called Rocky. <laughs> he's, he's really, really And he owns talented. the first 15 minutes. It's all him. It's really good. He made me laugh a couple times. It's, it showcases a lot of his puppets. I'm very proud. Yeah, he's a cool. pu- pu- puppet maker. Uh, now, um, uh, Pat, once again, homeschooling his, uh, his young son, as m- many people are doing right now, which is pretty tough. Um, no, do you tell your uh, stuff like if he's bad during schooling that he has to stay after school and clean, no, none of that. Clean no, the he's, blackboard. No, he's been doing really good. I guess you don't probably have a blackboard really well. anymore, do you? <laughs> no, no really he well. just writes on your walls. Okay, <laughs> once again, Pat's staying at my house. Oh life. boy. Okay. So, what's at- his favorite meal? What do you have to cook every day? Uh, you know, he's off the spaghetti. To be honest with you, he's uh, he likes uh, hamburgers in these honey enriched buns. Oh, honey enriched buns! <laughs> How about those? Well, that sounds like a sign at a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Not just a regular plain bun. Oh no, no, the prince, the prince has to have honey enriched. Okay. Just have them flown in. Yeah. Have you ever? I, I got some for you to try. Have you ever had those? Um, that Hawaiian bread. Oh, yeah. King's you know, Hawaiian. Josh talks King, about this. Kings, I don't think I've ever had it. Get King's Hawaiian bread. It's it's very sweet. ungodly. Yeah, you'll both really enjoy it. Okay. It makes, makes a great burger. It does. When we get off the air, I'll help you I'll go to IHateStevenSinger.com, get, so, get something nice for your mom. Okay. Believe me, she's earned it. Yeah, yeah. You get the basement fumigated after you moved out two years ago? Uh, just last week, it started to smell normal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll so, play along. All right. Sure. Yeah. Well, stop playing along. I may have gotten the date wrong. Oh. Uh, Hi, Khaki. How are you? Where was I? Oh, I know. Where we were, were you? We were heading yeah, over to... Uh, 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 oh, this, is it my turn again? No, no. You, you made oh, a request. Sh- I did? You had the lady who called the cops. Said her crotch was on fire. In somewhere in, what, Port Clinton, Ohio? Yes. Said her, she called the cops, said her crotch was on fire. And, oh, in reality, she was just drunk and wanted yeah, the fire department. Allegedly. Got arrested, <laughs> apparently. So it was very weird. Yeah. But, um, it reminded you of a song uh, from uh, Mr. Haywood Banks, so we'll do another one from Haywood. Uh, we got a record. This is obscure, but um, uh, y- you'll see the connection here in just a second. Excuse me, your forehead's on fire. I could tell by the smoke from your eyebrows. And though we have had no formal introduction, excuse me. Your forehead's on fire Well, say, can you stand on your head? If not, could I stand on it for you? Maybe right now in a bucket of baking soda Because your forehead's on fire Oh, it once happened to me And I saw no end to the embarrassment 
But here's a helpful hint I have found Try beating it out with your wrist corsage Why don't you just eat your nose Then you could cut out the middleman But I'm getting off the subject on hand That being your forehead on fire Excuse me, your forehead's on fire Oh, nice uh, waltz. Beautiful. Yeah. Ever, been that, ever been that drunk? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Something smells weird. Oh, it's Ooh. your, your forehead. Forehead's on fire. On fire. Uh, uh, now, uh, I want to remind you, uh, we have something really cool going on. Uh, you can win a pair of those great Raycon earbuds. Tell me. Uh, we, we've got the uh, the Raycon contest code in the news feed on the Bob and Tom app. Oh, so, so just you, go to the app, huh? Just go to uh, bobandtom.com oh. slash contest. Is that right? Find out what's going on. Win a pair of those great E25 Raycon earbuds. They're the best. We've been talking about them for a while, but now you can win a pair. Check it out right now. And, of course, they're, uh, they're famous for their base. Uh, so check it out. It's all about that about base. base. Megan Trainer. Yeah. Never heard it before. <sighs> Are you serious? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Especially that part. Right. Does it say all about that base? It's oh, like, yeah. Yes. to the course because it's all about, about that, that base. That okay. base, that yeah. base. No right. treble. In any event, win yourself a pair of Raycon earbuds. In the meantime, we have a little, um, a little, a little test for you. Listen to this carefully. Excuse me, your f is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> the lady. I can tell uh -huh. by the smoke from your. Yeah, there you go. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's the, the pubic air version of that, of that tune. Uh, coming up, uh, we'll visit with uh, Jessica Alsman, the lovely Allie Breen, and the spectacular Ms. Pat just around the corner. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll-free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1 or at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Mark Allison with you on a Wednesday. Hope you had a good Cinco de Mayo on Tuesday. That's right. It was May 5th. I had some Mexican food last night. Thanks to my lovely wife for getting that via takeout. So that was wonderful. Got to enjoy some uh, Cinco de Mayo Mexican food on Cinco de Mayo. So all is well in the world. And we are on to Wednesday, May 6th. Thanks so much for joining us right here on Bob and Tom, 24-7. More of the show coming up. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg hospitalized yesterday with an infection caused by a gallstone, but plans to take part in the court's arguments by telephone today. Ginsburg, 87, underwent non-surgical treatment for a benign gallbladder condition at Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore. According to the Supreme Court, she's resting comfortably and expects to be in the hospital for a day or two. China plans to send four crewed space missions and the same number of cargo craft to complete work on its permanent space station within about two years. Officials made the announcement after the launch yesterday of a newly designed spacecraft aboard the latest heavy lift rocket. 
The plan further cements China's aspirations to rival the U.S., Europe, Russia, and private companies in outer space exploration. And a highway patrol officer in Utah pulled over a vehicle the other day that was swerving badly on the interstate. When he did, he got a big surprise. The driver, five-year-old Adrian Zamaripa, Trooper Rick Morgan says Adrian didn't respond to his flashing lights but did pull over when he hit the siren. The boy was seated on the edge of his seat so he could reach the brakes. Adrian said he was headed from Utah to visit his sister in California where he wanted to buy a Lamborghini when he got there. And then he flashed $3 that he had in his wallet for the purchase. The boy and the car were returned to his parents. And yesterday, a local Lamborghini owner took Adrian on rides. This time, Adrian safely buckled in the passenger seat. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Have you noticed you can't get hand soap? Yeah, like, it's hard. Right? It's really hard to get it. The only thing they have available is like really high end hand soap. <laughs> yes. And it's, uh, for lack of a better word, the the flavors that didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like, absolutely. Yeah, it's like, oh, lavender and mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom mornings and highlights replayed all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24 7. Bob and Tom. They put the F in professional. I do this for everybody that still has more vinyl records than they do CDs. I got a dusty old pile of vinyl records sitting on my floor. I've played each one of them over and over at least a dozen times or more. All I've got is a beat up chair, a mattress, a fork, and another to spare. And that dusty old pile of records on my floor. I got Willie Whalen and Woody Guthrie, Jimmy Buffett, Lyle Love Lovett, and Bobby Gentry, Jerry, Jeff, Bob, Dylan, Donnie, Fritz, Dead in the Doors, Patsy Klein, John Prine, and more. I got Jackson Brown, Towns, Van Zandt, Zeppelin, Leonard Skinner, Harry Chapin, got Clark Van Halen. I got Rita, Chris, Keith, Sykes, and Country Joe when he was singing with the fish, you know. I got Hammy Lou, you two, and Arlo, James Taylor, Jimmy Rogers, Hank Williams, and Mojo Nixon, Hendrix Haggard, and a whole lot more. And that dusty old pile of vinyl records sitting on my floor. One time in San Francisco, I was standing in the airport line. In one bag, I had all my clothes, and the other was all them old records of mine. The lady said I could only bring one bag. I had two. Oh, what a drag. I had to jump on the plane and leave all my clothes behind. <laughs> but I got Willie Whalen and Woody Guthrie, Jimmy Buffett, Lyle Lovett, and Bobby Gentry, Jerry Jeff, Bob Dylan, Donnie Fritz, Dead in the Doors, Patsy Klein, John Prine, and more. I got... Jackson Brown, Towns, Van Zandt, Zeppelin, Leonard Skinner, Harry Chapin, got Clark, Van Halen. I got Rita, Chris, Keith, Sykes, and Country Joe when he was singing with the fish, you know. I got Emmy Lou, you two, and Arlo, James Taylor, Jimmy Rogers, Hank Williams, and Mojo Nixon, Hendrix Haggard, and a whole lot more. I got all the Booker T's, Tom T. Hawks, Bobby Bear, Bella Fonny, and the New York Dolls, Billy Joe, Jimmy Crochet, Kiss, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, John June, and a Roseanne Cash. I got T-Birds, Yardbirds, Sam and Dave, Forbert from Holt, Stevie Ray, and if you're one of the 12 or 13 people that bought my third album, you might have figured out already that I got piles and piles and piles of Tom Petty. <laughs> <laughs> In that dusty old stack of vinyl records I got sitting on my floor. Okay. Hey, Doe 2 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. She's Christy Lee. She's got the weather forecast. Q95 Fox 59 weather brought to you by CarX. Partly cloudy today with a high of 60. Clear skies overnight down to 39. And then sunny, breezy, warmer tomorrow. 68. Maybe 69. Uh, right now, 41 degrees. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we have uh, coming up uh, your shot at another uh, amount of serious cash. I believe that amount is $1,000, so pay close attention. Uh, also, um, we have the Bob and Tom After Party, uh, an extended period of music featuring more money. Okay, so uh, pay, so pay attention to that as well with uh, Crystal as your, as your host. Also, I want to remind you that um, Alexa... You know who she is, don't you? Sure. Yeah, Alexa is uh, more than happy to turn in herself into a radio and uh, play some uh, Bob and Tom show or some Q95. Just say, to, hey, Alexa, play us, would you please? Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show with our new format. I'm Ace. I'm Chick. Hey, Josh here. I'm Christy. I'm Pat. Do I'm I Jessica. Go now? Oh, <laughs> 
No, no. she yeah. threw it th- threw the whole thing off. No, it no. didn't. No, no. She, it was she perfect. She fit herself in seamlessly. No, you threw the whole thing off as usual. Because you couldn't wait. Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't either. It's a new format. I, <laughs> I thought it worked pretty well. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. I, these aren't just any chairs. Oh, God. oh God. Here we go. <laughs> what kind of chairs are they, Tom? Yeah. What kind of chairs are uh, they? That's, an inter- that's well, a good question. I don't know. Do if, you know? No, a new feature. If Josh's chair could talk. <laughs> oh, oh, it would beg for euthanasia. <laughs> <laughs> and youth all over the world. Uh, let's see now. Uh, Christy Lee once again in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. Yes. We've established that it's a couple fathoms away, but that became a technical issue. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chip McGee, of course, in the crazycockwine.com sports chair over there at the sports desk. And when that phone rings, it's the track phone hotline. And we are joined by Jessica Alsman, who, Hi. interestingly enough, hey, Jessica, uh, and Pat Godwin. Uh, Pat Godwin is uh, in the building now, Jessica. I don't know if you knew that. Hi, Jess. But he's uh, Hey, I can hear you. Great. Uh, even though he's in the so-called AM studio. <laughs> oh. A lot of static over here from the staff. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we're, uh, he's, he sounds really good today. Um, uh, now, uh, here's something interesting. Jessica and Josh share kind of a backyard. There's like a little yeah. cre- creek between your houses, but you can look out your window and see her. Right. In fact, oh, I saw backyard you, buddies. Saw mm-hmm. you the other day, uh, Jess, doing some landscaping. Looked like there was some weed whacking going on. Oh my gosh! Well, I'm sure that there was some whacking going on at your house. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah, she was. Uh, she, <laughs> she was, was weeding. You were yeah. whacking. Oh okay. my gosh! <laughs> yeah, you're Hi. Right. Yeah. OCD kept going over the same. You missed path. a dandelion. <laughs> 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 yeah, we uh, yeah we both see each other mow and whatnot. It's fun. Yeah, so you watched me uh, do work and didn't offer to help like I a was, kind uh, neighbor. I was busy. I was grilling. Uh, mm. Oh, good. That's yeah. what you call it. <laughs> <laughs> you do the neighbor, the neighbor nod. The, how's it going? The neighbor nod. No, they were far too involved in their own. Oh. Donnie was mowing. Her boyfriend was mowing, and she was uh, weed whacking. So. Wow. How about that? Yeah. Very exciting. Um, yeah. Now, uh, we are going to uh, get back to the action here in just a second. I want to warn you, Ms. Pat is coming up just around the corner. Okay. And you know, that is a warning. You're I, exactly right. I, if we I ever am, needed a warning. I, have, I mean, she's got a pretty big family, so I don't know who's who and who's where. Oh, true. She may know something. Pat. I think she's quarantining. I think she's had this hit home. I think her son had it. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Is he no, okay? he's okay. But okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Well, we'll, we'll find out more uh, co- coming up. Now, um, we were visiting with Christy Lee over there. Uh, anything of interest now? Yes. This is for Jessica. She's a big Star Wars fan. Yeah. A Star Wars Day promotion at a Canadian restaurant went awry after an employee dressed as a stormtrooper was arrested. <laughs> Coco Vanilla Galactic Cantina owner Bradley Whalen said, quote, we had music playing in the parking lot. We had one of our staff dress up as a stormtrooper. We put a couple of promotions on in the restaurant to entice people to come in. Whalen said he believes a passerby saw one of the costumed employees brandishing a toy blaster, called police thinking it was a real gun. Oh, oh geez. Officers responding to the scene ordered the woman to get down on the ground before taking her into custody. Get to she was soon released at the scene. No charges. <laughs> There's a picture of her down on the ground. Yeah, there is. Jeez. Here are the cops arriving. Seriously, I think they're taking this a little too seriously. <laughs> Arrest you, I will. <laughs> Permit. She doesn't look this tall baby. enough to be a stormtrooper. Well, you know. Oh, God. He thought he saw a blaster like it was real. Yeah. yeah. Well, is it just me or you, Coco Vanilla got to have glitter on her face all the time? Or his face? Or who the hell is no, that? That the was person? the name of the restaurant. Oh, Coco Vanilla. The restaurant Vanilla. was called Coco Vanilla Galactic Cantina. Good Lord. Too long. Yeah. yeah. Very wordy. Yeah. Real clunky. Can't you just go with Galactic Cantina? Maybe just go with Coco's. Done? All right, it's good enough for Chanel. Well, we call it the CVGC, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. In the dork meetings. <laughs> okay, well, um, I hope you had a nice... What a great word, dork. May the, may the, fourth, may the fourth be with you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Christy, what else? Did you dress up for that, Jessica? I didn't. Oh, I okay. dress up for my cat, I guess. I'm like, look at me. Uh, I, I feed you. Don't what do you mean? You, you, love me. you didn't throw on the uh, Princess, Princess Leia, Leia gold bikini for Donnie? <laughs> I will never dress in the Princess Leia gold bikini because the only rule I have pretty much with cosplay is I'll never dress as anything that my dad probably whacked it to. <laughs> so, uh, 
<laughs> well, all right. That's a good rule of thumb. Well, we've hope, reached a new... Uh, uh, I hope he's listening. Really awkward. Uh, yeah. He probably isn't, okay. but he'll find out about this. I'm sorry, but it's just uh, a good rule of thumb to have. Unless you got those issues, whatever. There's a catalog, Things My Dad Whacked To. <laughs> yeah. I'm just oh. assuming, because he was a young man when Star Wars oh, came boy. out, so... So in 83, That's when Jedi music, hit the uh, theater, you think... How old he was your dad? early 20s, probably. Oh, yeah, he probably, oh, yeah. All right. Man. Really, putting the well. lay in Princess Leia. Woo. Now, that, that actually... There's something I never thought about. I apologize for Christy, what do you think up. your dad jerked it to? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Mary Pickford? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pat. I have no now, idea, Now, actually, the one, the one that you should be asking... <laughs> uh, yes? Chick has talked about this before. This is... Um, Really quite extraordinary. Uh, uh, something the chick found in the bureau. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, yes. My dad used to write uh, very graphic stories. Yeah, yeah. On yellow legal pads. I like this. I yeah, do too. I, I, I find it interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. It's, uh, odd and weird and strange. No, well, I think it's... it's no, I, I'm not... To be laughed at. I get it. I, I'm I not being critical. I understand. You've... Now, when you found them... Yeah. And you read them... Mm -hmm. Was he still with us? Oh, yeah. And yeah. did you address sure. it? I was probably 12 or 13. No. Oh, oh no, okay. No. Oh, All right. God, no. Uh, Man, yeah. I wonder if he ever tried to get them published. I don't I don't know. That does fit in the category of things you don't want to know. Right, of course. Well, it's hard to think of your parents well, as sexual uh, beings. Uh, yeah, but, as people. But yeah. 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 Now, Josh, uh, you're a writer. Yeah. I know you're working on a screenplay right now. Have you ever, uh, just for whatever reason, written a uh, short story or a, uh, an erotic uh, piece of any kind? Yes. Um, a, a girl I was dating requested a, an erotic... Um, really? Yes, yeah. And do so, you still have it? No, no. Do you no, recall was, the theme, if you will? I do. It was... Uh, the title? Was right. it... Uh, there was. I don't remember if I titled it. I'll it title was, it for you. Tell me what it was. And I'll give you the title. Okay. Uh, yeah, she, had, she, wanted a, she wanted this scenario. Uh, by my gosh, this was over 20 years ago, I'd say. But she wanted... Uh, a public play, a restaurant, mm -hmm. and things were happening under the table. Oh. Yes. And then, uh, dinner is served. How about and, uh, that? There's oh, your, there's okay. Your title. Dinner is served. Maybe check, please. Uh huh. Um, what else would be a good name, a title for that? Jack in the Box. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a, a bit of a more uh, sit down a fa restaurant. Fancier? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Did writing the story. In um, get you excited? <laughs> uh, only in the uh, only in the the. The, the notion that she would be excited by this. I okay. thought it, I had way more fun doing it than I did any sort of... Erotic-y. Yeah, yeah. But was it, erotic -y? <laughs> was it, But there was, no, there was no, no, no comedy in it? No, no. It was all very sexual and, and uh, sexy. And wow. she said, she, I, I guess it went over well. Were you, were you in the role of her uh, her date at the... At the Yes, it was in a, it was a first-person uh, narrative. So it was, I do this to... to oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and... Um, <laughs> How far did we get in the story? Uh, we the the two characters had to leave the restaurant oh. and uh, go to the car, and mm. things sort of ended there. Ah, uh, it. Okay. So, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. This was, and this was it all. It was a she, happy ending. She I kind assume. of she storyboarded it, if you will, and then I fleshed. She it out. storyboarded. <laughs> well, she, she didn't oh, wow. draw it out, but she uh, gave me the bones, and I fleshed it out. Gotcha. <laughs> she said, "Restaurant, <laughs> we have do, we things start in the restaurant. We eventually have to leave." Wow. Yeah. How much, uh, uh, now with your, um, oh God, this is delicate. And I would here. say it was about a three-page oh story. Now with your, um, well, I, mean, I, I, I won't even uh, 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 presume to, uh, how, how how far did you get in the actual food? Did you, did you, did you, did the story, did you, did you, did you stall, did you stall long enough to get dessert? Right. When or did she, you, uh, when she pitched me this, she said, <laughs> things begin and then we have to leave it. Well, certainly not before. We're, we're full. I got to complete my meal. Plus, it's hard for us to do things, uh, you know, at the table when I'm up at the, up at the buffet most of the time. <laughs> And of course, you've you've said many times that uh, with your uh, Paxil prescription, things take quite a while. So, did you order the Peking duck? Yeah, a souffle, perhaps. Yeah. So yeah, you were there for twenty four hours. Yeah, I know, I know. It'll, this is going to take a while. Yeah, that was fun. That was uh, that's really the only time I've done that. Yeah. Okay, then we'll have to think of a better title. Ah. Dinner dinner is served. That's pretty good. I like that. Table for two. That's kind of. Uh, mm. Something sexy there. The dessert here sucks. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it was a Chinese That's probably buffet. too graphic. Uh, I'm sorry. your dessert. <laughs> sorry. Coming up, uh, we're going to talk with the great Ms. Pat. See what's going on with her. Right now, I want to remind you, we got this uh, Raycon thing up and running. Been talking about Raycon, the great, uh, the great earbuds, for a long time. Right now, you can win a pair 
Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Raycons. Uh, these are the great wireless earbuds that uh, fit right in your ear, and they've they've got uh, the special little uh, what are we never tips so that they could they they'll fit exactly your ear. Uh, and um, they won't fall out like those white ones that cost twice as much. The Raycons, famous for their base, and uh, the everyday E25 earbuds are now about half the price of those white ones. So check them out. Seamless Bluetooth pairing, great base, loved by Snoop Dogg, loved by Chick McGee. Oh, yes. If you got to make some phone calls, they're great. But if you just want to shut out the world and bring in whatever you want, some great music, uh, maybe it's a podcast. Maybe it's this show. This show is funnier on, uh, did you know this? No, on, I didn't. On, on Raycon earbuds. Oh, 13%. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, just studies show. And <laughs> if I have to see any more studies or graphs, am I the only one? <laughs> uh, I don't look at them yeah, anymore. Yeah, we know it's bad. We know it sucks. Yeah. You're the only one on a lot of stuff. I throw know. another chart up there and make me feel worse. Okay, good. Uh, I love the Raycons. I use them when I try to run around the neighborhood. Oh, very Delightful. Good. They block out the extra noise. And right now, 15% off your order. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. You need some great earbuds. Check out the Raycons. I know you're going to love them. 15% off right now if you go to buyraycon.com slash Tom. And you can win a pair, Jessica, right? Yes. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest now. Okay. You and you, and you and can, details are all there. Every day, right? You can enter daily. You got to find the code, which is on the free Bob and Tom app. Download on Google Play, iTunes. You know the jazz. Oh, there's a code on the app. There's a code. Okay. You got to find the code. Enter it. For your I can, I can tell you where the code is. It's in the news feed. <laughs> oh, I, is that it? supposed to be a secret? Have you found it? No, not okay. a secret. Okay, good. But check it out. Raycon. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom and try to win a pair also at bobandtom.com slash contest. When we come back, when we come back, the lovely Ms. Pat, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24 7. Comedy via your computer. Bob and Tom, 24 7. This is Bob and Tom, 24 7. Hey, right now might be a good time to treat yourself to a VIP membership at BobandTom.com. It includes the Bob and Tom Show commercial free and on demand with our daily podcast, access to the Bob and Tom archives, the album library, plus you can watch in real time the live seven-camera video stream of the show as it happens. See what Josh Arnold's wearing today. Yesterday, him and... Pat Godwin had the same shirt on, and then Pat went and changed because he was embarrassed. Find out if that happens again today. Check out Bob and Tom's VIP at bobandtom.com. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. Former President Barack Obama has been added to the Graduate Together event next week for high school students who will miss out on graduation because of the coronavirus outbreak. The special will also feature Pharrell Williams, the Jonas Brothers, her, LeBron James, and more. ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox, as well as 20 other broadcast and online outlets will air this special on May 16th. If you're getting tired of being quarantined, sitting around looking at the same four walls, well, you're not alone. The ratings suggest Americans are keen on shows about how to spruce up their living space or how to cook. Networks like HGTV and the Food Network have seen their ratings jump during the stay-at-home period ushered in by COVID-19. And in these days of social distancing, it should be no surprise that a company geared toward hurting people into theme parks is hurting financially. Disney reported yesterday a steep decline in profits as many segments of its media and entertainment offerings have ground to a halt. Disney's second quarter profits dropped 91 percent. Overall, Disney says costs related to COVID-19 have cut its pre-tax profit by $1.4 billion. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Hi, this is Ross Bennett, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. I can't sleep. I have to say this all night long. I gotta get a girlfriend. I gotta get a girlfriend. I gotta get new clothes <laughs> so I can get a girlfriend. Start clipping my toes so I can get a girlfriend. Get some work done on my nose so I can get a girlfriend. Stop wearing pantyhose <laughs> so I can get a girlfriend. Girlfriend. 
even willing to pay. <laughs> so I want to say that they're my girlfriend. <laughs> People start to think you're gay <laughs> when you've never had a girlfriend. I'd buy flowers every day if I had a girlfriend. I wouldn't be like OJ and kill my girlfriend. <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> I'm gonna change the key <laughs> so I can get a girlfriend and start having sex for free with my girlfriend. Yeah. She could even have VD <laughs> if she was my girlfriend. It might hurt when I pee, but at least I'd have a girlfriend. Girlfriend, girlfriend. It's getting catchy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Girlfriend. Okay. Girlfriend. And then this kind of breaks it up. This is sort of the bridge part here. <laughs> yeah. We could do lots of crazy things like I could pull her ears out and say, Hey, look, guys, it's Dumbo. And she'd say, Who are you and how'd you get into my house? Yeah. How low do I have to sink to get me a girlfriend? Put something in her drink, then she could be my girlfriend. I didn't say she had to think that she was my girlfriend. Just don't put me in the claim, or I'll be someone else's girlfriend. 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 I gotta get a computer. <laughs> I might as well be neutered Cause I've never had a girlfriend I hope she has big hooters For her to be my girlfriend But then beggars can't be choosers So anyone can be my girlfriend We got another bridge part Oh you did? Yeah. Okay <laughs> <laughs> We could do lots of silly things like I'd say knock knock and she'd say who's there and I'd say yeah and she'd say yahoo and I'd say that's pretty funny and she'd say that's kind of cheesy. I still kind of worried kind of the rhyme on that one. <laughs> 20 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. We're going to hook up with the lovely Ms. Pat in just a couple minutes. I'm very excited. And you can even see her on the YouTube, as they say. But first, a quick forecast, Christy Lee. Q95 Fox 59 <laughs> weather brought to you by CarX. Partly cloudy, high 60. Sunshine, breezy, 68 tomorrow, 43 right now. Be listening for some serious cash on Q95. Let's see now. Are we going to try this the old way or the new way? What does that mean? I like the old way all of a sudden. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, this is this is the Bob and Tom show. Yeah. Uh, we're going to meet Ms. Pat in just a second. Hey, Pat, are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Pat, we're doing it by color. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. no col shirt color, Pat. So uh, we'll start with Ace. He's got the black hat and the black shirt. Now, he's, of course, our engineer and the proprietor of the Ace Cosby Joke of the Day, brought to you by IHateStevenSinger.com. Got to get those jewelry orders in before 2 o'clock today. Let's see now. Um, uh, Christy Lee. Hi. I think, nope. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're going to go with you in the black shirt and the blonde hair. All right. She's at the uh, Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Fair. Ms. Pat, I think you're next. You've got the black shirt and the shiny cap. Um, yeah, that is bedazzled beyond an inch of its bling, life. Bling. Oh, it awesome. says love on it. Well, that's so oh, sweet. Oh, hey, spreading the love. Uh, and, now, are you at your home, Pat? I am. I'm sitting in my office. Well, that's nice. That is nice. some nice woodwork behind you. Yes. Uh, 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 I was, if you hear me cursing out the kids, just bleep. Okay. <laughs> just before you know we I have a new job. I'm the lunch lady. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, the lunch lady. We'll talk to Pat in just a second. Uh, Chick McGee, of course, at the uh, crazycockwine.com sports test. Josh is over there. I'm Tom. And Pat Godwin is over there. And Jessica Alls. We've got a, a full crew here. Sure do. Now, Pat, I, are you? Uh, who all is quarantining with you? Uh, my whole big old family, all the kids, the crack babies, my husband, he's still working. And my my oldest daughter is here. Okay. okay. So how many, what is that all together? How many people? I think it's 10 of us. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. That's a lot and of We work. don't love each other anymore either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's got to be rough. Uh, now, how the youngest ones are how old? Six, 
8, 12, and 11. Now, are you doing their homeschooling? No. I'm the lunch lady. <laughs> oh, the lunch lady. Okay. All right. Yeah, I cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> All right. Do you wear a hairnet or just take the wig off? <laughs> oh, I take the wig off. This is the lunch lady wig. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't see. It's it's kind of uh, with the black shirt. Are you wearing the long, are you wearing the share wig? What do you got on right now? I got on the lunch lady wig. You got to be shoulder length. Okay, that's so, the, food, so I don't drop any kids' food. That's right. Well, yeah. you're, you're you're looking good. Are you you, yeah, you uh, look great? Weathering the uh, quarantine, okay? Feeling good? I'm just painting. I painted. I started in one room, so I'm painting my whole 2,600 square foot basement. Wow. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Hmm. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of crunches and setups, so everything should be hot the next time you see me. Talk. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Do you have crown molding in that room? And notice you've got some nice woodwork there behind you. Oh, yeah. I did it myself a couple of years ago. It's time for it to be painted again. That looks really good. Yeah, it does. Me and my husband do it. Yeah. You're, you're, you're quite the carpenter. So you're the lunch lady. Um, are you into just uh, you're, uh, painting and cleaning like everybody else all day long? Yeah, painting and cleaning. I've been doing a, I'm in the basement, so I'm almost done in the basement. I'm getting ready to tap the floor this weekend. Wow. You're going to tile the floor yourself? I'm going to tear it up. Tear oh, it up. oh okay. yeah. All yeah, right, I'm okay. going to tap the floor and put on some more floor. Okay, well, um, obviously, uh, everything in showbiz is stalled. So uh, anything, any updates on what's happening with your uh, show business career? You can't do any stand-up. I can't do any stand-up. I'm just being a mom. You know my son had the coronavirus. Yeah, he I did. heard that. Is he doing all right? Yeah. yeah, he's fine. He fell out at work, and they called me to get him. And Tom, I went up there to get him, and he was laid out across the chair. And I was like, what the heck? And I went to go fill him with a, a disinfectant wipe, and he was hot. And I was like, no, y'all called the wrong person to pick this black man up. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, no need to bring that into it. Huh? So is, is he, did he quarantine for a while and got out of it okay? He was in the hospital in ICU for three days. Wow. Wow. Quarantine for like three weeks. And he his dumb self back at work. He's a first responder, I guess. Well, I right, well, I'm glad he's doing okay. How old is he? He's 32, and you know what, Tom? He lost 35 pounds. So I'm like, dang, I could take the coronavirus without the ventilator. Yeah. Jeez, man. Interesting uh, man. weight loss program. Yeah, <laughs> either drop weight or stop breathing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad he's okay, Pat. Yikes! Well, good for him. Me too. Me too. Because he he has skipped a few life insurance policy. So I'm like, son, it's the wrong time to die. You need to wake up. Oh boy. <laughs> Ms. Pat is our guest, a distinguished comedian, and uh, Ms. Pat. Stop coughing, Christy. Sorry, I have allergies. <laughs> seriously. Yeah, but I don't, you, I don't know if yeah, you can she's tell. She's allergic to coronavirus. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can tell, Pat. Christy's in a different room. She's behind the glass. I noticed that. I was like, who put her in a corner? <laughs> well, put his baby in a corner, Pat. Don't worry. I'm all right. She okay. was she was voted off the island. Yep. Uh, no, she all was. All good. Uh, we were trying to keep this, uh, what is it called? Social distancing. Social distancing, yes. So uh, Christy was too close to me and too close to Josh. So we uh, moved, moved her ch moved her chair in there. So we're all uh, and we're in a big room, but we're pretty far apart. And everybody else is uh, joining us via via uh, the Zoom the Zoom thing. Are you zooming a lot? It you, Tom, it was just you. <laughs> are, are you zooming a lot, Pat, with your friends? I am zooming a lot. No, just meetings out of Hollywood. I'm zooming a lot. I'm I'm tired of putting on wigs and makeup. The good part about this quarantine is I haven't had on a bra since March. 12. Wow, all right. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. You haven't had a bra on since yeah, March 12th. How, 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 how's your calendar for that, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't taken one off for, for a while. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting more of a laugh. You want to see, Tom? <laughs> no, no, no. That's okay. Oh, boy. That's okay. So is, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's all right. Whoa. Is, so is, uh, is wearing a bra uncomfortable? Christy? Yes. Oh, God, yes. Very, very Maybe. especially. When you got built like me. <laughs> wow. I remember when we... I put on a bra, I feel like an African. One of those African with the babies on the back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember we had... Christy, do you remember this? We had we had a woman come in here who was an authority on brazier construction. I do remember that. And they... Uh, wasn't she based in Atlanta, I mm. think? And she has this website where women of a certain... Uh, that are large. Of... Uh, uh, 
you know, but size. Was, yeah, mm -hmm. she does these uh, custom brassieres, and uh, I guess they're really amazing. Yeah. So uh, over the shoulder boulder hole. Well, I don't think they have. A, they're, I think they have a, a, cla right. a classier name. Well, I, yeah, I don't think it gets. I mean, it's poetry. Get that. But yeah, I, Pat, I know that you get your wigs in Atlanta, right? Amazing. Yeah, I've been flying her up here. It's been really cheap. <laughs> okay, we have. Well, we'll see if we can find out the lady that makes the giant brassiers and hook you up with hook you up with a big brassiere. Oh, I got a bunch of them hanging over the door, Tom. I don't need any more. Oh yeah. I'm just, we just they on vacation right now. Ah. Now Christy has always made a big deal about this. Um, it always reminded me of the uh, the short story in which the, the the kids always dressed up even though they were only on the radio. Mm -hmm. That Christy always has, no matter what the situation is, her brassiere always matches her uh, underwear. Undies. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Do you have that same philosophy, Pat? No, I like about what's on sale. Oh, oh okay. gotcha. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, if, if, if in the event that you were wearing a brassiere right now, would you uh, go to the time and trouble to make sure it, it matched your other other undergarments? Uh, my husband can't see anything from the front, so it don't matter. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, does he know how to remove? Does he know how to remove a brassiere, or do you have to walk him through it? <laughs> oh no, you got. I got a seat belt on the back, so you got to be really strong. I got way more buckles than Christy did. Uh, okay. <laughs> Some of them are out of place, so you got to bite them back when you unloose them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Miss Pat, it's always a great pleasure. We'll look forward to talking to you soon. Hope to see you in the studio soon when this is all over, which I can't wait for it to be, okay? Me neither. Thank okay. you, Pat. Oh, uh, sure. Good having Bye, you, Pat. and I'm glad your son's you, doing okay. Yes, Pat. Glad your son's doing well. Yes, oh, my oh, God. Yeah. Scary. We have, we have some more requests coming up. Once again, Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. But right now we uh, we return. To the sports desk, right? No. <laughs> What happened? Uh, uh, well, I, I, there's a couple sports stories of interest. Uh, and I, I felt schedule coming out Seems in a couple Seems like a day and a half ago. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have Christy Lee at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Well, we were talking about the virus. Uh, Professor Lockdown is out of a job. The British government coronavirus scientist had to resign from his position after breaking social distancing rules to meet his married lover. Oh, boy. Professor Neil Ferguson, nicknamed yeah. Professor Lockdown, yeah. allowed his girlfriend, Antonio Stats, <laughs> you know, Mr. Stats and I. Have, have, Ms. Stats. Ms. 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 Stats. Ms. Stats. Oh, Ms. And, oh. Antonia. Yeah, Antonia. Oh, Antonia. My Antonia. Antonia, Antonia. Antonia, I'm sorry. Yeah. To visit his home during the lockdown, despite the fact that she lived elsewhere in London with her husband and children. This is like the Dr. Fauci. Has to have it. Of the UK. Right. This is the guy that got, what's his I name? Guess Fauci got Boris Johnson a, to shut the country Fauci's down. Fauci's kind of become a sex symbol, oh, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's the hot, uh, hot for the ladies. But uh, this guy, <laughs> the ladies love Fauci. This, uh, this guy's telling everybody what to do, and then he's not doing it himself. So, gotcha, Professor Lockdown. Yeah. Uh, Professor Go Down. <laughs> of course, the, uh, I I plead insanity. I'm I'm crazy about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I see. Oh, 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 very droll. Yes, uh, droll, uh, very droll. It's all about that. It's all about that ass. Oh boy. Because you know I'm all about that ass. About that ass. Big booty. I'm all about that butt. About that butt. Big booty. I'm all about that butt. About that butt. Big booty. I'm all about that butt. How could this song get worse? How Tom book. do it? Okay. <laughs> it's a great song. I love that song. She's great, Megan Trainer. Now, um, does she have a big fat ass? Yeah, she's, she's, she's a big a, gal, she's bigger a gal. Woman of a certain size. Megan's out of control. She's got, some, Megan she's got some great uh, songs. Of the, Why didn't she make the, bras the for kids? Right, trainer bras. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Megan Trainer. Are you wearing your Megan Trainers? Any, anybody? I, that's okay. semi a semi. Yeah. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> do you remember the Brazier lady that came in here? I yes. do remember her. Yes, yes. Yeah. very uncomfortable and weird woman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, well, I mean, it's it, a it, tough situation for some women. I'm. It was a real thing. Have a couple mighty jugs. Oh, really? They're only this is. The kind Only of the three of them in here. <laughs> her and her two boobs. Good uh, Lord. Oh, boy. And over the shoulder boulder holder. I remember where I was. I was like third grade. That's that. It will never get funnier than that. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> over the shoulder boulder holder. Amazing. Now, Josh, I have you ever? Yeah. No, you, you you like you've you've talked about uh, your intimate relations with some detail. What? Right. You mentioned the unfortunate episode in which you urinated in a bed with a woman yes in, by mistake not, yeah, not, no, by, not by request right. right right have you ever because i know you're an avid movie goer yeah have you ever removed a woman's brassiere and had popcorn fall out 
What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I what? haven't. You know what? That doesn't question. sound. No, that doesn't sound that far fetched to me. That sounds like no. something that could no, happen. No, I, yeah. I, 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 I know. Can. I have come home from movies and yeah. found, popcorn found popcorn in places. Sure, that, yeah. sure well, but, but no, I've never. You remember done that. Tom eats like he's in prison. So can <laughs> you imagine him eating popcorn at the? <laughs> it's got to be loud. Too. <laughs> oh, get... I, have, I have to be very careful eating popcorn, or I get the look. <laughs> oh, I uh, bet so. Uh, because, uh, can you hold it down <laughs> over there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, I have not. I've not found any. Nothing has fallen out of a bra that I've taken off that wasn't meant supposed to be, to be yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> well, like two, 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 two giant falsies. <laughs> falsies. <laughs> falsies. I'd like to bring. Falsies. I would like to bring back the word false. It's a wonderful word. Did yeah. you encounter that as a young man? The, fa the fa anybody. The only the closest I ever got was this poor girl was running uh, the mile in gym. And tissue <laughs> fell out oh, from geez. under her shirt. Oh, oh, I, I felt so bad for her oh. as I pointed at her and said and called her fake jugs. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I. How embarrassing for I her. I mean, is, is falsies just because that's kind of a even a generation before me that. You know, I, really, I don't know. Add a little lady friend to her <laughs> cutlets. Yeah, cutlets. yeah, cutlets. What? Yeah, they're like yeah, they, they look like cutlets. chicken yeah. cutlets. They, they do. Look like Chicken they work breasts. On, I guess, I guess they suction, you up. Uh, principle yeah. of suction yeah. or something. Yeah. 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 But falsies implies a gigantic, huge foam. <laughs> <laughs> or a wad of toilet paper is what they, like Josh said. Oh, boy. Did you ever stuff your bra? I, uh, you're going to find this hard to leave. I never had a problem in that area. Yeah. Well, no. Oh, no. no. Were you blind? <laughs> I've seen her. Well, I was a lot... Before children, it was a lot better. <laughs> but Busty. Lucky. Yeah. I'm not bragging. It okay, just... let's see. Um, here we go. I just looked up falsies on Google. Yeah? It says, can you reuse falsies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. You could. Um, in this case, uh, these this they're also <laughs> eyelashes, apparently. Oh, uh, yes. False, yes. Yeah, yeah, false eyelashes, sure. Well, those don't but I them. thought falsies were strict. Well, that isn't, it takes all the comedy out of it. <laughs> but are falsies just like the fake nipples you can put on? No, the falsies were a, a big foam, you know, the whole... Whole jug. I, yes. I don't, huh. Mm. I've never even heard of I guess the whole thing. You I never mean, heard the word falsies? The whole kit and I would caboodle. think just like the fake well. little nipples that he, they talked about on Sex and the City. And again, that was, I mean, what, early 2000s? Woody Allen yeah. had a great yeah. joke that he was he was mm. breastfed on falsies. <laughs> 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 but uh, I guess... Falsies yeah, kind of fallen out of I, favor. Yeah, but breastfed on the falsies. I think we've evolved a little bit where women Genius. can feel good about themselves, whatever size they no, that's, are. No, I'm not suggesting that. I just thought it was a great... These. When I was a kid, I remember hearing that word. And, you know, oh, it's hey, hilarious. Hey, Susie Bilski wears falsies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I you had know, a dress yeah. I was supposed to wear once that didn't fit right in the bust area, even though it was supposed to be taken in, uh, which was just insulting because it just sagged. And so... I was at a ceremony or whatever. I had to put these like styrofoam balls, like you squish up in my bra. So then it was super busty. Wow. <laughs> wow. Just to keep the dress from not, yeah. Yeah. Dropping. There's a whole category here on Google about uh, Wikipedia about falsies. So if you really want to see, oh, and they're, they've been around for a long time. There's a picture of some falsies from 1888. Oh, what were they made out of? Uh, well, they're Muslin? very, they're they very, were actually uh, human tissue back in oh, day. They're very uh, elaborate. They've got kind of filigree of its, uh, wow, oh huh. wow. Blue um, veins and stuff. It does say they're often Ew. worn by males for comedic effect. <laughs> oh. Well, okay, yeah. yeah. Drag queens, the of Python course, they have that. Certainly and I, in the hall, yeah. I was asked yesterday by my seven-year-old. To dress up like a woman. If for Mother's Day I would dress up as Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> oh, come on. I think you have to do it. do it. I'd have to get some falsies. You yeah. Have to set, yeah, you got to set your boobs on fire too, doesn't she? Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. Hilariously. Oh. My first day as a woman, I'm already having hot flashes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? I love Mrs. Doubtfire. So do I. Oh, Robin I, Williams. I, I, I've managed to avoid ever. it. You've all never this, seen all, it? No. It's He's pretty great. great. Yeah. No, no uh, thanks. He's great. So I don't know. I'll have to. <laughs> That's funny. Get some falsies. Hmm. And a I could big use, What's the male falsie? Uh, a sock? Yeah, probably. Um, yeah. Well, sure. most famously, it's a cucumber wrapped in aluminum foil, isn't it? it oh, why what? the foil? What is that? Isn't that is, is it wrapped in foil? Well, it wouldn't set the metal know. detector off if there wasn't wrapped in foil. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, spinal tap, is that? Oh. oh. It's like, wow. I could use some buttocks falsies. Like mm. Hank Hill. Oh, I have some of those. Oh, yeah. You do? You have yeah. A, you have Remember that? We did those. It was called Booty Pops or something yes. like that. 
I That's tried true. them on here and took Weren't pictures. they inflatable or something? Weren't no, they, was, air-filled? they were built no? into the um, they're underwear. built into the underwear. Yeah. They're like like, it's like a, a pair of spanks with extra cushion. Exactly. On that, but I need them. Yes, basically. Exactly. I have a frog's ass. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your next T-shirt. Frog ass. Yo, frog ass. I have a frog's ass. Uh, now, um, let's not talk frogs. Let's talk... Um, Getting away. Aren't you upstairs? Up wouldn't you like chickens. to go? Yep. Uh, sunny beach, kayaking on a lake, maybe hiking a trail. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, that would be all right. How about it? But you, summertime, you're going to need on-the-go beverages. That's where our buddies at Crazy Cock Wine come in. Our favorite premium wine. Wine? Chick, I'm not taking a bottle and a bunch of glasses and a corkscrew somewhere. Crazy We're Cock Wine come in cans Here we go, with a dry rosé, a dry this. white. This is the dry, dry white. Yeah. red blend. There's a there's a nice painting of the crazy and cock. And for those of you who like By the bubbles, way, one-eyed cock. All right. Crazy right. cock <laughs> makes a sparkling wine and a sparkling <laughs> rosé for those oh. warmer summer days. Mm-hmm. It's made by the Gibson Wine Company. They've been making quality wine in the California vineyards for 80 years. Originally, they... Designed it for South Carolina college football fans, Gamecocks, but since it was co- crazy good, they decided to make it available in your area. All right. So ask your retailer to carry Crazy Cock Wine. Y'all got that Crazy Cock? Crazy Cock can and wines, great wines, be enjoyed anywhere you go, convenient and recyclable, and they fit into any cooler or backpack and can be taken to the park or the beach. Look for Crazy Cock cans at a market near you, and if you can't find it, go online to crazycockwine.com. And make an order. Crazy cock wine, and I don't care. Yeah. Crazy, Crazy cock wine, and I, I don't care. care. Tell Crazy cock wine, and I don't care. It's in the can right back there. Yeah! Oh, Tell the local retailer that. that Bob and Tom Show says, stock Crazy Cock Wine now. Leave your glass and wine opener at home and get some Crazy Cock Wine. That's Crazy Cock Wine. Dot com. All right. When we come back, we're going to be talking with uh, Allie Breen coming up. What else have you got, Christy? Well, we have uh, Judy Dench making news. Dame Judy Dench, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, she's on the cover Aye. of the British oh, Vogue. Dance, not and dance. Okay, sorry. On the inside, she reveals some interesting um, facts about her cat's character. Oh, my God. Uh, Who doesn't care? <laughs> I, do. I don't. Wow. I don't. Boy. No. Tom and I agree. Okay. Uh, we'll be right back. Well, the sorry Bob and Tom that. Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, it's Roy Wood Jr. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom, all the time, in your ear, for Sheezy. Holla back one time. What up with it, dog? Pimping, for sure, for Sheezy. Was that was that black enough? Hey, <laughs> Mark Allison here with you. If uh, mix things up here on Bob and Tom 24-7, you never know what you're going to hear heading in and out, and uh, that's the same with today including comedian Ms. Pat via Zoom and our relationship expert Allie Breen via Zoom on the way from New York City right here on Bob and Tom 24-7. I'm Chick McGee from the CrazyCockWine.com Sports Desk, and this is your Bob and Tom Sports Update. In case it's needed, the NFL has come with a ticket refund plan for canceled games or those held without fans. Commissioner Roger Goodell has sent a memo to the 32 teams That calls for a uniform baseline for full refunds on any tickets purchased directly from the clubs. Each team will communicate directly with its fans over the next few days with specific details on potential refunds. Rookie quarterback Tua Tonga Viola, the Dolphins' top draft 
pick will wear number one. The Dolphins announced number assignments yesterday, and Tua wore number 13 in Alabama, but Dolphins retired the number with Dan Marino. Tua will be the first Dolphins quarterback to wear number one, which was most famously worn by kicker Garo Upremian. Running back Frank Gore has agreed to terms on a one-year contract with the New York Jets. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Bob and Tom 24-7. And now an important message from your friends at Frigamall Orthopedic Laboratories. Hi, Brenda. Ready to go jogging? Sorry, Christy. I can't. Didn't you notice I'm limping? What happened? Did you blow a knee out? Well, my knees do hurt. What do you mean? Well, we were on our way home last night, and Bob started feeling romantic, so we pulled down a gravel road. And today, my knees are really killing me. Girlfriend, I've got just the thing for you. They're called at a girl knee pads. With their soft cushiony padding, you can say goodbye to sore and scraped knees. At a girl knee pads fit right in your purse so you can take them anywhere. Perfect for a Friday night date or that important job interview. Hey Brenda, how'd it go last night? Well, my knees feel great. But uh <clears throat> do the at a girl people make lozenges? <laughs> you whore. At a girl knee pads. Order today and you'll receive a free head helmet. You'll love wearing this stylish tabletop helmet with its flat, level surface, big enough to hold his beer, remote control, and a magazine. At a girl knee pass. Protective goggles sold separately. Hey, this is Henry Phillips, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Well, what else would you be doing with your time? Uh, we have a we have a phone call on line six. All right, uh, yeah. morning, Bob and Tom show. Good morning. How uh, are you guys today? Great, uh, wonderful, fantastic. <laughs> Who's this? I have a, I have a, this is Natalie. Hi, Natalie. For my 16th birthday party, about I don't know, 16 years ago. Oh yeah. Um, uh huh. <laughs> My uh, parents got me a hot air balloon ride. Cool. Yeah. And uh, it was going pretty well. They were friends of my parents, and we were flying along, picking pine cones off the top of trees and whatnot. And yeah. we find this nice field to land in because we're running out of air. Uh huh. Well, we touched down and realized that we've just landed in the middle of a German Shepherd breeding facility. <laughs> <laughs> Attack dogs. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, the people weren't home, and the kennels were all left open. Oh, yeah. Please, please tell me it's the German Shepherd facility where they train them in German. Uh, that's, those yeah. are my favorite yes. German Shepherds. Oh, I, I know a guy that's got those dogs. They're sure. unbelievably oh, they're scary. Unbelievable oh, scary God. and very well trained. Did you take Did you take off again? Uh, no, we actually had to wait for the crew because we didn't have enough air to take back off. Were you uh, stuck inside the basket? Did the dogs uh, attack you? Were. Wait, no, they didn't attack. They were very friendly, although they were, you know, trained otherwise. But um, oh yeah, they're they, they're friendly as long as you stay in the little perimeter. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> suddenly you step outside of some hidden yeah. zone Look out. and your dog food. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I'm a whopping 110 pounds, so they're weighing most, you know, more than me. Probably so. as much, if yeah. not more. Wow! Well, thank yeah, God, exactly. because on the, on this show, we like all of our stories about 16 year olds to end <laughs> this and, way, and 110 pounds, <laughs> yeah. so, without without some horrifying experience. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, Ooh. I hope you weren't eating. Yeah, no. thank you. All right. okay. well, thanks, we. Well, thanks for calling, Natalie. <laughs> no okay, uh-huh. bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Comedian Greg Fitzsimmons has joined us in the studio. You're a New Yorker. Uh, yeah. How's that going? <laughs> New York's good. Not bad. It's uh, it's a strange place because no matter where you work or what you do, you come in contact with freaks. <laughs> you know, I, I, like I, I grew, I, I worked at a gas station for a couple of years, and the guy I worked with, strange man, former porno movie star from the seventies. <laughs> really? Yeah, he'd get confused every time he'd fill the tank. Halfway through, he'd pull it out and spray it all over the car. Yep, eight forty-seven on the button at Q ninety-five. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Um, and she's cute as a button. How about that for a segue? It's Christy Lee with the weather forecast. Oh, well, thank you, Tom. Q95 Fox 59 weather, partly cloudy with a high of 60, clear down to 39 tonight, and then sunny, breezy, and 68 tomorrow. We have 43 degrees. Beautiful sunny day. Thank you very much. Now, um, don't forget uh, that uh, serious cash announcement you just heard. Keep listening for those throughout the day, please. (sighs) Welcome back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Happy to be here. This is the 6th of May. (laughs) 2020, right? Uh, And it's a Wednesday. Okay, good. Uh, The quarantine continues, but we're here. Happy to be here. And I'd like to say a special hello to uh, 
some folks watching on YouTube in South Africa. Ah. And uh, hello, Ontario. Huh. And uh, hello, England. Wow, wow, all right. Wow. Uh, this this YouTube thing is pretty cool. Yeah, Colonel. We are also uh, worldwide on American Forces Radio. Glad to be here and there and um, on great radio stations across the United States. Bleeding into Canada, too. So hello to our Canadian friends. Now, um, uh, I'll introduce everybody. Uh, uh, coming up in a matter of seconds, as a matter of fact, it'll be the Ace Cosby joke of the day by popular demand. Brought to you by uh, IHateStevenSinger.com. Uh, let's see, there's Josh in the sidekick chair. I'm Tom, that's Pat Godwin over there on the TV. And we can also see Jessica Alsman on the screen. Over Hello. There, right? And then Christy Lee, of course, in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. Mm -hmm. it's, good, it's good to see you. Now, did I mention Chick McGee at the crazycockwine.com sports desk? Yep. Okay, we don't there have a sports update, though. I don't want to no. make that clear. Mm -mm. We have kind of an update, though. On? We were talking about falsies. <laughs> yes. And uh, I asked uh, Josh if he'd ever encountered falsies while on a date. Yes, no. no. Then I asked you if you'd, if you'd ever found popcorn in a brassiere that you were removing. Right, mm -hmm. no. Or M&M's. No. Uh, M&M's. <laughs> Christy, in all truth, uh, serious, have you ever in your life taken off your brassiere and something fell out of it other than what was supposed to be in there? Uh, probably. I know I've fished things out of there, like... Because it gets caught right here. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right? Oh, there's that the stapler. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> yeah. That's the busty. Seed from the maple tree or, you know. Right. I see. Piece of popcorn, as Tom mentioned, maybe. <laughs> Jessica, you, 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 ever, you ever fished in that, down there and found anything? Oh, yeah. Stuff gets down there all the time. Cheerios um, like are bad. <laughs> Cheerios. Yeah, yeah I eat Cheerios yeah. like people eat potato chips. Like well, I just. Of course eat. you do. I yeah. like but, Cheerios. But the only yo, I know what, are you, Christy? what are you a toddler? <laughs> do, you, do you eat one at a time? Pretty much. I get a little bowl and she's I like a snack little, on them. She's like a little squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> With her little hands together eating on it. Well, they have a limited edition toasted coconut right now that's unbelievable. If I know you're not a coconut fan, so Ugh. I haven't brought it up, but. Oh, if I were if, if I were stranded them. on a desert aisle and all they had were coconuts, I'd be the first one to die. <laughs> oh, I love them. Ugh. It's great. Cheerios if you're How listening. How to ruin anything. Please. Put shredded coconut on it. Keep them coconut. coming back. I like Chick, it. are you a coconut guy? I like the flavor of coconut. I don't like the hair-like texture. It's, it yeah. uh, occupies in your mouth. ruin any candy bar. It is sort of the pubes of the fruit yes. world. Yes. Yes. Oh, come on, you guys. It certainly is. Yeah. So, I'm Jessica, I, I, I had no idea this topic of digging stuff out of uh, a brassiere would be... Uh, oh, would absolutely. Be so, what have you found in there over the years? I mean, usually crumbs. It doesn't have to be at the movie theater. It's just when I, mean, I eat, I'm oh, I can see messy. Like gar garlic inevitable. bread, stuff like sure. that. Oh yeah, yeah sure. sprinkles crummy. from cupcakes. I yep. mean, whatever. Bacon, can it can fall off. It can fall Everything on. bagel stuff. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say you find uh, <laughs> half a cheese. It. Do you eat it or throw it away? <laughs> throw it away. Christy, throw it away. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you want to? You're one of your coconut Cheerios is down there. <laughs> it's a, it's a limited it's edition, there. Josh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't let this thing go to waste. It depends on how long it's been in there, Josh. If it's a, all right, a, a recent. Uh, That's fair, four yeah. hours. No, I would throw it away. Now, let me ask you this: I, I'm not, I'm not really familiar with the protocols of brazier wearing. <laughs> a, after you've worn a brazier. Do you have to wash it every time, or can you just hang it? Oh, up that's to, a good question. I've always wondered that too. To air no. dry. How does that work? I don't. Do you? Just, no. no. I, maybe once a month, I'll wash it, or once every two weeks. Because usually oh, I, I wash my bras every like, week. But well, how many uh, wears? Like it uh, depends on how much you do in the bra, too. You know, right. if it no, gets no, sweaty, no, I wash let, it. Let me ask you this: I, I recently <laughs> had to. Uh, I recently had yeah. to put on. There's a lot of boob work that happens. You got to hang dry those too, what so it takes up a lot of space. Here's my question. I, I know, uh, I'm sure um, every guy could relate to this. If you have to get dressed up for some occasion, mm -hmm. you put on your coat, and you tie for the first time in a couple months, and you reach in the pocket, oh, my God, there's 20 bucks in there. Yeah, oh, boy. And it's like, oh, cool. I didn't know I, didn't know I had that. Uh, I had the same experience recently. I um, was coming over here for a meeting, and I opened the back of my car, and uh, I found I had a giant thing of um, wipes in oh. fact, they're right here. It's like finding a that's, gold bar. Yeah, that's yeah. worth Look, more than oh. 20 bucks now. Oh, wow. I found my Clorox disinfecting yeah. wipes. I was so excited. But have you ever grabbed one of your old bras, popped it on, and found a Cheerio or something in there? <laughs> no. 
It doesn't work that way. Okay, no, I'm just asking. Well, I, 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 I haven't handled a lot of brassiers in my life. I, 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 I don't doubt that. Could you I confidently don't. remove your girlfriend's brassiere today if, if she said no? Absolutely not. Now, Chick McGee was the expert at this. <laughs> mm. yes, we can't talk about this anymore. Back when the, back when the world was young, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just received this from um, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. In Cassopolis, Michigan. Our summer neighbors were trying to teach my mom to water ski when she fell. Her falsies came out of her suit and were floating on the surface of the water. Oh, oh, thing. oh that's hilarious. Jenny, thank you so much for sharing that. <laughs> God, that makes me feel great. It'd be a great scene in a movie. Just the two fake big yeah. foam boobs floating there. Falsies. Wow. God, that had to be rough. And again, the word falsies. I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> it's wonderful. No, you never hear that word anymore. No. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Christy Lee, of course, at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. What else have you got over there? A story nobody wanted to hear, but you're going to hear it anyway. Dame Judi Dench has now what uh, has now said what she thinks of her character in the movie version of Cats. Wow. In an interview with Vogue, the British Vogue, by the way, she is the oldest woman to ever grace the cover, 85-year-old uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, visibly at the mention of the film, said, quote, the cloak I was made to wear was like five foxes effing on my back. <laughs> yeah. All right. Five foxes. Ugh. And then she used the whole word, right? Yes, what? she did. Dench, who has impaired eyesight, has yet to see the film in its entirety, but was <laughs> displeased it. <laughs> with how her old Deuteronomy looked in the picture she has seen. Uh, That's the name of the cat. Yeah. Dench had hoped to look elegant, but instead she felt... Old Deuteronomy. Oh, I would just, just barfed. <laughs> she looked like a battered, mangy old cat and a great big orange bruiser, so she's not happy with it at all. So. Yikes. Um, Five foxes mm -hmm. effing on her back. How about that? Well, it's cool when an old lady swears. It is. Is it? Yeah. Yes. No, it's sad and awful. No, it's wonderful. <laughs> it means that she's still got some vim and vigor. Spunk. Yeah. She's go. still spunky. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, here's a story. The U.S. marriage wait a rate. Now. What? I'm, I'm trying to find a picture of this thing. What? Of Judy Dench's old, old Deuteronomy? You don't want to see it. Judy Dench's cat outfit? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to find this right now. Oh, yikes. Yeah, her face is, um, I'm not sure what's going on there. She's very Judy Dench-like it. Every day she gets more Judy Dench. It's hard to believe. <laughs> what is no. that? What? what? She's, she's just, Judy just Dench. she's just glowering all the time. She looks oh, I sour. Love her. I, I do love too, but her. she always looks sour. Yeah. Well, it's her gig. Well, but this, uh, this. I bet she doesn't say this a lot. Hi, kids. No, <laughs> yeah. there's no way. Aww. What are you about? I'll tell you this. Yeah. This, this yes, phrase. What's your problem? Five foxes <laughs> effing would be... Uh, Get out of my yard, probably. This would change that with the, the 12 Days of Christmas song. Oh, yeah. 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 Five yeah. foxes. <laughs> 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 Four calling birds, three French, and two turtle doves. <laughs> uh, wow, that would be very, very rough. Um, now... Um, hey, if you're watching us on YouTube still, uh, one of our staff members is there taking questions and talking. Uh, Jess Hooker's there uh, answering questions. No, no kidding. Yeah, so she's uh, up and answering questions. I, I hope not about the show and other people on it, but uh, okay. we'll see. Good to know. Well, thank you, Who knows? Jess yeah. and Jessica. When we yeah. come back, uh, coming up next hour, uh, uh, Allie Breen will be helping you with your love life. And then uh, we have some really cool designer shirts yeah. in the news. You ever want to get like a really crisp, nice white shirt? <laughs> I, I don't mind putting on a white button down. Yeah, it's a staple for anyone's wardrobe. Yeah, men, women, You're everyone right. should have a nice, crisp white shirt. I wear one twice a year. Same here, but uh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> if if I are, have what to. What are those occasions? If if I have to wear a suit. If I have the jacket and tie. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I've got a got a couple white shirts, but uh, this is a this is a new uh, white shirt company. You wear that when you go to the graveyard, or uh, oh uh, man. <laughs> 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 wow, it's, uh, and he's back, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! I'm trying to pick myself up. Uh, I'm sorry it's at your yeah. house. Yeah, this is my funeral tie. Oh. Thanks very much. Okay, we're coming right back I probably with one sick. fewer participant. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got a comment? Our email is bobandtom at bobandtom.com. More Bob and Tom next. State law.
Hi, this is Augie Smith. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, Augie Smith. I'm Mark Allison, and it's Wednesday, May 6, 2020, the day after Cinco de Mayo. Hope you had a great day. Hope you're having a great day today as well. And remember, for everything Bob and Tom, check out BobandTom.com. All the latest highlights, news, information, plus links to all of our social media sites. And, of course, much, much more. You can always reach us, Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com if you'd like to request a bit. Or a comedian, a song, something you haven't heard in a while. We'll see if we can't get it on for you. Just put your request in the subject line. We'll get it to Tom and see if it can't become an instant request right here on Bob and Tom 24-7. More of the show coming up. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg hospitalized yesterday with an infection caused by a gallstone. The plans to take part in the court's arguments by telephone today. Ginsburg, 87, underwent non-surgical treatment for a benign gallbladder condition at Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore. According to the Supreme Court, she's resting comfortably and expects to be in the hospital for a day or two. China plans to send four crewed space missions and the same number of cargo craft to complete work on its permanent space station within about two years. Officials made the announcement after the launch yesterday of a newly designed spacecraft aboard the latest heavy lift rocket. The plan further cements China's aspirations to rival the U.S., Europe, Russia, and private companies in outer space exploration. And a highway patrol officer in Utah pulled over a vehicle the other day that was swerving badly on the interstate. When he did, he got a big surprise. The driver, 5-year-old Adrian Zamaripa, Trooper Rick Morgan says Adrian didn't respond to his flashing lights but did pull over when he hit the siren. The boy was seated on the edge of his seat so he could reach the brakes. Adrian said he was headed from Utah to visit his sister in California, where he wanted to buy a Lamborghini when he got there. And then he flashed $3 that he had in his wallet for the purchase. The boy and the car were returned to his parents, and yesterday, a local Lamborghini owner took Adrian on rides. This time, Adrian safely buckled in the passenger seat. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. I own a three-foot ruler. Oh, wow. Got it at a yard sale. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> That's <laughs> almost not worth the energy to laugh at. It's the Bob and Tom mornings and highlights replayed all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom 24-7. Attention, music lovers. Do you need more music? Well, here's some. Bob Cavoyan, the troubadour of true romance, the poet of passion, the carooning Casanova, the guy who makes songs some people really like, is releasing his newest album in weeks. This is Bob's most soul-bearing collection of songs yet, songs about life, love, and loss, poignantly titled panties in the glove box you'll hear bob singing touching titles like jiggle jiggle bang bang swallow you swallow me blue pill boner blues and bob's biggest hit of all time 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 as big as a hat big as a hat as big as a hat big as a hat i'm afraid i might fall in as big as a hat big as a hat I told her on the street I'd love a little putty tat. So would I, cause mine's as big as a hat. <laughs> yes, Bob Cavoyan's panties in the... 902 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. One of my dogs is going to be renamed... 8 million... 811. Now, what the hell was that? Uh, that was Jessica. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, when we go on the air, he hits all the buttons, baby, and you yeah. better be ready. Okay. It's right. up to you, mister. He's a digger, you see. He likes to dig. Ah. Uh, never mind. Uh, where was I? Uh, Christy Lee has the forecast. Q95 Fox 59 weather brought to you by the Car X Man. Partly cloudy today with a high of 60. Mainly clear skies overnight down to 39. And then plenty of sunshine tomorrow. It'll be a bit breezier but warmer all the way up to maybe 70 if we keep our fingers crossed. 43 right now. Reopen up the phones to uh, <laughs> to things Who's I found. Who's in, in charge my... of turning his? Mind? Oh, it's him. Oh, okay. To we open up the phones? That makes the, sense now. The things I found in my brazier. <sighs> sure. Uh, I, I got another letter. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, we'll get to that in, in just a second. I want to remind you that we've got something Set of coming screwdrivers. up. Oh. Uh, we've Ooh. got something coming up. It's called Free Gas Friday. This is pretty cool. Oh. Um, since a lot of people are still uh, quarantining out there, uh, Chapman Heating. 
uh, air conditioning and plumbing is uh, setting up a little something with us. Cool. And uh, what we're talking about is, um, well, we'll give you, it's it's, this, it's pretty detailed, but um, it'll be coming up on Friday, obviously, hence the name Free Gas Friday throughout oh. the month of May. And this is uh, a free gas for healthcare workers and first responders. It we'll tell you how to handle all this, but it's from our friend uh, Jeff Chapman at Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing because it is the season. What is it? We've, it was in the 30s, and then it's going to be yeah, in the 70s. Be, and, and then it's going to be cold again, and then it's going to be really warm in about 10 days. So your HVAC days. system cool. is going, sister, brother, husband, what the hell? What yeah. am I here? Uh, heater. you got to get this all <laughs> checked now that the spring is here. Check it out with uh, Chapman Heating. Go to chapmanheating.com to see what's going on, and we'll tell you about uh, Free Gas Friday. Coming up, brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Uh, now, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Got another letter here. It's very, very interesting. Okay. It involves okay. braziers and what's inside them. Oh. oh. It, I mean, not, I know what's inside them. No, no, not, but. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think I know what's inside them. It's been a while, hasn't it, Pat? Oh, uh, yeah. I heard tell, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, then there, there, that's Pat. We have a young Jessica over there. Christy's behind the glass over there. There's Chick. I'm Tom. That's Josh. That's Ace. And uh, we promised we'd get to the Ace Cosby joke of the day brought to you by Steven Singer at IHateStevenSinger.com because today's the day you got to get that order in before 2 o'clock to make sure you get it in time for Mother's Day. That uh, touchless delivery. Ace, what's happening? Not so much jokes, informational ah, things. Okay. Right. Like about my life. Yeah. Okay. I have a cousin, and she's a psychic. Really? Going through a rough patch right now. Oh. Getting a divorce. Her husband's going to cheat on her in June. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. That'd be rough. I like it. Yeah, that's like probably that happened too. actually. Yeah. Yeah. That as an excuse. Give that give that enough thought. Oh. Thank you very much, Ace. And the Ace Cosby joke of the day brought to you by I hate dot com. Today's the day. Got to get in before two o'clock Eastern time to get that uh, maybe that gilded rose or a nice bracelet for mm -hmm. all those moms gilded out there. Rose. All right, got another letter here. Okay. Uh, we were talking about falsies. And we yeah. were talking about braziers mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. and uh, whether or not things ever get stuck in them. Yes. You know, you're at the movies, you come back, you got popcorn in your bra. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jessica, you say you found various things in there over the years? Cupcake Always crumbs. food and, and crumbs, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this comes to us uh, from uh, Kendra. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Kendra. Uh, uh, works at a veterinary office. Oh, Great, great. Uh, Pekingese? She find a Pekingese at her bra? <laughs> no, she says, I was shower after getting home. I got in the shower. Something fell onto the floor. It was black. It came out of my brassiere. I was scared at first. Then I realized it was part of a dog nail. Oh. Because oh. oh. those pop everywhere when you're Yeah. Pregnant. Yeah, I could see that happening. That's rough. Holy yeah, that's gross. Moly. Okay. And then, of course, our letter Good from Lord. Jenny. I lied. This is, this is just so great. Our neighbor was trying to teach my mom to water ski. When she fell, her falsies flew out of her suit and were floating on the surface. God, that would be a great scene. I actually movie. know those people. You do? I know you do? that, yes. Jenny from Kasap? Well, no, this is a different, There, that happened to another Jenny that okay. I know. So, yeah, it's wow. weird. Okay. Yeah. Jenny with the floating falsies. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a short story, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, Raymond Carver, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. That sounds like Chili Palmer. Something I don't yeah. want to read. Uh, now. Christy, what have you got over there? Um, Archivist Studio, a small clothing brand, has been getting a lot of attention lately for its designer white shirts. The shirts are made from used linens discarded by luxury hotels. Hmm. Dutch designer Eugenie Hatzma learned that bed sheets and pillow covers routinely get thrown out by hotels, so she's created a line of shirts made from the sheets. The hmm. linens are cleaned and shipped to a family-run factory in Romania where they're turned into luxury white shirts priced between 150 and 172 bucks. Whoa. It's right up your alley, Josh. You can get, you can get them pre-spermed. <laughs> I'd like the, I'd like the pea stain yellow. Uh, Do you consider Josh a friend at this point? <laughs> Josh is like my my little brother that I never like had. A, uh, he's, he's the brother I get to torture the way I was tortured as a kid. Yeah, we noticed. Have you seen these things, Christy? They're I haven't. 
beautiful. Are they just white shirts, though? Well, there's you... a. they've got this thing with a bunch of models, and they're beautiful, gorgeous white shirts. Are the models gorgeous, or are the white shirts Oh, that's, it's a variety of looks. <laughs> are they the okay. uh, Robert Palmer models? <laughs> uh, no, no, they, oh. they, 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 they kind of run the gamut of, 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 of looks. Inter interchangeable uh, heads. I mean, know? this one has a face that she looks like it was put in a vice. Um, oh, oh kind gosh. of a hatchet head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's a nose. Easy to but no, the shirt's very nice. I, <laughs> be, uh, sounds like a nice way to recycle. Yeah, it does, actually. Yeah. I can only imagine what it would be like working at a hotel laundry. Oh, uh, the things you see. Uh, well, I know, I'd, for example, Mr. Godwin is famous for only dyeing his hair when he's in hotels. Yeah, until lately. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you, so you get all that hair dye all over those towels? Doesn't that ruin the towels? Uh, you know, you get to the point where you know what you're doing and you, you don't have to leave a mess. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's you. nice. But I mean, you can imagine working at a hotel. The stuff you'd have, you'd come across would be so disgusting. Yeah, yeah. All every kind of fluid, every kind of yeah, fluid. sure, right. Even right. just room service Ugh. stains, dead yeah. animals. Yeah. I try to clean up after myself. I don't want them to have to, you know. I do the same thing. I clean my room pretty much before I leave. Before yeah, I, yeah. Even there's like a hair in the shower. I'm like, well, I better get that off. Yeah, yeah I, when I'll I get up, I'll, I'll make throw the, the, the can across the room. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, 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 I'll kind of make the bed. I Henry the Eighth that place. <laughs> And you know my friend Andrew. He's yes. Andrew when he gets to a hotel, he's he's, he's a tra not. traveling musician. He will he will tip the maid in advance and try to get a key to the cleaning room and say please don't clean the room, I'll handle it. Mm. That my friends is OCD. Yes. Ooh, it sure is. Not yeah. that bad. Yeah, that's a, that's pretty lunatic stuff. These bed sheet shirts, I'm looking at them now. They look very comfortable, very I mean, obviously the fabric is very well. They sound comfortable. Worn, if you will, because they've been used before and laundered a lot, but you think they'd be like ghost like? You'd oh. put one on, Josh, and all of a sudden have the memory of some haunted oh. humping. Oh, man. Haunted humping. <laughs> By the way, write that down. That should be another one of your short stories. Haunted humping. The haunted humping. <laughs> <laughs> nice tag. Be my boo. <laughs> uh, did you hear Josh's tag? <laughs> boo foo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Donna writes in with a bra story. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah she says, uh, one day at work, we ordered steak sandwiches for lunch. The local Italian restaurant loads them with onions. Oh. One of my co-workers kept smelling onions all day when she, <laughs> when she went to change into her PJs that night. Uh, a large slice oh, of onion man. fell out of her boy, oh, boy. What a lovely woman. Uh, <laughs> smelling like my dahlias. Boy, you think you could onion. smell that. Yeah. She did. She just didn't know where it was. It was coming from, huh? Oh, yeah. gross. Throw that bra away. <laughs> Um, well, um, I, I like this recycled uh, linen thing. It's an interesting... Yeah, yeah. Interesting I just tweeted thing. pictures if somebody wants to look at okay, it. Okay, yeah. already. And a company has made an espresso machine that looks like a Porsche 911 engine. It'll only set you back $11,000. Oh, I don't want to know the a-hole that has <laughs> This is so <laughs> cool, you jackass. Oh, oh God. No, no. Not a waste money. <laughs> Everything Super in the Velocity's world today, oh, so you I bought a Porsche. <laughs> not really. No, it's not a Porsche. What a nice guy. It's a... First of all, the word is Porsche. It's Porsche. Porsche. I know. It's a uh, coffee maker that looks like... An engine. And, oh, it's so cool. Yeah, oh, it's, it's made with a billet aluminum, carbon fiber, titanium, and surgical that, stainless that. steel. <laughs> weighs in at 47.3 okay. pounds. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I didn't start this. It was Only 993 you social, units just go will be listen made to NPR available. And <laughs> drink your no, you coffee. know me. I love uh, when people are rich and they have money. I love it. But it is, look at, come here. Look at this. This is so cool looking. No, don't, don't, look don't do it. it. Don't indulge. No, don't cow <laughs> I'm not getting up. I'm not looking at it. Yeah. In honor of the great Porsche 911. Oh, it's Incredible. Yeah, it's you know, it's the, really based after their nine. And by the way, it, it would truly engine. be. Oh my God, this is cool looking. If, if you drank coffee from this, it would truly be espresso. Yeah, it would. It's important <laughs> to get that down. Uh -huh. I love that when you hear that. Espresso. <laughs> espresso, not X. Okay. All right. It's not Xavier either. While we're on the topic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Getting a little picky here. Can't we do something about him? I don't Why know that I've ever had an espresso. Really? Yeah. I should oh. try one, huh? They're yeah. good. Yeah. Are you what about, kidding I'd like me? to try a sidecar also. You ever had a sidecar? You know, it's so that. funny you bring that up. I was watching a movie, uh, a show yesterday, and the guy ordered a sidecar. What's a sidecar? I don't even know what it is. It's like one either. of those old drinks that uh, sounds cool in old movies. Well, so you have no idea what's in it? No. I'll try it. Uh, no, you won't. <laughs> 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 I 
I bet a hundred bucks I? you wouldn't do that. I bet uh, I wouldn't order a sidecar. The car? lady will have champagne. I'll have a sidecar. Oh, I'd happily order one. Oh, you, don't, what, you, don't, you don't even know what's in it. I'll find out, won't I? That's how you learn. But you're allergic to certain types of alcohol. I can see well, having a, uh, a seizure on your first day. Leave the man well, alone. Well, if he moves like that, maybe this is worth <laughs> looking into. <laughs> I have a friend that probably knows what a sidecar is. I'm sure I'll find oh, out. Oh, his hands are shaking right now. I bet. <laughs> Are you oh, referencing sidecar. PJ's illness? You oh, I, alcoholism. Uh... Oh, okay. The DTs. Okay. <laughs> the much funnier DTs. Oh, okay. All right. Does that stop and the other starts? I don't know. You know? So, it, it, who could afford an eleven thousand dollar coffee maker that looks like a Porsche nine eleven? A jerk. A jerk. A real jerk. No, I, it'd, be, it'd be kind of a uh, I don't know. My thing to talk about when you go to someone's house. That See, has... that's the problem with it. What? Did you see my... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> i tell you what, the coffee from this thing gives my morning dump 400 horsepower. <laughs> Here's a sidecar. Shoots out like a cannon. Sidecar, uh, huh? A sidecar is a cognac, I think. Okay. Uh, fresh lemon juice, orange twist, sugar on the rim, and I never know how to say this word. I've seen it before. It's C-O-I-N-T-R-E-A-U. Quantro? Is it... Quantro no, no. or Contro? Spell it again. C O I N T R E A U. It's a form of liquor, and I've never known. It is pronounced Quantro. Is oh, it? Is it? Yeah. yeah. Is that the one that looks like? Is is that the one that comes in the real long bottle? Looks like hair tonic. No, 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 no. That's um, That's hair tonic. No. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. It's what you use for Harvey Wallbangers. Yeah. What is that? Called? Oh, I've never had one of those either. Darn it! What is Let's that? Let's have an stuff old called? drink day. I you know, we have an old yeah. fashioned. We have man, a Harvey Wallbanger. Man, I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. yeah maybe Harvey Wallbanger for people who don't know how to drink. <laughs> Contro here's, is here's an, something I saw on Porky's. Is an orange liqueur. <laughs> I would drink a sidecar. This looks good. Look at this bourbon. Yeah. Fresh. Uh, well, I want to tell you about. Uh, uh, well, first of all, oh, coming up, the, the the lovely Allie Breen. She's probably had a sidecar. We'll have to find out. Uh, <laughs> Sounded dirty the way you said it. <laughs> no, I, everything I bought, Allie, I always try to make, make it as dirty as possible. <laughs> You've seen her. Uh, Galliano now, is the stuff in the tall. Okay, thank yeah, you. Thank you very right. much. I use that as hair tonic. Okay. Times are tough right now. Harry's Razors wants to help you look your best. And by the way, they're suggesting that uh, for mask wearing, et cetera, et cetera, probably better to be clean shaven. But the point about Harry's is you get these razors. They send them to your house. They are the very best. And Harry's now has an offer that you, it's just so amazing. You have to listen to me for just a second. We're talking about $3. And what am I talking about three bucks for? Well, it's to get the trial set from Harry's. They've knocked five bucks off the normal price. Use the code Bob and Tom when you go to harrys.com. The trial set includes the razor, the weighted handle, which is the best. I just love the the ergonomic feel of that thing. Uh, and Because you've got a sharp blade in your hand, right? So you want to be able to control it. Uh, you, you get the foaming shave gel, the travel cover for three bucks. Then how much is the shipping, Josh? It's free. So it comes right to your house. And you don't want to be walking into the drugstore these days. Oh, uh, <clears throat> guy in front of you. Uh, Do you have any handkerchiefs? <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. Um, uh, how about just having those razors delivered to your house? <laughs> and remember, at Harry's, the uh, the refills are significantly less, about two bucks a piece. So it's uh, the best razor out there. The guys at Harry's got rid of the middleman. They manufacture the blades in a, in a special factory in Germany where they've been making blades. I think it's 98 years. So they know what they're doing when it comes to steel. It's harrys.com and it is a steal for three bucks bucks and free shipping the razor the weighted handle the foaming shave gel the travel cover check it out harrys.com please use the code bob and tom that helps us that helps them that helps you harrys.com the code is bob and tom for a great shave i had a great shave this morning thank you very much harrys when we come back the lovely Allie breen this is the bob and tom show This is Bob. And this is Tom. And this is Bob and Tom 24-7. Comedy on your computer all day and all night. Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, don't forget the Bob and Tom app available in your iTunes or Google Play store. You can tune into your local station. Listen to Bob and Tom 24-7. You can even set an alarm that will wake you up with the show. The best part, it's free. The Bob and Tom app. Let your friends and neighbors know that you have it and you'd like for them to get it too. That way we can all be on the same Bob and Tom page and listen to Bob and Tom 24-7 for the rest of our lives. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. Former President Barack Obama has been added to the Graduate Together event next week for high school students who will miss out on graduation because of the coronavirus outbreak. 
The special will also feature Pharrell Williams, the Jonas Brothers, her, LeBron James, and more. ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox, as well as 20 other broadcast and online outlets will air this special on May 16th. If you're getting tired of being quarantined, sitting around looking at the same four walls, well, you're not alone. The ratings suggest Americans are keen on shows about how to spruce up their living space or how to cook. Networks like HGTV and the Food Network have seen their ratings jump during the stay-at-home period ushered in by COVID-19. And in these days of social distancing, it should be no surprise that a company geared toward hurting people into theme parks is hurting financially. Disney reported yesterday a steep decline in profits as many segments of its media and entertainment offerings have ground to a halt. Disney's second quarter profits dropped 91 percent. Overall, Disney says costs related to COVID-19 have cut its pre-tax profit by $1.4 billion. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. You know, since the hockey season's been postponed, yeah. nobody has seen our local Zamboni driver lately. Oh. oh. I have a feeling he'll resurface eventually. <laughs> Bob and Tom mornings and highlights replayed all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is Kostaki Economopoulos, and you are listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Gets this right in the live show. Hi, uh, Tom here. God knows I'm not perfect. I guess I can be difficult and sometimes perhaps a little demanding. Oh, sure, some might say tyrannical, but I don't get it. I try to be a nice guy, but lately it seems that everybody's pissed at me. (laughs) My friends are pissed, my doctor's pissed, my mother's pissed, my lawyer's pissed, my waiter's pissed, and chick is pissed. Everybody's pissed at me. My banker's pissed, the band is pissed, my plumber's pissed, the fisher pissed, my barber's pissed, my brother's pissed. It is very plain to see. Everybody's pissed at me. I think we can all agree. Everybody's pissed at me. (laughs) Tom, you are an evil bastard. We're all pissed at you today. I am sick. Here's a check. <laughs> Go away. Yeah. Your boss is pissed. Your kids are pissed. Your neighbors pissed. Your sisters pissed. We'll bet even God is pissed. Everybody's pissed at me. When I wrote my pissed off list, I'm sure there's someone that I missed, and that will probably make them pissed. It is very plain to see. Everybody's pissed at me. I think we can all agree. Everybody's pissed. Hey man, this is Donnie Baker, and this is Bob and Tom 24-7. I swear to God it is. That's like all day and most of the night. Bob and Tom show. Uh, hello, this is Bob and Tom show. <laughs> yeah, uh, good morning. Yeah. Uh, hello, Coring, visiting, uh, listening to show. We're visiting, visiting with uh, comedian Frank Caliendo. He was just talking about Raymond Burr. Oh, Frank Caliendo, John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 921 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Christy, what's the weather look like? Thank you for asking, Chick McGee. Q95 Fox 59 weather brought to you by CarX, calling for partly cloudy skies today and a high of 60. Tonight, clear down to 39. Sunny, breezy, warmer tomorrow, up close to 70 degrees. We're at 45 now. Rattle, rattle, thunder, clatter, boom, boom, boom. boom. Don't worry, Don't call, worry. The call the car Don't worry, call the car man. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Take care of you. Right. Was, that little, that was, that, was that too hostile? <laughs> no, it's all right. All right. It's, it's kind of sexy. Yeah, it sounds like it that. It's sort of Dr. John. Oh, I'm of. looking at this coffee, man. What a stupid <laughs> looking thing this is. My God. What, that Porsche coffee thing? Yes. What do you get a load of this, Josh? He's going to be He's gonna be more mad than I am. Oh, Look at that. So cool. God. 
Okay. What a mess. Well, would you want it to be shaped like a Redskins helmet? Then you'd have something. <laughs> well, I got nicking my coffee out of my Redskins helmet. John, John Riggins. I had coffee with John Riggins this morning. Uh, morning, <laughs> morning, coach. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where were we? Oh, I know. We have to get back to the action. Be sure to listen for your shot at 1000 bucks on Q95 today. And be sure to train your radio how to... Hey, hey, Alexa, turn on Q95. Ah, oh, there we go. Welcome back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Some huh? significantly good-looking <laughs> people on this show. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks yeah. a lot, thank Tom. You. Appreciate Feeling it. Good. Yeah. yeah. And the yeah. only one who says nothing is Allie. Come on, Allie. I was trying to, <laughs> trying to introduce Allie Breen to everybody. Thank Let's, you so much. Uh, you're very welcome, Allie. We were just talking about you behind your back. We'll, we'll talk <laughs> about that your in face. just what? a second. No, wait. Uh, let's see who's who. We've got a lot of people here, but uh, only four of us in the big room, and we're socially distanced. Chick McGee's at the crazycockwine.com sports desk. And yes, Allie, that is the name of the wine, crazycockwine.com. That's, that's, that's for real. That's incredible. Yeah. Allie, do you like it in the can? I got it. Do you hear this? They're drilling again. Oh, my, my God. Oh, they yeah. Yeah. Allie, I asked you if you liked it in the can oh. because... Uh, Crazy cock wine is uh, is is this these are, this is oh it uh, comes in yes uh, dry oh my white God, wine. How are you not losing your oh, mind? Poor I, I know. This, this, oh, that's this is quarantine over here, guys. This oh. is what they're doing. Trying to drive us insane. Oh my God. That's the worst. Ali Breen is New quarantine. York. New York. <laughs> yeah, sing about that, Frank. Yeah. The oh city that never sleeps because they're drilling the whole time. <laughs> what are they doing? This literally like a social sleep. experiment. <laughs> Oh my God. That is That's, brutal. Well, luckily we can broadcast it. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. So yes, just, you're welcome, everybody. Uh, you know, everybody uh, is oh, here. Real quick, oh, I want to remind everybody, if I, I, we have this great contest going on. You can win a pair of uh, Raycon earbuds from the Bob and Tom Show. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest. Look for the, uh, the, the, the best way to do it is to get the... Uh, is to get the app and then uh, grab the news feed, and you'll see that code there. So uh, you could win some great Raycon earbuds. That'd be good for you, Allie, because it would shut out the sound of the drilling, which is, appears to have stopped. Once again, Allie Breen is in New York City, where she is uh, quarantined. Uh, there's Josh. I'm Tom. That's sounds Jim. like a, it. Sounds like a snoring dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what they're doing? I don't know, but it's also right, the most annoying way possible because it's just a slow drill every once in a while, like as if they're dragging it out. I have yeah. no idea. It's almost like you see a guy on the other side of the wall just like with a crazy look on his face. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a big people. Uh, like uh, Jack Nicholson from The Shining. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I said people, uh, not pee holes. <laughs> <laughs> Both are hot. <laughs> pee holes. Yeah, that's my favorite. You can hear my favorite part of a woman are pee holes. That's right. <laughs> I'm glad we finally talked about it. <laughs> uh, Allie, are you doing okay? Doing okay. I mean, you can hear it. It's not just drilling, but you hear fighting, you hear sex, you hear. I know what all of my neighbors are up to at all times. Wow. At this point. So oh, we're getting. Yeah, it's pretty. How do you, uh, how do you get sleep? How do you. Holy, you can't concentrate on anything. This is the first. Everything was totally stopped until Monday of this week. So this has uh, only been. The first, thank God, but that's still not okay. Yeah. Are, are you putting on a mask and walking around Manhattan? Yeah. Yep, I'm definitely doing I mean, the weather's gotten a little nicer, so people are out in the parks. Cops are just busting up picnics left and right. It's gotten a little crazy. Um, wow. But, yeah, you're allowed to go out and stay socially distanced and wear masks. And yeah, I'm, and I'm envisioning a, a romantic situation, kind of like that old Twilight Zone episode. Which one? Which they meet somebody and they think, they, oh, your eyes are so beautiful. Then they take the mask off. Oh, and yes. And they've got oh, this hideous idiot. face. Right, was that yeah. Twilight Zone or was that yeah. the Outer Limits? The okay. Twilight Zone. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, now, uh, Pat Godwin's here yeah. with us now. Pat, I know you have a, a, a special dedication. It's a song for Allie Breen before we get to her letters about sex. What is it now? Uh, a little tribute to John Prine. And speaking of loud noise, Noises, uh, this fits right in. Dear Ally, dear Ally, you know my sweet turtle dove makes loud noises when we're making love. It sounds like gas, I pretend I don't care. She says I'm the one pushing air down in there. <laughs> she signed Big Bellows. <laughs> oh, Big Bellows, Big Bellows, oh, give me a break. You seem like a nice fellow, there's give and there's take. Your dissatisfaction is beyond belief. That air she's expelling is only a qu 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 
question answered. <laughs> Sign, dear Allie. Now, I was going to say, I don't know how wow. to take that, but I do know how to take that, Allie. I would resent that and resign. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thank you. Don't ever let anyone know you're not a romantic, Pat. That is <laughs> the sweetest thing. <laughs> Lovely. Well, let's get right to it. Allie takes uh, letters. You'll find Allie Breen, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N, on the usual social media platforms, and you can send her a letter, and we'll try to consult and do our best. What have you got? Dear Allie, I am in a one-bedroom apartment quarantined with my cutie. He's doing all the cooking, and I know I'm going to get diarrhea before this quarantine is over. What do I do? Wow. I hope you use the bathroom. <laughs> he, yeah. is, is she implying that he's giving her the diarrhea from his cooking, or it's would... just something's going to happen that she, and she doesn't want to have? I believe so. Okay. Uh, well, that's the sound. <laughs> oh, that, that's the sound of that girl. Maybe I she's embarrassed done. to have diarrhea. Now because that's of course. A, that's a well-written letter, or... Josh. That's its own sound effect. <laughs> I'd say uh, if, I, the, one of you can either be upfront. Let's go, hey, I'm having some stomach issues. I'd appreciate it if you didn't listen. And kind of just make it, you know, address <laughs> I, it. I think if you close the door, a lot but of yeah, yeah, courtesy door, maybe flushes. Play some music. Turn on the mm -hmm. sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, just I turn think, it up. No, start, you start cooking. Well, there's that. And make sure that you're oh, not, yeah. Yeah, or, or do the Pat Godwin. Uh, shut the door and flood the bathroom. Everybody forget <laughs> you've got diarrhea. It'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be perfect. I thought we forgot about there. that. Oh, yeah. no. Uh, um... God. No, yeah. I don't. You like when you get to the point in a relationship where you go, "Hey, look, can we just do gross things around each other?" No, you should never do gross things around each but other. But you're human beings. Yeah, I think I slip every now and then. I not, slip, but not, not on make yeah. it a real thing. I think. Well, yeah, you have to still pretend to. Hide. You can't just right. be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go blow up the bathroom." And I right. think, it, yes, I think I've always no. thought it's okay if the guy has gas and then goes, "Huh, boy." I always think that's <laughs> right. Yeah. That's, right. That's 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 absolutely the uh, epitome of being a guy. God. Hey, yeah. Bessie, pull my finger. <laughs> well, that gets, I say get it all out. In the, oh, Josh you know. is so cute. Ha, ah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. You can yell at each other. Just go, come I, on. I love oh, him. No. no, no. Try to keep the romance going right. a little bit. You, yeah. you, you can keep the romance because that, the awkwardness is completely gone when you open it up like No, I, when I'm at a hotel, I always go downstairs. Ugh. Yep. To the that, uh, that you, you, you find the convention area where there's never anyone in the bathroom. <laughs> <What> a, <prig. laughs> a little relief. You, you are. You're a prig. <laughs> honey, I, I, no, he's prig. right though. Honey, I gotta go check the bill. There's something wrong, and then no. you go downstairs. Oh, you yeah. can tell. Oh, you can see what you're doing. Babe, I'm, just... I'm gonna go dump it up. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, that song. For 20 minutes, that I Paul think McCartney tune. <laughs> dump it up. <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Oh, oh, you're too. like, what took you so long to pay the bill? You know. No, you're just being respectful. You can tell her that. No, you're not. You can just say it's respectful to. Be honest. Did you bring a candle uh. <laughs> or a blowtorch? <laughs> <laughs> I say be honest with them. Do you run the water when you go in there, Josh? Just no. To, really? <laughs> I turn the fan on. I said, that makes enough noise. Oh, yeah, those fans, those are. Hey. Oh, no, my, the one I have is. it's. <laughs> it really holds the air. It sounds like a 747. <laughs> yeah, <there you> go. <laughs> New from Boeing. <laughs> yes. <yeah. laughs> they got to make money somehow. Yeah, they got to oh. they gotta branch out somewhere. Okay. All right, let's move on. Another letter, Allie Breen. Dear Allie, my boyfriend always asks me about my sexual fantasies. The problem is most of them are either about my boss or my stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> or my oh, stepdad. stepdad. The best wow. letter we've had yet. <laughs> oh, Wow. I'll, I'll, I'll take this They're one. No. Just <laughs> fantasies, obviously, but they really get me going. No. So do I tell them the truth no. or keep no. just making stuff up? No. no, this person needs to go to a psychiatrist wow. immediately. Yes. Why? Is she sick and wrong? She uh, likes it. Male authority figures. Yeah, Good apparently Lord. she wants to be told what to do. No, maybe. she needs to tell him. He can go borrow the stepdad's cologne. <laughs> Wear uh, that. Oh, well, these are all great ideas. <laughs> you call me Leonard. Okay. Uh, borrow one of her boss's ties. Start punishing her. <laughs> oh, this is wild. Can you yeah, just wow. have him dress like a boss? There you go. Ugh, can, but. Just think of this were reversed. Check some woman asks you, so what are your fantasies? Well, I, I really, I like to think about my stepmom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> right? Check, please. How long before Wait, your clothes are on the drive? In the moment. <laughs> <laughs> in pieces. Yeah. <laughs> she cut up my sweatshirt. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Oof. Okay. Yeah, oh. you need to keep your mouth shut, honey. That's what yeah. I would do. Or make up something. Yeah, that's the thing. I wonder how often when people say, tell me your darkest fantasies, that anyone tells the truth. 
there's no way it comes down to I mean, if people have fantasies like this, no one's telling the yeah, truth. Let's not just let's not talk about them. Yeah, you, you should always word it. Uh, what's your what's uh, your your biggest fantasy with me? Yeah, there just you throw go. Throw in with me. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that you dress like my stepdad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That yeah. you that, that you leave me <laughs> 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 right after changing your will. You know, stuff like that. This is all, this is a bad topic. You don't want to go down that road. That's rough. Yeah. By the way, uh, off topic. I googled this thing. It was the Twilight Zone episode I was thinking of. Do you know who the woman is? Who? No. Yeah. Ellie Mae Clampett. Oh, oh really? really? Donna Douglas is, was the one. Yeah, and they think things. she's hideous. Yeah, they, they think she's hideous, and of course she's oh, right. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Okay, I'm sorry. Back to you, Ellie. Our next letter, please. Dear Ellie, my girlfriend is keeping her phone very protected. She'll always leave it face down when we're together, and then she tilts it away if she checks it when she's by me. How worried should I be by this? Am I being crazy if I bring it up? No, you should be worried. Yeah. You're not being crazy by bringing it up. No. She's hiding something. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. hiding something. Not yeah. always. I look, her, her wallpaper is a, <laughs> is a, is a dick pic of her stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> I told her, uh, break, break up with her. <laughs> 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 you can ask to see it if you want to see naked pictures of my stepdad. Yeah, that'd be fine. <laughs> fine with you. Fine with me. I always keep my phone face down, no matter where You're I'm at. Weird. And you always. Oh. And you all. He always erase all his text. He's oh, my a, boyfriend does that too. I'm OCD. Wow. Yeah. No, weird, that's weird guy. That's because I just like a clean wrong. slate. So wrong. stupid. Wrong. But I keep my. Huh. I have a weird thing in my head that if I keep my phone face down if i were to spill a liquid or something were to happen uh, it won't be as yeah, i keep mine face down just so yeah for that just so you don't damage you. the glass right. although now the Ooh. camera's there so i suppose i would damage that yeah no I, excuses for anyone listening yeah. well but i well, i mean it though and, yeah but i have a deal with my girl i go anytime you want to look at my phone just look at it so well if you have to erase all your texts just know <laughs> what's there to see it. that's a pretty good uh, that's a pretty good system right. yeah you covered all your those, tracks yeah those dick pics of josh's stepdad my <laughs> <laughs> stepdad is handsome well I, I, I don't blame you to follow he, he you're he's rich i mean <laughs> just his name like ally we have time for him. one more letter what have oh. you got sure uh <laughs> Dear Allie, I need to break up with my boyfriend. He's driving me crazy. The one great thing about this quarantine is that I wouldn't have to see his family, but he's making me Zoom with them at least twice a week. Oh. Also, he's also watching porn and playing video games all day just flat out in the living room <laughs> while he's supposed to be working from home. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We moved in together two years ago. Can I kick him out in the middle of a stay-at-home order? Yes. You I think so too. Yeah, yeah, you know that family you family. love. Go yeah. live with them. Right. Yes. Yeah. He's exactly. having his porn right there. I mean, I mean, completing on his porn That's right crazy. in the living room. God. Sounds that way. On work hours. Yeah. Uh, well, work hours. I, I don't yeah. see a problem with work hours. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> being so open about it. Right. Right there yeah. in the living room. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. I think there are a lot of people that are in situations right now like this where they can't. They're they'd like to move on or move out or whatever, but they can't. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can well, break you can, up with them. Yeah. That'd be a, that'd be an interesting service that someone should come out with right now. What? And you, know, you get the soft music and do you know in these quarantine times where <laughs> we're thinking of you and uh how much your life would be better. How much, yes. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, sort of, sort of pivots, as they say. Yeah. Look, we know you want to get the hell out. Well, they could have, like, they could all be dressed in hazmat suits. We'll come get your things. Yes, it could be. Yeah. Yeah. Come to yes. another place. We'll rescue you. Yes. Yeah. You won't need a ventilator. You don't need a ventilator. What you need is a new place to live. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you out. Yeah. <laughs> Portable storage unit, basically. Yes. Just live in that. That's perfect. Well, I, yeah. bet, I, bet it's, I bet it's happened. Wait a minute. Is that, is, that the, is that the drilling again? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's going to go all day long until Gosh. this one. Now, yeah. Pat, you don't let... You wouldn't let if you had a, if you had a girlfriend. You wouldn't you wouldn't mind if she looked at your phone. Of course, Pat's phone is a rotary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she can go to the phone booth all she wants. <laughs> Allie, when that drill goes off with its loud buzzing, do you have sort of a Pavlovian response? <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Pretty much. First thing in the morning, I do, and then by noon, I'm used to it. I'm like, okay, whatever. Oh, I can put up with. It. Yeah. I saw. I did see. I saw an article. Uh, what's what's her name? Adele, the singer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, her albums are always these. these deep personal things you know oh she's been hurt yeah. i broke up and I, her her new album is going to be about her vibrator <laughs> <And> the, <laughs> she looks amazing have you seen pictures of her 
Yeah, she's she looks amazing. She's over 100 pounds. She's a... Whoo, oh, really? Her. Yeah. She looks she's great. She's stunning. And, though, did you read in her divorce that she's going through? There's no prenup. She's Ooh. given him 50%. Yeah. Ew. Wow. Yeah. I know. He deserved and she it. she is... <laughs> <laughs> He's the muse. Yeah. Yeah. Taking that yeah. on, Jeez. After a few yeah. years of only 10% of the groceries. <laughs> 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 or maybe she's thinking it's worth it. Okay, Josh? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so there'll be there'll be, there'll be an album then. Oh, oh sure. of yeah, course. Yeah. You wait sure. more than like thirty, half. right? Or whatever. <laughs> sure. Yeah. It'll be extra bitchy because she's starving. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> what did Adele ever do to you? Uh, she hurt my feelings once. She didn't uh, answer my DM. Okay. <laughs> His song is called "I'd Like to Go." <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to go down on an Eskimo pie. <laughs> what, what, what is happening to the show? I I'd like to no deep throat an Eskimo pie. Yeah. Her latest hit, What Would I Do for a Klondike Bar? Uh, <laughs> Rolling in the flower. Sorry, I brought it up. Uh, how did this come up? I blame myself. Well, well Allie, I, I hope you uh, continue to... Uh, now, can, could you like, get in a car and drive to another place? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't know how strict they're being, unless you're doing something egregious. You don't, you don't have a car, though, do you? No, I don't. You'd have to have someone but... come pick you up. Yeah, you can get in an Uber and go anywhere. I mean, everything's still going. It's just going at like one twentieth, you know, capacity at what it was before. Ubers so, are running and taxis and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ubers are running. You're not doing. They don't do here. They do like Uber Pool. I don't know if you guys have those in other parts. What's of the right, they're, but they're not doing that. Where you can they share. They canceled all that. Yeah. yeah. With uh, randos, they'll pick you up and pick up someone else along the way. Oh, there's a bed be waiting for a porn star, Marlon Rando. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, so you don't know who it's going to be. Yeah, Anita, okay. Anita Rando. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, well, thanks, Anita. Allie. Okay. Of course. I'll talk to you guys soon. Be careful Bye, out there. Yeah. Well, Hope bye, the guys. drilling uh, stops uh, soon. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that didn't happen more often. <laughs> <laughs> We're living in weird times, as you know, and um, you are essential to yourself, of course, so be careful out there. And and uh, also, it's essential to have your vehicle running, which is where our friends at Napa Auto Parts step up. Because uh, you got to have that car running, you, you got to have that truck running, your car running, and um, uh, Napa Auto Parts stores open. And uh, as are Napa Auto Care Centers, and of course, NapaOnline.com, which is extra convenient if you want to get some stuff done with your car or your truck now. Just go online, NapaOnline.com. If you're headed to the store, you got to make sure your car's running. On your way to work, you still have to get there, and you want to get home safely. You don't want to be at the side of the road and, and at times like this. So remember Napa, here to provide quality parts and superior service to everybody on the road with Napa know-how. Napa, Napa Auto Parts store, uh, uh, stores, uh, Napa Auto Care Centers, and, of course, NapaOnline.com. When we come back... I think we have a little bit of a history lesson. You got anything ever there, Christy? Uh, well, we have a prequel to Twilight coming out, if you're a Twilight fan. Oh, boy. Oh. I'm Team, oh. I'm team oh. Leonard. I'm oh. Team, oh. Leonard. Oh. team oh. Leonard. Team Jacob. Oh. Team, team Werewolf. Oh. What the hell are you talking about? Team Nick. Edward, Team Jacob. You have never watched Twilight. Oh. My dad is Team Jacob. Hi, uh, 20 <laughs> years ago called. How are you? Oh, yeah. will, it be, will it be on TikTok, or are they going to make a real movie? No. Oh, oh, when we come back, this is the Bob and Tom Show. When Win a free pair of wireless Raycon earbuds. Just locate the Raycon contest code in the Bob and Tom app on the newsfeed. Then enter it at bobandtom.com slash contest. This is the Bob and Tom Show.
Hi, fellas. This is Floyd Tucker, the Over the Road Trucker. This is Bob and Tom's program 24-7. Hey, don't forget the laughter after the Bob and Tom show coming up shortly. Bob and Tom's work farce. All the fun without really that much effort. Ace Cosby, your host. Keep the smile going all day and keep your family guessing what you're up to as you roll through this Wednesday with us right here on Bob and Tom 24-7. I'm Chick McGee from the crazycockwine.com sports desk, and this is your Bob and Tom sports update. In case it's needed, the NFL has come with a ticket refund plan for canceled games or those held without fans. Commissioner Roger Goodell has sent a memo to the 32 teams that calls for a uniform baseline for full refunds on any tickets purchased directly from the clubs. Each team will communicate directly with its fans over the next few days with specific details on potential refunds. Rookie quarterback Tua Tonga-Viola, the Dolphins' top draft pick, will wear number one. The Dolphins announced number assignments yesterday and Tua wore number 13 in Alabama, but Dolphins retired the number with Dan Marino. Tua will be the first Dolphins quarterback to wear number one, which was most famously worn by kicker Garo Upremian. Running back Frank Gore has agreed to terms on a one-year contract with the New York Jets. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom sports update. Hi, this is Drew Hastings, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. I ain't going to a friend's house And I ain't going to my place of work And I ain't going to a baseball game or a picture show I'm just driving in my car And even though it looks like things ain't going my way I didn't get promoted And my wife, she done left me And I just got evicted now Think I'm going bald now. And now all I got is a bottle of booze and this here Thunderbird. <laughs> and I'll be damned if it's insured. <laughs> and I'm not looking at the stop signs. And I'm not looking at no traffic lights. And I'm not looking at the children on the crosswalk. I'm just driving in my car. How do you do, hitchhiking mama? <laughs> Get in the car and take a ride with me. She says, get your damn hands off of me. I said, don't worry, ma'am. I'm a friend, you see. We're just driving in my car. And now the two of us are tearing up the highway with no registration. I ain't got no headlights, so can't see a damn thing. And what the hell was that now? Well, I hope it wasn't human. And now I'm getting heat from this girl that I just picked up off the road. She's only 15 years old. She's only 15 years old. How do you do, Mr. Policeman? How's life treating you on the streets today? He says, pull over, son, walk a straight line. I said, thank you, sir. I'm doing fine. I'm just driving in my car. I'm just driving in my car. She's only 15 years old. <laughs> well, if you say it twice, you get a laugh. Like, She's only 15 years old. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Bob and Tom 24-7. Not on air, online, all the time. Bob and Tom 24-7. If your testicles are giving you trouble And you want to get them gone on the double When your back's to the wall Who you gonna call? Paul and Storm the D-Ballers All we need is some ice and a saw And a thread and needle To help you say goodbye To Tweedledum and Tweedledeedle A tisket, a tasket No more eggs in the basket when your pants pair is too, too many Call us up, soon you won't have any Your new life begins when you lose the twins Call Paul and Storm the D-Ballers <laughs> Ditch the testies, keep the resties Paul and Storm the D-Ballers <laughs> Well, 
we have uh, also a Matt. 947 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee has the forecast. Q95, Fox 59 weather. Partly cloudy. Look for a high of 60. Clear tonight. We have our last supermoon of 2020, if you're interested. Low down to 39 and sunny and 68 tomorrow. It was pretty cool this morning. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, right a now. couple things we got going on. Uh, your shot at 1000 bucks coming up again with Crystal next hour. So we'll be listening for that here on Q95. Also, um, got this free gas Friday thing just around the corner. Uh, brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. We'll give you all the details on this. It's uh, designed to help out health care workers and first responders. So um, you can get a lot more details by going to uh, q95.com. Also want to mention that uh, if you buy anything from the Bob and Tom store, we're uh, sending the money to uh, help out people who need it right now. Um, so uh, if, if you want to get some cool stuff, like a hat or a shirt, whatever, that's what we're going to hand the money over to uh, buy some uh, food for some people that uh, need it under these unusual circumstances that we're all living in right now. So uh, check it out at uh, bobandtomstore.com. Now, uh, we're going to get back to the action. We've lost Josh. Does anyone know where he went? Well, um, maybe he had an issue. Yeah, uh-huh. I've, got a, uh, I've got a guess. But... Uh, yeah, well, welcome well... back. Uh, <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, Josh's MIA. I'm sure well, he'll, he's okay. He'll be okay at some point. I'm sure. Missing an ass. No, no, no I'm, I think wherever he is, he has his ass uh, with him. Okay, okay, good. Uh, let's see. There's a son, Tom. That's Chick. Chick, of course, at the CrazyCockWine.com sports desk. When that phone rings, you know, it's the track phone hotline. Christy Lee is. Uh, we determined about uh, 15 feet away through the glass, so it's a couple yeah. of fathoms if she were down. But she's across, so I'm we're, down, still, we're, we're still working on that. Uh, that uh, how far that is in nautical miles. Well, let's see now. I look over there on the big screen. I can see Pat Godwin. He's in the same building, kind of, around the corner. Hi. Um, uh, no longer in the uh, Nuremberg room. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, young uh, Jessica Alsman joins us via Zoom. Struggling with this lighting. Lighting yeah. for Zoom is the most painful thing You ever. look like the super moon right now. You I are, just keep changing. You and very white. Very. Yes. Very. Bright. Josh is still missing. Oh, Why okay. don't you just leave Josh alone? What if he's got a real... Oh, he's back. You okay? Yeah. yeah after your little discussion <laughs> about uh, bodily, bodily functions, uh, did, did, did karma catch up with you? I don't um, think there's anything less professional than being late back for a break. I agree. I, I, can't, <laughs> I, agree. I can't imagine why you would uh, disrespect our listeners. Let's just say like I was celebrating C.S. de Mayo. Oh. Uh, okay, well, uh, let's do a little today in history and a little bit of yesterday in history, I okay. think. Okay. We, we missed yesterday in history. Got a couple of interesting things. Like? Uh, Karl Marx's brother. Oh, yeah. Groucho. 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 Yeah. No, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> Karl. It was Karl Marx's uh, birthday, born 1818. The least funny of the Marx brothers. Yeah, he wasn't <laughs> funny at all. By yeah. far. Dour individual. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh, and then, it was, uh, it was, everybody uh, around him was depressed. Karl, then Zeppo. Yeah. <laughs> then, yeah. Uh, Zeppo underrated. Uh, 1903, the birth of uh, James Beard, the culinary expert. Oh, yeah. Who, in the tradition of the guy in ZZ Top, mm-hmm. didn't have, have a beard. beard. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Oh, that's one of life's great ironies. Yeah, um, and let's go to let's go to today in history, shall we? Uh, oh, yikes! What? There'll be a response to this one. What's the phrase that comes to mind when I say 1937 Hindenburg disaster? Oh, Ooh, the humanity. humanity! Oh, the humanity! Yeah. Boy, that's a tough thing to listen. Have you ever actually heard the? Sure. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I start crying like a big baby. Yeah, yeah that, that was yeah. one of our one of our failed business attempts the the perfume we came out with oh to humanity oh, <laughs> oh my gosh it's like a crematorium yeah. <laughs> oh. people people survived that you know, yeah they a did a couple, yeah. couple of people that survived. killed the blimp business though <laughs> yeah before yeah, they, that oh i mean if you were a blimp salesman in 1937 <laughs> you throw your arms up what the hell I mean, what do I have to do? You know, a, a burning fireball up in the sky is much scarier than an iceberg. Do <laughs> yeah. uh, you ever see my T-shirt line I came out with? No. <laughs> it said uh, black T-shirts, big white lettering, hydrogen laws suck. <laughs> when they made oh, him switch yeah. to helium. Uh, is it time to? Oh, sorry. Time now for things we learned on the Bob and Tom Show. Brought to you by Granger Products. Keep your facility running for over 90 years. That's what Granger does best. Whatever you need, whenever you need it. Granger for the ones who get it done. Happy birthday to the great Bob Seeger. Yeah. Turning 75 today. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, let's see. Um, we, we, we found out that um, Xerox, <laughs> the big company, picked the color of the year as...
clear. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Xerox. Uh, That's ridiculous. Uh, thanks for nothing, Xerox. <laughs> good to see the, the, the CEO. All ladies have to wear the color of the year tomorrow. Oh, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mother's Day. <laughs> You're a real lefty. You know <laughs> Mother's Day is this Sunday. Don't yes. forget. And don't forget our friend Steven Singer at IHateStevenSinger.com. You've got until 2 o'clock Eastern time to get those orders in to make sure they get there for your mom. Let's see. Donnie went to a Zoom wedding. I guess this is the new thing. But uh, you don't get the, the open bar. You don't get the cake. No. no. Well, I guess his roommate threw some rice at him. So <laughs> at, least he, at least he had that. Don't call 911 oh, if you're... Oh, oh. oh, thank you. Don't call 911 if your uh, mommy parts are on fire. No. no. Well, maybe if they really are if on they fire. Really, yeah, okay. <laughs> you, sure. you, this lady lied. Just, just okay. want some hot firemen to come okay. by. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, With their hoses. Yes. This is a true story. A five-year-old kid was pulled over heading to California to buy a Lamborghini. He was in Utah. He had three bucks with him. Yep. By the way, we saw a picture of that kid. I did, too. Big dude. Yeah. yeah. His, he was, uh, he was uh -huh. going to the in If they write a book about him, it'll be called <laughs> Soda in the Bottle. <laughs> <laughs> With extra sugar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us? Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.